Yeah, she's burning up. The uh, knife must have nicked her kidney or something. She's turning septic. Mm. How you doing, mm. little sister? So stupid. It was this little, this little kid. This, this goddamn little kid. Big goddamn knife. Hey, help me. Come mm. on, Oh, shit. Mm. Hey, Mom. You want to be when we come through? We gotta get to the roof. Flag down one of those choppers. Right. Wait, we need help. She's been wounded. What's wrong with her? Well, she's not. Whatever the hell's going on out there, she's been stabbed. I can't take anymore. Oh, okay. Listen, O'Brien. If we don't get her to a hospital, she's going to die. There are no more hospitals. <laughs> Oh, come on, no more hospitals. You got uh, doctors, you got triage, you got a mass unit. Oh, look, I'm just a grad student, okay? I, I got volunteered for this. I'm not even supposed to be out here. Okay. Ryan. Okay. <laughs> Shit. Uh, I've only got room for two of you, okay? Two. Why you got room for two of you? We're overweight, okay? I can only take two of you. Two. <laughs> okay. Come on, help me. Come on. It's okay. You're gonna be all right. I got her. I'm gonna be right back. <coughs> okay, Boozer, let's go. We gotta hold get on, on that. Hold on. We gotta get oh, on that. Chopper. I heard what he said. There's only room for two on that chopper. Go. Go with her. I'll be okay. I've been through worse shit than this before. You know. Yeah, we have. Where are you going? What? Where? Where? Refugee camp, west of Three Finger Jack. No. Boozer is never gonna make it without me. Him. He can't be far. Wait, hold on. Cut your engine. <coughs> oh, shit, she's alive. Alvarez. Alvarez, hey. Alvarez, what happened here? I mean, who did this? Was it... Was it Rippers?
you hit him. Yeah. Oh, hold up, hold up. He laid his bike down. Where the hell's he going? There isn't shit out of here but a bunch of freaks. Well, maybe I was wrong about him having to deal with Copeland. No, Leon's been fencing shit to Copeland for a long time. I finally caught up with him. Hey, hey, wait, wait. Hold up, hold up. Shit. All right, let me see. Wait, 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 here. Down this way. Tracks are fresh. So where the hell did you learn to track shit, anyway? Used to go elk hunting with my old man when I was a kid. Ended up tracking shit for miles. You okay, brother? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a graze. Son of a bitch can't aim worth a damn. Son of a bitch. I'm fine, Boozer. He must be heading down there toward the falls. He's losing a lot of blood. He's not getting far. Come on. Search him. <laughs> Bleeding out. Well, that's a hell of a way to go. It's slow. A lot of pain, but I suppose you'd know all about that. She was right still now. breathing when we found her, you piece of shit. I wasn't gonna waste the bullet, not on her. Oh, hold on for a second, hold on for a second now. Where's the stash, Leon? If you tell us, well, unlike you, I can promise you we'll make it quick. Don't look like you'd be suffering for too long. Leon, you got a little problem here. See, they can smell your blood. From all the way down there, what do you suppose that feels like? Huh? Torn apart? Eat alive? Guess he's gonna find out. Fuck you. Goodbye, Leon. No, wait! All right, all right, no, no, no. I got it right here, take it. Where? In the cemetery. It's in the old cemetery. Thank you. No, you said! Do it. Don't leave me out here, man. Do it. Do it! You goddamn liar! Do it. Tuck's gonna need something for the bounty. You did the right thing, bro. We don't want to leave anyone to the freaks. Not even a piece of shit like Leon. Hey, hold up. I want to search this camp, see if I can't find something to fix up this crash. I got a use for you. No, I just gotta put them together in there. Yeah, that ought to do it. Guess I won't be losing the arm anytime soon. Oh, we were going hunting tonight. Take some bounties in a tucker. Well, not if it's pissing down rain. Nah, man, we need the camp credits. Gotta stock up on supplies. Yeah, okay. I don't want to be out all night, though. Jesus, I gotta get in shape. I'm gonna see if there's anything we can salvage on Leon's bike. No. God damn 
forth. Son of a bitch. Guess that's a fuel line, unless you just piss yourself. Fuel pump. Leon. Yeah, shout out my damn fuel pump. Can we get anything out of Leon's bike? Nah, it's done. <sighs> Look, let's just go back to O'Leary Mountain. We'll head out in the morning, find some parts, and come back and get your bike. No. I think I got a better idea. Why don't we just get it while we're out here? What? Well... Uh, Crazy Willie's isn't far from here. Let's just head over there. What are you thinking? We were going out hunting tonight anyway. Crazy Willie's is as good a place as any. Yeah, okay. Hey, what did Leon give you? Map of some kind. Once we get my bike back, let's head up to the cemetery, look around. Yeah. Okay. So, tomorrow, we get the drugs, take them to Tucker, collect all Leon's bounty. Then I say we head north. You think shit's any different up north? Don't matter, I think it'd do us good. Get the hell away from here. Hold on, something's blocking the road. Careful. I saw a setup like this a couple days ago. A bunch of rippers blocked the road with an old truck. Come on, help me move it. Ready? Yep. Push! <laughs> <laughs> Coming up on the old Nero checkpoint. We're almost there. Shit, how you wanna do this? Blow me your shotgun, I'll walk point. Looks like that checkpoint had him backed up pretty good. Yeah, a lot of good it did him. I'd rather be buried back with the goddamn pioneers. Yeah. Shit. Look at them all. Bunch of goddamn dumbasses, the lot of them. What are they thinking? Hey, Mr. Fed, can we sit here and wait till the goddamn horde comes through and just kills us all? Bad way to go out, trapped in a shithole like this. You smell that? Oh, Jesus. There. Come on, let's go. Wait, hey, hold up. How many Molotovs you got left back here? Let's hit it on the way back. Leave it. Yeah. Leave it my ass. Son of a bitch. You're hoping someone's home. <laughs> Sounds like you got your wish. Fuck. 
Hey, dig, 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 dig. Bro, bro. I think he's dead. You're gonna break my shotgun. Yeah. Okay. You're going up there again. What are you talking about? Goddamn refugee camp. You only act like this when you're thinking about going up there. Act like what? It's not your fault that she's dead. Drop it. If you'd gotten on that chopper with Sarah, all that would have changed is you'd be dead too. Don't just drop it. You're not getting your bike through there. Try that service tunnel. See if you can clear us a path from the other side. I got it. Just keep your headlight pointed that way. Another nest. Oh. Yeah, I smell it. Oh. How many Molotovs you got left? Oh. You just used the last one. You got any shit to make more? Yeah, yeah. This will just take a sec. That'll do it. Here they come! Hey, come on. Get on. Yeah, okay. Give me a sec. I've been thinking about what you said about riding north. Just saying, you need to get away from here. Clear your head, you know? In the morning, let's turn in the bounties, and we'll hit the road. Hell yeah, brother. Now you're talking. Wanted a freak show. Shit. Place is crawling. Shit, we're gonna need more ammo. 
What are you thinking? And I already know it's a bad idea. You just ride on through. You pull as many of them off as you can. And I just, I go in through the back, down that hill, find the garage. Shit. All right, you just give me a few minutes to find the part that I need. You ride back, we ride the hell out. After I kill a few of the bastards. I swear to God, you got a death wish. Like I said, not tonight. How do you stick in something? Go on. Get out of here, you little shits. Yeah, that's right. Stay up there, and we'll get along just fine. Still gotta find a way in the Willie's garage. Gotta be a fuel pump inside. Well, hurry your ass up. I rode past one of those, uh, what the hell do you call them? The, the shit that Rippers put up. Sigils. Yeah. It means they're up here somewhere. Gotta be a fuel pump in here somewhere. Boozer, you there? I found the part. I'm heading out to the highway. Deep hot. Uh, rippers! Rippers! No, no, no! Ah! Oh. Ah, shit! Rippers. Boozer. Boozer, man. Oh, 
Cats are dead symbols of a dead man. Dead symbols of the lost. Get off me! The bitches, biker man. You must be brought low, biker man. For you are lost, and we are found. Fuck you. Ah! The path, the path. We will show you. You are not one of the found. You are the lost. The path. You are lost. Get low. Get low. Get low. Get low. Dead symbols of a dead man! Dead symbols of the lost! Hey! Over here! You sons of bitches! Get off of them! Ripper assholes! Come on! Bruiser! I just want to kill them all. Bruiser! Fucking come on! Oh my god. Oh shit. Uh, let me help you up. No, I got this. No, no, you don't. Oh, get up. Uh, fucking rippers. You gotta go. It's like. They were waiting for me or something. Fuck! Ah. I didn't see them, and then, then they were on me. Oh. Okay. No, don't look at it. My God, they are. I'm serious. Don't look at it. Don't look at it. Get on the bike. Oh, shit. Go, go. Once you wait out here, let me make sure it's all clear. Screw that. There's a bunk calling my name. All right. Pretty much like we left it. What? Not like there's much to steal. Just gonna reintroduce myself. <laughs> oh. Oh, thank God. I'm gonna go out, find some shit for your arm. You get my bike. Are you gonna be okay? Yeah. Good. Yeah. I'll head over to that neuro checkpoint. They gotta uh, have sterile bandages uh, and painkillers. Don't, don't leave my bike there. No. No, no, no. I'm gonna be uh, going out on foot while it's still light out. Hey. I've got some ammo if you need it. In the footlocker by the door. Thanks. Hey. Don't take my shotgun. Uh, Boozer... All right. Thank you. Thanks, brother. Just feel kind of naked without it. Your arm's not gonna be fine. Son of a bitch. I gotta find something for his arm. Boozer, are you awake? Yeah, Dick. What's up? I just saw someone sneaking around the safe house. What the hell? What's he doing? No idea. I'm gonna follow him. See if there's some more where he came from. Deacon out. Hey! 
Who is that? It's me, damn it. Hello? So what'd you find? It's just like I said. Those drifters we saw riding on the same bike, they're holed up, just up the road. Yeah? No shit. Hell of a setup. Some kind of lookout tower, got a fence and everything. Ours for the ticket. Sounds pretty sweet. I say when it gets dark, we go in, kill the sons of bitches, and then make ourselves at home. Uh, you know they're gonna have guns. Look like one of them was pretty gimped up. We can take him. Yeah, fuck you guys. Mine now. I'll just take these. That's the last of them. Must have followed us here. Sons of bitches. Stay the hell off O'Leary Mountain. Oozer, I found the camp. Just a few drifters looking to move in in our safe house. Like we were seeing before. It's time to start thinking about heading north. Let's get your arm fixed up, and then worry about hitting the road. I'm gonna be heading to my bike, deacon out. Oh, damn rain. If it's not the freaks, it's the goddamn rain. Why is it always raining? Oh, damn freakers. Where the hell am I? I gotta be getting close. My bike's gone. Fuck! Damn it, Copeland! Hey! You're from Copeland's camp? Where the hell is my bike? Hey, stop! Why, God damn it! I didn't take your bike, man. I swear. I'm not gonna kill you! Stop running! Jesus Christ. You gotta ask Copeland. I don't know nothing. Hey! My bike! I didn't do nothing! 
Oh, God damn it. All right, now I'm gonna kill you. <sighs> Boozer, you there? Yeah, dude. You get your bike? Nope. Copeland's men got to it before I did. I'm heading to his camp. Deacon out. Is that you? Some son of a bitch stole my bike! I don't know nothing about that. You gotta go talk to Manny. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's where I'm headed. Hey, Manny. Hey, I haven't seen you in a while lately. You've been too busy to notice. Nose down. You work hard, they feed you. Yeah, camper's life. Yeah, camper's life. I read a book once. Zen and the Art of Bike Repair. You ever read it? No, I didn't have a lot of time for books back in the day. Yeah, I ran a shop. Farewell. Made all the grease monkeys read it. Being a mechanic requires great peace of mind, it said. Try working on an empty stomach. How to focus your mind. Manny, I'm looking for a bike. Yeah? Oh, 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 you don't want that one. Why not? It, it just came off the truck. I mean, some dumb son of a bitch left it out in the shit. Rusted up good. It rode hard, too. The fool that rode it didn't know shit about bikes. <laughs> Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Shot the hell this one. I mean, we just partied it out. I mean, it didn't even have a fuel pump. We could have used oh, that. man, fuel pump like this one? O okay. Like this one, Manny. Oh, okay, okay. See, now when I said fool, what I meant was the fools that brought that bike in. See, they didn't tie that shit down properly, so they left it like rattling around back there. Deke, and... Let's talk. Looks like you had some trouble. You got hit hard last night. Ripper's game. Twice now they've been up here. Some say looking for you and the boozer. Out in the shit, folks say a lot of things. Folks around here take care of their own. They go enough days without food. Well, you see how it is. Lake not holding out? You get a fair amount of trout. Lake's fed by snowmelt. No one left a stock of fish. It's gonna run out sooner or later. Like everything else. to go hunting out here with the old man. You build deer blinds out here, put down salt licks below us, pick them off clean. Some winners had so much venison, we couldn't eat it all. I didn't think that was legal, deer baiting back in the day. My old man had only one law, the United States Constitution. He could only see us now. America, land of the free. We are that. Saw Leon the other day. Yeah? He was bringing me something. Is that right? Folks here in a lot of pain, Deke. Oh, Leon. <laughs> Thug said that he took off. No one's seen him. Mm. <laughs> Tell you what. You find his stash. You bring it to me. To me. Deke. You do that, well, we'll see what we can do for you. The bike that your men stole, that your men parted out. Salvage, Deke. Salvage. All right. Mm -hmm. I'll try to keep that in mind. 
Out of way, nice hat. What? No, this one. Don't you ever touch Now, it. hold on. Leon wore a hat like this, didn't he? Oh, Cope, I swear to God. Don't. You want to do business in my camp? You start doing some runs for me. Cope. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. I'm here anyway. What do you got? Now that's more like it. A group of drifters has been harassing my supply runs. They've moved into the radio tower west of O'Leary Mountain. Isn't that your backyard? No, it's not, but uh, I'll take care of them. I thought you might. I just want to say how sorry I am. I, I didn't know, I swear. Do you have any idea how much time I put into that bike? It was a drifter bike, Manny. I know, I know. I I'll make it up to you, I swear. I, I put together a new one. <laughs> you call this piece of shit a bike? I know, it's not. Look, I'll keep an eye out for, for more parts. I'll hook you up, I swear. Okay, and what about my custom gas tank, Manny? You know, the one that I got for my dead wife. You gonna keep an eye out for that one, too? Jesus, Deke, I'm sorry. Just get the fuck out of my way. Manny, oh, just let me look. Hey, hold on. Jesus. There. Yeah, Deke. How you doing? How's the arm? Like I said, I'll be fine. Uh, I'm still gonna head to that Nero checkpoint, find some uh, sterile bandages, uh, ointment, something. Sure, whatever. I'm gonna go out and make sure the mountain's clear. Those are no, no, those are third degree burns. You stay there, you rest, okay? I'll, I'll be there as soon as I can. Uh, I guess, uh, you know, I could, I could do something for me. Yeah, yeah, I guess, I guess I'll see what I can find, I guess. This is it, the Nero checkpoint. I gotta find some shit for boozers. Huh?
Come on, you son of a bitch. You better start. Yes. Sterile bandages, sterile bandages. Where the hell would they keep this shit? St. John out. One more thing. When they left, it appears they may have stolen some automatic rifles and a few shotguns. Watch yourself. Jesus, Coke, thanks for the hands up. I do what I can. Go back. Do what you can, son. Hey, Boozer, I, uh, found some shit for your arm. Boozer? Oh, shit. Boozer! Hey! Whoa, ah! um, hurry! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, shit! Oh, shit, Deke. Oh. Could've blown your goddamn head off. Look, uh, let me, let me see that arm, huh? No, no, I got Come this. Come on, let me see that arm. Come on, it. all right! Deke. Thanks, brother. Look, I'll, I'll be better, okay? I'm gonna be fine. God.
What did you do? You shot up his generator and killed his radio operator, didn't you? I did right. Now, none of us have to listen to that shit. Fucking radio for your organs and shit. Now it's Copeland for your organs. Stupid asshole. What do you think he's gonna let that fly? That dumb shit. What do you mean? Something's here. See anything? Saw something. Gone. That's the last of them. Jesus, Cope, how many men have you pissed off? All right, this has got to be the generator, but it's been shot to hell. Okay, that should do it. There we go. Drop it! If you had bullets, I wouldn't be breathing, now would I? Please, mister. I don't shoot women if I have a choice. Do I have a choice? I ain't got nothing. I got nowhere to go! Jesus Christ. All right, let's see if they got an underground bunker around here. Down the hatch.
Hello, a map. Looks like they marked it up pretty good. I guess they won't be needing it <laughs> Not anymore. Deke, you there? It's probably nothing. It sounded like bike engines riding somewhere on the mountain. I just finished clearing the radio tower for Copeland. I'm, I'm gonna climb the tower, see if I can see anything. sound like like yourself it's not, it's nothing you know I just let this drifter get the drop on me lucky for me she was uh, out of ammo you let her go didn't you okay yeah fuck yes yes I let her go one of these days Deke that code of yours it's gonna get you killed yeah well something's gonna do it right does it matter what Deacon out Jesus, what a climb. All right, let's see what the hell Wizard's talking about. We're right, someone's on the mountain. I see smoke from their campfire. Oh, son of a bitch, I knew I heard something. Where are they? I'm gonna head out there. No, God damn it, Boozer. Gotta get your arm healed up so we can ride the hell out of here. I'll take care of him. Oh, shit, I think it's just... Start crazy here, Dick. Just try to stay awake in case they head your way. Deacon out. Almost there. Yeah, come on, keep going. Almost there. Oh, shit's killing me. St. John to Copeland's camp. Locked on. The radio tower's locked down. Got to score here. Radio bubbling. Copy that. You may not see the value of the St. John, but Radio Free Oregon is the only thing keeping us from turning into savages. <laughs> no cope, the only thing keeping us from turning into savages is about nine square meals. Try going hungry for three days. There's no such thing as a starving patriot. Well, sir, I hope to God you're wrong. Roseman, you awake? I'm uh, heading to that camp you spotted north of the mountain. Uh, I heard gunshots. Uh, it might be an ambush camp. Find out when I get there. Deacon out. Booze man, you were right. They set up along the railroad tracks. Kill every one of those sons of bitches. That was kind of the plan. Deacon out.
sound. Ah, that's the last of them. Stay the hell off O'Leary Mountain. Boozer, it's done. Squatter camp. They won't be doing any more killing on O'Leary Mountain. Good. Deke. I should have been there. To help, I mean, I... Just rest up, booze man. Rest up. We're riding north as soon as your arm heals. You got that? Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Yeah, I'm gonna ride up to the cemetery and see if I can find Leon's stash. Sorry. What was that? Rest up, loser. We're heading north as soon as you can ride. North? Yeah. going on, Cope? A man come in. Drug out of his mind. Shot the place up. Then he just took off. Then he said his bike's got a red tank on it. He was wearing some kind of motocross helmet. Silver. Okay. If I go now, I might be able to catch up to him. I want him alive, Deke. Alive? Alive. You catch this man, then radio me. Fetch him and hang the bastard right from that land. It's time we start showing these drifters. We have law and order in this camp. No offense meant to yourself. I'm taken. I'll find him. Hey, Dean, you there? I was thinking about heading down to that logging camp. Clear out those nests. I see more freaks up here. Boozer, no! No, you're gonna get yourself killed. You gotta wait till your whole brother. Uh, I'm over here anyway, so I'll take care of the mess. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Dee. Dee, wait till tonight. Be fewer freaks inside those nests. Leon. Uh, maybe in one of these.
ですよ Boozer! Booze man, are you listening? Uh, oh, you're not gonna believe this. I just saw a goddamn chopper! A, a chopper? What, what are you talking about? Look! Near a chopper! It, it just buzzed right over me and acted like I wasn't even there! Wait, all this time and a fed chopper shows up out of nowhere? Yeah, I'm gonna chase him down and I'm, uh, uh, I'm gonna see what the hell they're doing! Hey, Deke. Be careful. Don't get too close till you know what the hell they're doing. And don't do anything stupid. <laughs> hell no, I'm not gonna do anything stupid. Hold on, hold on, they're slowing down. Looks like they're stopping. Field note 2000. After tracking a large moving group, estimated size of 5 to 600, we have confirmed the subject's hibernation location at. Hey, Doc, I see Site 23 on the roster for tomorrow. Is that us? No, that's O'Brien. Got it. Oh, shit, where was I? We have confirmed the subject's hibernation location at the High Desert Grotto, now designated Site 15. Trampling of grasses and plants at the entrance, and the presence of footprints, see attached photos, indicate the site has been used for some time. Must be nice and cozy in there. According to the motion sensor, planted by Lieutenant O'Brien, approximately 447 subjects have entered the cave this morning. Recommend sending a follow-up team sometime after 1900 hours to assess the cave's interior and further assess conditions. Now to Dr. Anderson. Your theory about the subjects devolving to a primitive state of nocturnal behavior is seeming more appealing all the time. End report. Not going inside. King O'Brien. Didn't you hear me? Over He's 400 subjects. And these aren't just your regular run-of-the-mill freaks. These are can. stage three. They're sleeping like babies. No, and I asked if you were going can't, in. Can't be. Didn't say I was. And these subjects are not sleeping. They're hibernating. Okay, stay well, stay well. Have I woken up a hibernating bear? No. Ever woken up a hibernating freak? Yeah, actually. I was one of the survivors at the White King mine. Jesus. Someone tear my buddy apart like he was peeling a banana. These suits protect you from a lot of shit. But not them. Holy shit, Corporal. Jesus, I'm... 
I'm sorry. That mission was Fubar from the start. Which is why we are not going inside there. I think if I sealed up this cave, we'd, I don't know, knock down their population. I don't know, Corporal. A lot of caves out here. Come on, let's get out of here. Secret caves. Yeah, right. Like anyone gives a damn. What time is it? What's wrong with this? I really hate these assignments. Yeah, I hear you. Let me guess. You'd rather be in the Belknap Caves? Need even the freak or shit? You getting hungry? Time now. Boozer, you there? Booze man, come back. Hey, hey, I'm here. Let me go to the farewell. The Nero guy, the soldier, whatever the hell he was, took Sarah. What, what, what are you? He had an ID badge. What was the name? Oh, God. O'Brien. Oh, wouldn't shut up about it. All the way out to Three Finger Jack. Hey, he's alive. Boozer, he's alive. Wiped out. No, I know that, but I heard. I went into their LZ. And they. Wait, wait. You went into their LZ? What the? Just listen. I heard on the radio. Talking about a man named O'Brien. Think. Don't. Not! Boozer, I'm not. I'm just. Hey, uh. Get some sleep. Peeking out. shit out here again. Oh, yeah, because they're assholes. Free Oregon. 
don't believe the lies. No, Cope. The cemeteries are filled with freakers, not martyrs. And you had to keep moving, because if anyone had found your unmarked van, they would have blown it to hell. Just so I wouldn't have to listen to your bullshit Radio Free Oregon. <laughs> safer to ride through here. Now, where is it? God damn, this has got to be close. Later, finish burning out these nests. Sniper on the road. Oh, God damn it. Hello, squatter camp. Sons of bitches have been setting up ambushes around here, yeah? Dear Crossing, well, guess you don't have to be worried about traffic no more, do you? I gotta burn them out. I gotta make it safer to ride. I guess I'll come back here and finish burning this infestation zone later. Where's Tucker? Alki. Over at the dig site. Well, which one, goddammit? The north one. Back there. If anybody touches this bike, or anything on it, I break your fingers. Whatever, man. Jesus.
keep telling you. Everywhere you look, it's all one giant lava field. 25 feet solid rock. It'll take jackhammers to... I don't need a lecture, goddammit. I get it. No, you don't. But these people are hungry. Even if they had all their strength. It'll take them months to finish this job with picks and shovels. I don't give a shit! We're all hungry, Al. But this job's gotta get done whether it takes all goddamn year. It's not like we got somewhere else to be now, do we? Wait. Not finished. We'll make it quick, we get Al. I got things to do. Rippers. This morning, one of my men spotted a large group of them coming over the pass. And no one stopped them? How the f... Tucker, you know we're already spread thin. Are, are they headed north? Al, are they headed towards us? Yes or no? I... I don't know. Maybe he knows. <laughs> what the fuck are you oh. up to now, huh? What's this about, huh? Damn it, Al Kai. It's not his job to know. It's your goddamn job to know. I can't be at two places at one time. You either want me here, running your dig, or you want me out there in the shit, chasing the rippers. Go check the store, see how much ammo we got left. I'll tell Wheeler to watch the dig. What are you looking at? I don't know, I'm just waiting for you to smarten the fuck up. Don't! Did you track down Leon? Good thing someone around here knows how to make things happen. Ride with me. How long's it been since you found someone, brought him in? The kind of people left out in the shit aren't the kind of people you want me bringing in. We lost two more to the fever. It's not my problem. You want our food? I'm making it your problem. I told you we'll do runs for you, but we're not joining your goddamn camp. Remind me again, my old woman's memory. Why is that? Because it's a waste of time, Tuck. <laughs> Well, aren't you the optimist? Where's Boozer? He said he was gonna head over to Copeland's camp, see about trading for some fish. You're not in bed with Cope now, are you? His camp near yours? It's not closer or further. Look, I'm not Boozer's old lady. He goes where he wants. <laughs> I can't Jesus. <laughs> Keep the shit burning all day and night. Got a lot of freak corpses piling up out here. With men like you doing your jobs, damn right we keep it burning. Try using more gasoline. It burns faster, less fumes. Like we got so much to spare? When it's all gone, what are you gonna put in that bike of yours, spit and sweat? Now what the hell is going on here? The count's off. Storage is missing food and some ammo. Jesus. Who was on watch last night? Wheeler. Tonight, double the watch. This shit's starting to piss me off. You got it. Trouble in paradise? It's like I was saying. Camp's like a prison. Bunch of goddamn lazy liars, thieves, rapists, and murderers. You know why that is? No idea. Because that's who we are. The freak show. Only folks survived were those mean enough, nasty enough to out-freak the freaks. The rest are here. Hoping I feed them, protect them, keep them nice and cozy and warm so they can sit on their asses and watch the world end. You! Get your ass back to work! Don't make me go get Cyrus. Lazy sons of bitches can screw around all they like on their time. Daytime is my time. Running this camp is no different than running a prison. I can't remember what you said. You were, you were what? You were a warden or something? <laughs> Nothing so high and mighty. I was matron of the women's ward. You look like the sort who might have spent some time in a pen back in the day. You ever do time? I had my share of trouble, but I never landed in K-State. I got a job for you. Larson was on a run yesterday. Passed through Marion Fork, said he saw someone. Young woman with like. But he only oh, caught a glance. He stopped to look around, but he never hell? found her. Get back to work. Is he sure? Come Larson's on. been doing this long as you. He knows a person no, 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 from no, no, a freak. No, no, no. 
Get you got a knack for this. God damn it. You head over there and find her before Stop. the freaks do. Don't. I'll see what I can do. But look, talk, I want the rest of my credits for Leon. You bring me warm bodies, I'll give you all the credits you can spend. I gotta go find Wheeler. Someone's looking at a What's night going in the on? shack. Just looking. Stuff's getting scarce. <sighs> Bike's looking busted up. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Alcott. What do you want, Drifter? What's your problem? Hmm? One of my men uh, escaped to Ripper Camp over by Iron Butte. Got tortured, like they always do. But this time, they kept asking me if you knew about it. Two bikers, two men, asking me if you'd ever seen them or heard of them. A lot of bikes around here. What's it, <laughs> what's it got to do with me? The Ripper called them mongrels. How many drifters still flying colors around here? As if that shit matters. If you ask me, you got a price on your head. How's it feel to be on the other side? I why don't you just show me what you got because I don't have time for your bullshit. Whatever you say, Deke. Should keep you pretty safe out there. Yeah, I can upgrade that. What the hell? Here, back to work. good as new. Come on, get to Find work. me if you need anything else. <laughs> now I just gotta figure out who I'm gonna give this to. We can't head north until I get this bike fixed up. Copeland it is. Hey, what do you need? Hey, hold on. St. John, you out there? We've got a job for you here at the Hot Springs. Tucker, okay, I'll head your way. St. John out.
Deacon St. John, this is Tucker. Like I said before, I haven't seen Loser Sweet Face around these last few days. You sure he's all right? This is Deacon. Loser's fine. Like I said, he's just busy. Doing runs for that son of a bitch Mark Copeland, no doubt. I get the feeling he doesn't like me much. Loser, I mean. Like I said, I ain't his old lady. Should be it. Hey, Cope, this man I'm tracking down. Who did he kill? Why do you care? It's just another bounty job, isn't it? Now, look, I don't care. I just want to know their names. Who, Cope? One of them was a man named Randall. Been with the camp almost a year. I didn't know the other two. You want me to ask? I guess not. You find that son of a bitch, you radio me. Copeland out. Okay, one nurse done. How many more you got? Okay. Oh, there's gotta be a nest in this shack. Oh yeah, a nest. Okay, you boys just keep sleeping. Don't pay no attention to me. Come on, boys and girls. Let's do this.
shit yourself. Oh, it's Jesus Christ. Getting kind of cold out here. Thought I'd help you out. <laughs> Is that the last of them? Finally. Boozer, it's done. I cleared those nests. Should be less freaks on the mountain from now on. Hey, Deke. How'd it go? Were there, were there a lot of them? Nah, it wasn't too bad. That's why I wanted to take them on while it's dark out. Some of them were strong as hell, though. Going, hey, Manny. You got a problem? Cool. Need anything else? This should last you for a while. Oh, yeah, that's a good piece. Good choice, man. Good choice. Yep, always needing fuel. Drifter life. Working at the fairway see you around, Dave. School the day everyone got sick and died. I didn't think I'd see you around imagine, so much. Right? Just looking. I, mean, I was teaching letters looking to for a bunch something in particular. First graders. I use the word teaching very loosely here. That all you need? This kid comes in late. All right. Didn't look right. Sort of on it. Next thing I know. Thanks. He's bite. Hey, Cope. I think Liam was bringing you this. <laughs> you made a wise choice. Wise choice. Uh, you go see Manny. Maybe he can help you with that bike of yours. <laughs> Deacon, keep an eye on that gas tank. 
one with the custom paint job you've been asking about. Manny, what's going on? What do you need? I'll wrap that up for you. Cool. Need anything else? This should last you for a while. I'll be here. All right, check back later, man. Deke, how have you See been? You. Damon. Not buying today. See ya, Deke. Deke, you there? Boozer, the hell aren't you in your damn bunk? I couldn't sleep. Remember what I said? Back in the tunnel. Don't go up there, Dave. It's, it's making you crazy. Who's her? I, okay, okay. I go up there because there's freaks in there. Here, I kill them there. Bounties are all the same. Then what are the two lids for, huh? I saw them, Deke. Here on the table. This morning. The same ones she had at the wedding. I remember. I'm not gonna... Listen, who's her? Get some rest. I gotta go. Deacon out. And I'm Tulip's boozer, the stone crop. Get it right. Back on track. Bike. There he is! It's here. Silver helmet. Red gas tank. That's him. Oh shit! What the hell? So you thought you'd ride into Copeland's camp? I shoot the place up. That about right. Kill a few folks, take some shit, just ride out, and you just. on that. Not a fan of it myself, if you want to know the truth. Give Drifters a bad name. But what if you'd shot Manny? You know, who fixed my bike then? Stupid piece of shit. <laughs> Screw you! You are cope with stonies, you little bitch! That's what you are, you little bitch! Cope, it's done. I got him. You Mark tell down these coordinates and send your men out here. Is he alive? Yeah, he's alive. But I won't promise you how long he's gonna stay that way. Deacon out. Boozer, you there? 
Calling to check up on you. Yeah, dude, come here. Hang in there, buddy. As soon as we get that arm patched up, we're riding north, just like you said. Ah, I hope so. God, I miss you in the road. You just work on getting better. I still got some work to do on the bike, and we gotta stock up on some gear. But once you're patched up, we're out of here. Keeping out. St. John, this is Copeland. Manny says he's got a park for your bike. Not sure I have enough camp credits. When you do, swing by. He'll fix you up. Copeland out. Deacon St. John, this is Mark Copeland. I just wanted to apologize for that business with your bike. Things you've been doing to help out the camp. Well, I guess I had you figured all wrong. Again, I'm sorry. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. Broke another goddamn razor this morning. In our supposed global utopia, Instead of getting the best products from around the world, we got the shittiest products cheap foreign labor could churn out. Everything in the last 50 years was built to break, so that you could buy once, buy again, buy again, buy again. You always had to get the new car, the new phone, the new this and that, all to feed the beast of crass commercialism. You want something built to last? You couldn't go overseas, nope. Hard-working Americans at the helm. When we build something, it'll stand the test of time. And the same hands that built this country, they'll withstand anything this new world throws at us. Our roads bend, friends, but they do not break. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. They look pretty broken to me, Cope, but hey, whatever you say. Nothing wrong with a little crass commercialism. Hell, I could use a new bike right about now. Oh, 
scrap. It's not here. We got to you feel the hell This camp is not yours. You got that? Yeah, that's right. No more for you. Get the hell out of my camp. How many of you sons of bitches are there? Huh? How many of you left? How many? Hey, babe. Yeah, I cleaned them out. They won't be bothering you no more. Uh, hey, me again. Steve, I'm gonna tell you something. Hey, it's okay. It's just my you told me that we shouldn't come back, and I didn't listen to you. I mean, I knew that it was getting worse, but I... None of us knew it was going to go away like this. It's fast. You don't understand. I don't know what I would do if I lost you. This is my fault. Hey. I'm not losing anyone. I made a promise. Remember? Deacon, wait! Sarah, come on. There's a kid here. Wait. Hey. Oh, hey, are you okay? Come on, we gotta find your parents, okay? Here we go. Come on! Oh, oh, me. oh, yeah. oh yeah. Uh, um, I don't know. I don't. I don't think it's that bad. Okay, what? Okay. Just hold this here as soon as you can. Can you run? I don't think so. I think I can walk. Okay, good enough. Almost there. Okay. Two hours ago, this place was calling the feds. Yeah, they must have evacuated. Yeah, 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 they must have bugged the hell out. Yeah, she's burning out. The uh, knife must have nicked her kidney or something. She's turning sick. Mm. How you doing, mm. little sister? So stupid. It was this little, this little kid. This, this goddamn little kid. The big goddamn knife. Hey, help me. Come mm. on. Oh, shit. Mom, you want to be able to come through? We gotta get to the roof, flag down one of those choppers. All right. Yeah, see if you can rest over here. Hey, mm -hmm. easy, easy. She reminded me so much of my little sister, you know? Mm. So we used to play that hide and seek game all the time. And she would just, just uh, hide her head in her coat just like that. Um. I've been cutting my name, but nothing like that. She's burning up. Jesus. Look at him. We gotta move. We ain't going that way. Ah. Uh, come on. All right. Hey, sweetheart, can you move? Yeah, I got her. Go find this way out. Yeah, we see you got guns, guys. Stop shooting. 
Sir? Hey, 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 I'm unarmed. I'm unarmed. Get out! Now listen to me, listen to me. My girl's out there, she's been stabbed. We're just trying to get to the roof. Get out there's a helicopter you killed her. So listen. You We're killed just... my wife! Oh, no, no, no. Look, I, I didn't know anything about your wife being killed. I'm sorry, sir. No, no, no. Do it again. 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 My wife! Oh, God. Do it again. Stop. 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 Wait, we need help. She's been wounded. What's wrong with her? Well, she's not. Whatever the hell's going on out there, she's been stabbed. I can't take anymore. Oh, okay, listen, O'Brien. If we don't get her to a hospital, she's going to die. There are no more hospitals. <laughs> Oh, come on, no more hospitals. You got uh, doctors, you got triage, you got a mass unit. Oh, look, I'm just a grad student, okay? I, I got volunteered for this. I'm not even supposed to be out here. Okay. Ryan. Okay. <laughs> Shit. Uh, I've only got room for two of you, okay? Two. Why do you got room for two of you? We're overweight, wait, okay? I can only take two of you. Two. <laughs> come on, help me. Come on. All right, sweetheart. It's okay. You're gonna be all right. I got her. You're gonna be right back. <coughs> okay, Boozer, let's go. We gotta hold get on, on that. Hold on. We gotta get on, on that chopper. I heard what he said. There's only room for two on that chopper. Go. Go with her. I'll be okay. Look, I've been through worse shit than this before. You know? Where are you going? What? Where? Where? Refugee camp, west of Three Finger Jack. No. Boozer is never going to make it without me. I want this back. You coming? Check on you, man. I know. Yeah, you wouldn't want me to, but I guess Boozer's right. I can't help myself. It's uh, it's like I said. I'll be back. Boozer, another Nero chopper. Wonder what the hell they're up to.
After I told you not to... Look! I... Just leave it. All right, I'm just out hunting for each boozer. You got that? Bounties! That's the only reason that I go up there. Damn it. There we go. Oh, shit. Hold on, hold on, they're slowing down. Looks like they're stopping. I think they were just, uh, warning shots. I mean, if they were trying to hit me, I would be dead. Deke, remember me telling you about that death wish of yours? Yeah, 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 I got this. Take it out. Get back here with that! Oh, shit, that's mine! Ah, oh, finally! Jesus Christ, those shits can run fast. Yeah. So, what the hell are they doing? Looked like they were out here... Shit, wrangling freaks, I don't know. They had a newt in some kind of noose, like they were putting a tracking device on it or something. What? Wrangling? What, what do you mean? You know, like tying it up, taking samples from it or something, like those guys used to do on that wildlife show. Pretty fucked up. They got chased off by swarmers, bugged the hell out. They left some gear behind, a radio. You don't... you don't think that Sarah... No! No. I... I, I don't know. I'm just... And he's alive, Boozer. He's alive. O'Brien. One of them. Nero. I'm gonna track him down. If I can, I... I'm gonna... I'm gonna get some answers. Damn it. Okay. Look, I'll be able to ride soon. I'll help you, Deke. If he's alive, we'll find the bastard. You're goddamn right. I'm gonna check in later. Deacon out. 
Okay, O'Brien, where the hell are you? So I'm sort of lost. I was hoping you could help me out. I'm sorry, you're lost? Yeah, yeah, I'm looking for the old Belknap Road and there's not a lot of signs around here. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Nope. What? What is it? What? Oh, it's <laughs> great. That is just perfect. <laughs> that is great. That is great. So about those directions? Oh, I'm really sorry. I, I don't know where Belknap, Belknap, Belknee, Bel Belknap. Belknap, that's the one. And I don't know where it is. I really can't help you. I'm sorry. So no, then? <sighs> nope. Okay. Well, thanks anyway. Hey! <sighs> All right. <laughs> Could you use a ride? Yes, I could. Thank you for finally offering. I'm Sarah. I'm Deacon. Oh, well, sorry about the mess. <clears throat> um, I don't know. How do I, uh, this contraption? Pretty much what you think. You just throw your just... leg over. Yeah. Okay. Um, there. Whoa. Okay. <clears throat> Ready. Hey! <laughs> hey! Hold on tight. Thank you so much. No problem. It's just, there are no bars out here, so... Well, sure there is. There's a place called Crazy Willie's up the road. There's, uh... No, I meant cell phone reception. I knew what you meant. Right, of course. Anyway. So what's a nice girl like you doing in a place like this? <laughs> you know, I ask myself that all the time. I do research. Um, you know, I study things. Thanks. Had no idea what research was. Sorry, um, I do plants. You study plants? Yeah. Lordy, that was close. Hey, you sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I just. Oh my god. Hey, hey, I've got cell phone reception. Hey, yeah, I'm fine. I just. The car you gave me, it's a real piece of shit. I need a tow. I'm on, um, I don't know, some. I don't know where I Road 42. Am. Road 42? Yeah, I'm, I'm about a mile up. Okay, I'll see you when you get here. Come on, I'll take you back to your car. We can wait for the tow truck. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Well, all right. I'm sure when those boys come back, they'd be happy to give you a ride, so... <laughs> okay, all right. <clears throat> all right, I just... It'll be any minute now. All right, so. all right, all right, screw it, let's go. Just drive a little careful this time, okay? <laughs> you weren't really lost, were you? Well, that all depends on who you ask. My ex would say I've been lost for years. Well, you certainly know your way around here. You're not from around here. No, I'm from Seattle. The company that I work for, they just, they opened this lab here, so... Here I came to the middle of nowhere. It's a research 
plants. That's right, I already told you I forgot. Um, yeah, so the company that I work for, they, they do work for this bioengineering firm, and um, some of the plants that I, I look at are pretty rare, and they just happen to grow here. That has got to be the best thing I've ever heard. Oh, what the hell? Clay, we got company. All right, gentlemen. Smart now, huh? Not here. It's big bad thought. biker, huh? Yeah. Ass yeah, hit him again. How you like that, my boy? Do it. Come on, hit him. Not so tough now. Hit him. <laughs> <laughs> you don't learn, do you, you biker boy? Day. Oh yes, yes. <laughs> oh, dude. I'll teach him good. Yeah, you like that? How about that? <laughs> Shit. Oh, yeah, I'm out. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Roll, goddammit! Roll! Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. No, no, no. Uh, oh, my God. Hey. I'm so sorry. No, no, no. I, I don't even know. I just was looking in your bag and no, it's I, I right. saw that and I. No. Oh, my God. I could have killed somebody. Well. Oh, shit. Yeah, but you, you gotta kind of aim it at them first. I've never done anything like that before. Hey, I saw, it's okay. It's okay. I They're saw going. it in They're your going. bag and I just I tried to call you the police. Good. But there were, you know there what were we're no gonna do? We're gonna, gonna do no reception. I'm gonna wait right here until your guy comes. Okay. Thank you. I've never done anything like that. Huh. Could have fooled me. Yeah? Tucker, Hot Springs Camp, you there? I'm gonna need more info on that survivor Larson spotted in Marion Forks. Deacon, I already told you everything I know. Young, a woman. Wait, he mentioned Hungry Jim's. That old pancake house by the East Bridge. Lumberjack, big stack of pancakes. Yeah, I know the one. Okay, I'll start there. You do that. And remember, bring her to me. A group of drifters came through the other day, traded us a few guns. Maybe something you could use. <sighs> Keep that in mind, Deacon out. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. Today, I was thinking about where it all began. Let's go deep. Back to the big WW2. 1947, the feds passed what they call it the National Security Act. Now, what this did was give the feds the right to take over our roads, railroads, and radio. Anything they damn well pleased. Without a warrant. Today, the feds are gone. But we're still here. Shining the spotlight of truth on the world. Truth is, I've seen it coming. Years ago, we had photos. Nero death camps built to hold us, American citizens. No one believed me. If more of us had spoken up, none of this would have happened. I'll tell you one thing. It won't happen again. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. Well, you were right about one thing, Cope. All these Nero refugee camps, they did turn out to be death camps, just not the way you were expecting. Where are you hiding? 
hiding. You gotta be here somewhere. I would need water. Maybe, maybe down by the creek. Gotta look around. You gotta be hers. This must be where she comes to get water. Yeah, you come here for water every day, don't you? But you move cautiously. You don't stick around long. Good for you. Stopping off.
Scrap. Ladder, this is it. Come on. Just gotta set it here. All right, kid, where are you hiding? Don't be afraid. Uh, I'm not gonna hurt you. Are you alone? Is there uh, anyone else with you? Oh, man. Okay. Uh, is, is this your room? It's, it's really great. Uh, are, are these yours? No. Uh, Lisa. Right. Oh, That's oh. mine. This one's for gymnastics. I should have won first place, but Missy King, she cheated. Lisa! Lisa, you hear the gunshots outside? It's not safe here. I was now, at we... school. And my mom called me and told me to come home right away and not stop, and they would be here waiting for me, and we would leave together, and... Got here and there was a note that said they left with some men and I didn't know what to do. So so I hid. I, I didn't know what to do. It's alright, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, Lisa, not far from here, there's a camp. And you really ought to let me take you there. Uh, no. There are people there. There are people, I know them. It's, I'm not gonna lie to you, it's a work camp, and to eat you have to work. Life is gonna be hard, no. but at least you ain't gonna starve. No, uh, no my mom's coming here is, for okay, me. Okay, is this your mommy? Well, you said she didn't come home, right? So, maybe she's at the camp. Mom is at the camp? I know she is. Okay. Stay close. The men with the guns. Are they still out there? No, we don't gotta worry about them. Did you kill them? They're gone. Lots of sick people. Oh, 
we shouldn't be out here. this. ridden before? No. Just climb on behind me. Hang on tight. Hey, what's your name? I'm Deacon. My name's Deacon. Uh, Lisa, Lisa, how did you live out here alone for all this time? You don't talk much, do you? My dad's a rock hound. He used to take me out here looking for thunder eggs. Thunder eggs? Uh, what is that? They're rocks, but when you cut them open, they're really pretty inside. Okay, that, that sounds great. We used to go all over. On that crater, the lava flow, and black crater, everywhere. Do you think he's at the camp too? Uh, I don't know, kid. Someone's in the tunnel. What? Listen to me. The gunshots that you heard, those were really bad men. Do you understand? Yes. Stay here. Find some place to hide. Don't come out until I say so, okay? Yeah. Now right. I got you. Jack, run at him!
Lisa? Kid? Come on out, it's safe. Come on, hop on. Are you okay? I think I want to go home. Nah, kid, the camp. You'll be safe there, you'll see. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna ask you a question, Lisa, and I need you to think real hard. Did any of your neighbors, did they own any firearms? You know, like uh, pistols, rifles, things like that? No. Men came and took everything. Men? Were they like the men in the tunnel, or, or did they wear uniforms like, uh, like in the army? Like the army. But they were really dirty, and they carried flags they made themselves. Um, Deschutes County Militia, I think. I don't remember. Did they have anyone with them? Women? Children? I don't remember. Okay. Tommy would remember. Tommy? Tommy Strickland. My best friend. But he's gone. He left with his dad to hide. Hide? I, I don't... His dad built a fallout shelter and put all kinds of stuff in it. Maps, food, water, guns, you know, stuff like that. Okay, okay, do you know where that is? No. They wanted me to come with them, but I knew my mom and dad would come back for me. All right, this is it. We're here, all so right. just stay with me. Well, who do we have here? Mrs. Tucker! Oh, my God! Whoa. Lisa, honey! Oh, it's okay. You're safe now. Mom and Dad, and everyone got sick, and I didn't know what to do, and men came, and people shh, got shh, shh. sick, and... It's okay. You're safe now. It's a miracle. It's a goddamn miracle. We were neighbors, weren't we, Lisa? I lived just down the block. I knew her parents. Are they here, Mrs. Tucker? Honey, you know the answer to that. No. They're not here. Let's go in. Get you cleaned up. Something to eat, and then, then I'll find a place for you to sleep. Take her in. Give her some food. Go see Alki. I'll update your credits tonight. Hey, hey, listen, listen. She's she's been through a lot. Can we just let me worry about easy? how? No, I'm gonna... listen to me, okay? Seriously, don't work here like you do everyone else. Don't tell me how to run my camp. You want to move here? You want to help us run this? Then maybe you get some say. <laughs> don't get soft on me, D. Okay. What? Good piece. Should help out in the shit. Need anything else? Good choice. Yeah, all right. I'll be here. See you around. Hey, man. Hey, what's up? Let me have a look at it. Fill her up. What the hell? Get back to work. Come on. Later. Just a sec. Gotta open the gate. Yeah.
O'Brien. It's goddamn O'Brien. What did he say? Uh, Metolius Springs. Metolius Springs. Yeah, yeah, I know where that is. Hey, Boozer, you there? Yeah, the... I just caught a break. That Nero radio might actually be useful. I know where they're going tomorrow. Yeah. I thought you said you couldn't take them on. No, I can't, but with a little luck, I can get to their chapel without being seen and... Give them hell, brother. Remember what Jack used to say? We'll ride faster than your guardian angel can fly. Like I said, Jack used to say a lot of strange yeah. shit. You can out. St. John out. Help me! So, you want to learn how to hunt? Is that what I'm hearing? I know how to shoot a gun. It's a rifle, not a gun. I was in the 10th Mountain Cope. Don't give me any of your Marine Corps bullshit. Killing a buck's a little different than killing a man. Or a freak. The best way to hunt an animal is to track it. You gotta focus. And see what nature's trying to tell you. If you look hard enough, you'll see the signs. Okay, then. Look hard. See this pile of deer scat? It's fresh. Yeah, I see it. They lead this way. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. Well, come on, man. Quick, there's your buck. I see him. Now here, use my rifle. If you were in the Tenth Mountain, you know how to use a scope. Yeah, Cope, I know how to use a scope. Easy, easy. 
bastard. You got him. Nice shot. Oh, God damn it! it wasn't a kill shot. He got away. No, no, that's okay. You wounded him. He'll bleed out soon enough. We just gotta track him. <sighs> okay. See the blood spots? Look close. Yeah, I see him. And follow him. On it. He'll be slowing down about now. Losing too much blood. We should be coming across his carcass any time now. Okay, you know how to gut an animal? Yeah, look. Cope, Boozer and I have been hunting before. He used to go elk hunting with his old man, and yeah, he, uh, he showed me how to gut a deer. Well, let's just say no disrespect to Boozer, but you've got a lot to learn. You're wasting a lot of meat there. Overall, not bad for a beginner. Yeah, thanks. Now, I'll take back that rifle. Here, thanks. Like I said, Deke, we can always use more venison at the camp. Still got some folks trying to heal up from that Ripper attack. Okay, Cope. Yeah, I'll see if I can remember that. Deacon? Okay. What? Good piece. Should help out in the shit. Need anything else? Good choice. Yeah, all right. I'll be here. See you around. Hey, man. Hey, what's up? Let me have a look at it. Fill her up. What the hell? Get back to work. Come on. Later. Gotta open the gate. Say a lot of stupid shit. Deep enough. All right, let's go see what the hell Nero is up to. All right, got some questions for you. Saint John, stop by the hot springs when you can. Docker, I hear you. Saint John out.
fuel can. <sighs> Needed this. Done. So, you want to learn how to hunt? Is that what I'm hearing? I know how to shoot a gun. It's a rifle, not a gun. I was in the 10th Mountain Cope. Don't give me any of your Marine Corps bullshit. Killing a buck's a little different than killing a man. Or a freak. The best way to hunt an animal is to track it. You gotta focus. And see what nature's trying to tell you. If you look hard enough, you'll see the signs. Okay, then. Look hard. See this pile of deer scat? It's fresh. Yeah, I see it. They lead this way. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. Well, come on, man. Quick, there's your buck. I see him. Now here, use my rifle. If you were in the Tenth Mountain, you know how to use a scope. Yeah, Cope, I know how to use a scope. Easy, easy. <laughs> you got him. Nice shot. Oh, God damn it! it wasn't a kill shot. He got away. No, no, that's okay. You wounded him. He'll bleed out soon enough. We just gotta track him. Okay. See the blood spots? Look close. Yeah, I see him. And follow him. On it. He'll be slowing down about now. Losing too much blood. We should be coming across his carcass any time now. Okay, you know how to gut an animal? Yeah, look. Cope, Boozer and I have been hunting before. He used to go elk hunting with his old man, and yeah, he, uh, he showed me how to gut a deer. Well, let's just say no disrespect to Boozer, but you got a lot to learn. You're wasting a lot of meat there. Overall, not bad for a beginner. Yeah, thanks. Now, I'll take back that rifle. Here, thanks. Like I said, Deke, we can always use more venison at the camp. Still got some folks trying to heal up from that Ripper attack. Okay, Cope. Yeah, I'll see if I can remember that. Alive. How the hell is he alive? They were diverted south. He said that he put her on oxygen. He gave her an IV. He kept her alive. She was septic. So she was a 
I might get, but he got her to a mash unit. He saved her life. He said it. He said he saved her life. She, she can still be. She. No, 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 no. What is it's alive. Man, um, a few days ago, I asked you if you remembered that Nero asshole O'Brien. Uh, yeah, Deke, it's, it's all uh, kind of a blur. Yeah, yeah, okay. Get some shut eye, booze, man. I'll, I'll tell you about it later. When are we riding out of here, Deke? Oh, <laughs> soon, Boozer. Real soon. Look, <clears throat> as soon as your arm heals, we're gonna be riding the hell out of here. O'Brien! son of a bitch, you better wait. You hear me, O'Brien? You're on this channel? God damn it. You better get back to me or I'm going to track you down. You got that? Oh, God damn it. Oh, come on! O'Brien! Back to me. Hey, been staying a step ahead of him? Hey, yeah, barely. It's gonna get cold tonight. Yeah, I can feel it. Hey, booze man, I brought in some meat. Should keep us stocked up for a while. Hey, Deke, thanks, man. I'm not real hungry right now. I'll salt it up in a bit. I just want to find out, you know, what happened to her. Oh, she died. I don't need to find any peace. I, I gotta go, all right? Deacon out.
drifters. Oh, how's it going? Looks like you've got a few years here. Can I help you? Yeah. Your bike could use some work. We're gonna run out of this someday, you know. Later. How you doing, kid? They won't let me leave. <laughs> Why would you want to leave? It's safe here. I have to work. Okay. Okay. Hold on, I'll get it. After who, Tuck? Slow down. It's Roach. It's Roach. You know him. He used to ride with Leon and Alvarez. And when I trusted him. Oh, God damn it, Tuck. You shouldn't have. No. He's taking the rest of our drugs and headed north. My boys lost him somewhere around Marion Fox. <sighs> All right. I'll see if I can track it down. Looks like he was, uh, 
but he was waiting for someone. Deke, don't let him get away. I want him alive. Uh, what the shit, Pucker, alive? More shit has come up missing. I need him to tell us where he stashed it. Okay, shit. All right, I'll see what I can do. But oh, come on, Roach, where do you think you're going, huh? Still back here, you son of a bitch! What? Right, all right, let's do this the hard way. You. Talk. Yeah, goddammit, if I wanted to kill you, you'd be dead! You ass. I know what you've done to Leon and Alvarez. Hey, Roach. How's it going, buddy? See? Told you I wasn't gonna kill you. Ah. Oh, Deke, no. No, oh, I, I didn't do nothing. Oh. Nah, that's not what Tucker says. I guess when Leon and Alvarez took off with the camp's drugs, they forgot to cut you in. Is that about it? No! Oh, oh, Deke, no! Oh. No, no, no. Clue me in on what you're thinking, man. I, I want to understand. You you took what was left while the old woman wasn't looking? Oh, Deke. Uh, I got nothing on me, okay? Search me. Uh. <laughs> no, I'm not. It's not my job. I'm going to leave that up to Alki. Hey, uh, Tuck. I got Deke, him. Uh, Mark down these coordinates leave me here. and have Alki search I heard what you that. did to Leon, okay, Deke? He's uh, alive. Please, man. Did he have my drugs? Yeah, Deke, he's not. alive, please, but if you please, want to stay that way, Al Kai, you better you hurry me, up we get off his ass. St. John out. Please, please. Uh, hey, Boozman, you got. there? Uh, yeah, the, uh, crazy on, question. Any idea where I can get out of the ring? God damn you! What the hell for? The kid I brought in, just trying to find a way to cheer her up, she mentioned that. Shit, I don't know. Check the gift shop at Belknap Crater. Yeah, okay, thanks. Deacon St. John, this is Aiden Tucker. How can I want to get in touch with the names of Aiden for all the ones you want to do? We need all the help we can. I guess I'll come back here and finish burning this infestation zone later. Sniper ambush, oh god damn it. Shoot me, you fucking bastard.
the gate. It's that grifter. Yeah, I know him. I've been pretty busy with that. Pay a deacon, right? Deacon, right? Need gas? We're gonna run out of this someday, you know. <laughs> See you around. Lisa, I... Go away. Uh, brush you something. That's beautiful. Will you take me with you? Take me back to Marion Forks. Look, I, I can't, because it's not safe. I gotta turn in. They make us get up really early for work. Deacon, right? Hey, Zanny, keeping your hands clean. Let me get the gate for you. Hey, Cope. Yeah, let me guess, you got a job for me. Okay. Uh, I'll swing by when I get a chance. Deacon out.
Hey, uh, you're not answering the radio. Yep. I know, I was... Well, hold on, hold on. No, I'm all right, I'm all right. Just... I'm trying to get clear, you know? You're burning up. Ugh, my head's pounding like a mother. You're burning up. No, 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 I'm just, I'm just tired. Okay, stay here, rest. I'll think of something. Look, I don't need a goddamn babysitter, I'm fine. Shit, come on, come on, come on, come on, think. Here, come here, I'll show you what you're looking for. Uh. Yep, found it. <laughs> All right, come on, focus. I am focused. All right, so this one is called Lavandula angustifolia. Lavender? Yes, well, I'm still paying off my student loan, so I will stick with Latin, mm -hmm. but you can call it that. Yeah, get your money's worth. Go for it. <laughs> okay, come on, give me your hand. <sighs> All right, so you want to put one hand around the flower. All right. And then put the other hand at the stem. Okay. Just like that, and then you pull nice and slow. You know, I pulled weeds before. Uh, excuse me, sir, this is not a weed. You have to be gentle. And blood apply pressure. Oh, yeah, but not too hard. <laughs> okay, ready? Mm-hmm. Go. There you go, that's perfect. Yeah. <laughs> and it doesn't smell very good. Okay, you hold on to those and I'm gonna collect more. <laughs> so, uh, why lavender? Well, the guys at the lab are pretty excited. They, they think they have this subspecies, which might have mutated monoterpenoids, which produce a modified linalool that that is so, oh my, thank you, Einstein, thank you. <laughs> Sorry. It has a chemical that we can use to synthesize a new medicine for burn patients. Where I'm from, the only weed used for medicine is the kind that you smoke. You know, Boozer knows a guy with a farm that's about three miles up the road. Oh, that's great. Boozer's gonna wind up in prison and take you with him. <laughs> so what else do you guys make, like chemical weapons, WMDs, shit like that? No, 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 no. At least not me. Yeah? It's in my contract. None of my research can be used for military purposes. Hey, there's more over here. Wait, stop. Oh, come on, the water's yeah. gonna be great. Hold, hold on, hold on. What's wrong? Well, I, I didn't mean stop that. <laughs> come on, what is it? Well, that's okay. We can just walk. I like walking. So, why don't you tell me about your plants? Really? Okay. Well, this particular genus is adventitious. You want me to ask? It means not native to this area. You can thank Ogden for that. Who? Oh, shit, I asked. Peter Skeen Ogden, first explorer to come through this part of Oregon. He and some of the other early explorers brought all their medicinal herbs and plants with them. Some got away, and now they're growing here. Mostly along the shores of small lakes and ponds. First white explorer. Wow, look at you. Being all politically correct. Don't buy into all the biker stereotypes you see on TV. We are actually quite charming. I bet. The MC's got a couple of brothers. One fully patched. I don't think I've seen one person of color since I arrived in your strange little backwater paradise. Yeah, Jack actually had some guys bust in from Sacramento just to piss off our skinhead rivals. He did not. <laughs> no, he did not. I'm kidding. Jersey Jim's an old buddy of mine. Patched him and myself. We served in the same unit. Come by the clubhouse Sunday. I'll show you around. You like the guy. He's funny as shit. He makes a mean margarita. Well, I have to be in the lab early on Monday, so... I'll have us back in your bed by 10, I promise. How can I refuse an offer like that? <sighs> okay, you try picking some now. Lavender, you, you want me to pick lavender? Yep, and bring me three plants and don't crush them. Oh, I'm gonna crush them. <laughs> Come on. Uh, got one. Good for you. This one? Yep, keep going. Last one. Great, bring him here. Oh, 
for you. <laughs> wow, gallantry is alive and farewell after all. Oh, if he's <laughs> not, then I didn't kill him. <laughs> hey, oh, 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 oh. Aww, poor guys. Hey, is that the one we're gonna smoke later? No, but this is the one we're gonna drink. I make this killer herbal tea with it. I'll bet. <laughs> hey, all right, if you come over, then I will make it for you, as long as you give me a ride home. All right, great. You're going to be a believer. And we'll grab a beer for myself on the way over. Sorry, uh, a little loud of it, but you said something? It's, uh, it's something Sarah showed me a few summers ago. Or... Anyway, uh, there's a plant that grows out here called lavender. It grows in the shade along rivers and lake shores. I'm gonna see if I can find some. Oh, shit, brother. Way my arms feel I'll try anything. But fuck, the lavender brings something I can smoke. Whatever, I'm gonna find some of this shit. I'm gonna make a burn sap out of it, and you're gonna shut the hell up about it. Sorry, brother, just gonna start crazy up here, you know? Uh, don't worry, Bruce, man. We're riding north, I swear to God, not too much longer. You hear me? Yeah, no. Stop by later. Hey, Boozer. Uh, God damn it! Uh, it's a funny thing. I, I was remembering how uh, a few summers back, Sarah took me out to Bear Creek. To, we were picking lavender, and uh, she Listen. taught. <laughs> she taught me how to make this sap for Burns. And uh, look, I got out today. Okay. I actually had to look around the mountain. I cleared some traps. The arm's almost as good as new. All right. Okay. I'm just gonna leave it right here. Hey, hey, just give me a couple days. 
Okay? Just we'll ride up north like you said and get out of this shithole. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, I'm here. What's up? We got hit. And hard. Rippers. A couple of dozen, maybe more. Goddamn rippers. That little gal you were so worried about? Mm, go. Yeah, Lisa. Wait, hold on. What happened? Where's Lisa? Gone. They took her and three others. Alki followed them as far as he could. But they're holed up at Belknap Crater. He came back to round up more men, but... God damn it! Okay, look, I've seen what those sons of bitches do to hostages. I'm not waiting. whether you hurt her or not. Hang on, Lisa. I'm coming. What's this? Lisa's? Sure as hell don't belong to a goddamn river. Small footprints. Girl's size. It's gotta be Lisa. She was dragged through here. If you hurt her, you sons of bitches, I'm gonna kill every last one of you.
for you. Rule the world, huh? Ah, they're all dead. Ah! No, she's not in here. Where are you, Lisa? She's gotta be out here somewhere. No one is joining you! Hey, look, now you're found, yeah? Hang on, Lisa. No matter what they do to you, just... just hang on. Lisa... I'm coming for you. The cost. Oh, a great cost. Huh? I'm lost. is a goddamn maze. They dragged her up here. Lisa's gotta be up there. I'm coming, kid. Got him. Oh, get low, asshole. Ah, there she is. You are one of the lost. He is free. Lisa. All right, Lisa. Oh, Jesus, what have they done to you? Lisa. Lisa? Hey, sweetheart. No! Hey, hey, hey! No! hey. Shut up, shut up! Lisa, it's me. It's Deacon. Remember? Deacon? Okay. All right. That's all right. It's all right. Come on. You okay? Oh, damn it. Can you run? Do you know where the visitor center is? All right, that's where my bike is. I need you to run air as fast as you can. Don't stop. Don't stop. All right, don't stop, no matter what. You ready? Huh? Go.
snipers. We should get down. Lisa, run. Get to the visitor center now. Go. You are lost. Lost. I'm hit. Now he shot me. Get to my bike. Run. We're safe now. Are you okay? No. Listen to me. To the south of here, there's a camp at Lost Lake. It's nothing like the Hot Springs. Iron Mike, he's not like Mrs. Tucker. I hated Mrs. Tucker. <laughs> no, you wouldn't be alone there. This is a nice camp, and it's a safe place. Okay. <sighs> Hold on. Ricky! Ricky, come back! Ricky, are you still on this channel? Lost Lake Camp, come in. Deacon? Ugh, long time no here. What do you want? Just... meet me, okay? On the Cascade Highway where it intersects with the old Belknap Road. I'm heading there now. You know what Iron Mike said? The night you and Booze rode out of here? Uh, oh yeah. That. Uh, listen! That's why I radioed you and not Schizo. Iron Mike doesn't even have to know about this. I got a kid here. What? Well, I mean, not a kid. Uh, a survivor. She's been out here a long time. Uh, uh, you've got a survivor, and you're bringing her to Lost Lake. No, you're bringing her to Lost Lake. I'm bringing her to you. Ricky, you there? Yeah, okay. I'm on my way. Lost Lake out. <coughs> Ricky? Uh, yeah, okay. You're welcome. You're gonna like it there, kid. Like I said, Iron Mike, he's, um, uh, he likes to yell a lot. Look, don't let him bother you. Got that? Uh, anyway, there's this guy named Schizo. He bothers you at all. Well, just tell Ricky. Or, uh, tell Addy. She's the camp's doctor. You tell her. And Addie's, she's good. She's got medicine, you know, to clean up those, uh, to clean up those cuts. I mean, you don't want to get infected. They're going to help you out, kid. You can count on them, even if you, uh, you know. Hey, Ricky. Hey, Deke. I'm surprised. What, did Tucker give up the slave trade? Uh, Lisa, this is, uh, Ricky. She's gonna, uh, take you to a safe place. Nothing has changed, Deke. Iron Mike is not gonna pay you for this. Pay me for- oh, come on. That's not- excuse me. That's not what this is about. It's not about collecting a bounty or anything. You just, mm -hmm. you just take her. Huh? What's wrong with her, Deke? What's wrong with her? She was- had a run-in with some rippers. I had to- Oh, my God. Hey, Lisa. Hi, I'm Ricky. Listen, do you like to go fishing? I love fishing. It's, it's my favorite thing in the whole wide world. Would you want to go fishing with me? 
Yeah? Come on, I'm gonna tell you about Lost Lake. It has the clearest water you have ever seen. And the fish, oh my God. The fish in the morning, they jump this high. I'll show you. When we go, we're gonna have such a good time. Make sure you hold on tight, okay? Ready? I really appreciate it. Springs to Deacon Safe John. Duck. They're coming. Oh, they're gonna. They won't know. I mean, they're on me. Oh, they're gonna. Blizzard, what's going on? No! How'd you get in here? Whoa, 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 whoa. You stay right there! Blizzard, it's me. Stay there. It's Deke. Let's just Don't calm you come down. come any closer. Let's just I talk. will kill you. It's all right. Oh, oh my God! Give me the gun. Oh! gun buddy. No, come I on. will not! Ah! Ah! Oh, shit. Oh, Jesus Christ. Boozer, what the fuck? I. I heard, I heard him. I heard voices. Oh shit! Oh, shit. I mean, you, you, you heard him, right? No, I didn't hear shit, Boozer. You no, got blood poisoning. I, I do not. Yes, you do, Boozer. Just take a look. I don't need to take a look. Come on, we gotta get you some help. Look, I don't need some. Come on. I don't need help. <sighs> I'm sorry about that. About trying to blow your head off. I mean, you know, I thought I saw something, you know? Easy. Hey, watch the steps. I got this. I mean, it was it was in my head, you know? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I know, I know. I could hear him, Deke. I, I could hear him, Deke. Footsteps just pounded in my head. Boots. Just a few more steps. I don't need any help. I can goddamn walk. I can walk. Okay. Okay. I, I just, I don't, I don't know what. Yeah, now come on, come on. Get on, we gotta go. Wait, 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 what? Where are we going? I, I don't, it's just a short ride, Boozer. It'll help clear your head, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. That'd be good. Where are we going? Deke. You remember when we first rode out of Farewell? What that was like? Yeah. I remember. The highways were 
They were all choked up with cars. There were so many people, all on the move, thinking that if they could only go fast enough, that they'd outrun what was coming. Yeah. No one could move fast enough, Boozer. No one saw it coming the way I did. So by the time they said, fuck it, you know, and started walking and then running, it's too late. Too late. And I remember watching the freaks, watching them all come, thousands of them. And all those, all those dumb shits just got swallowed up. Yeah, I remember. When you see a thing like that, you know it's only a matter of time before it's our turn. Nothing's gonna stop it, Boozer. Not a goddamn thing, but... But do you know why we keep going? No. Because what the hell else are we gonna do? What are you doing? Nothing. Uh, figure you get all prettied up before heading in. Oh, well, you know. Yeah, I figured I'd stop in the lodge, have a few beers, and just stroll into the infirmary. No, 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 no. I'm just, just sick of it. Yeah. No, I care. I'm just fucking with you. Hey, Deke. Mm -hmm. I'm Mike said. He'd kill you if he ever saw you again. Uh, and if he said that it... That old man doesn't remember his name half the time. No, no, no. Hey, he'll hey, remember. You gotta stay awake. We're off the open road, but if a freak or one is back. Yeah, yeah, I know. Mm. All right. Hey, Deke. Yeah? Don't you kill anyone in the camp, okay? I'm not gonna kill anyone. You good? Never better. Here. You heard the bike, Lost same Lake. as me. What a piece Probably of shit. Ripley, not worth dragging me out here. Shit. We're supposed to guard the camp, oh not wander around shit. jerking off. Could have been Rippers. Oh, no. against the two of us. Really? We could get them before they. No, 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 no. See, that's what we thought too. Uh, me and this guy, Addy's brother, we went out on patrol. You know, not far from here. Really. We what? kept to the shadows. It was night, but the moon was out. And you know, Rippers love the night. We heard them coming first, shrieking like freakers. They were coming straight out of hell. God, that sound. 
And there were maybe four we could see. So we open up on them. They don't, they don't even try not to get shot. Thing is, they weren't going down. They just kept running at us. My boy got one of them down, pulled his knife to finish the job. Shit, I should have told him to forget it. Two others climbed right on him, and I fired. Fired? Yeah, I killed him. They were tearing him apart like goddamn freakers. I fired and got the hell out of there. So, you go after Rippers, you better have back. Something's out here. Anything? How's it going? Huh? A rock? Hey! <laughs> Something's here. Is there someone out there? Is that a rock? Someone's here. See anything? <laughs> nice and boring guard duty. Where should be? What are you gonna do later? How the hell are you gonna sleep. keep the That's peace fine. with a bunch of crazy ass lunatics who got themselves? How can you trust anything like that? What's anything? up? These are people, not freakers. That's debatable. Schizo's right. The only thing these assholes understand is force. We sign a peace treaty like we're the goddamn new in. We show them we're weak. Is that a rock? Ah, oh, someone throwing rocks. A rock? You see anything? I saw something. <laughs> oh shit. Someone Mike. Schizo. Scars all Son of a head, bitch. Like they were trying to scalp him. Raymond? And the men we buried? They were butchered, Mike. Butchered. Christ, it took us three hours to rake up all the body parts. I didn't want to leave him to the place. Raymond? It's Carlos, and you know it. We gotta hit him. The lifters are gonna. Rip Schizo, leave it be. Just leave it be. And what about the next group? Mike? And the hey. next? Hell, Carlos is already pushing into Rogue Camp. Camp Pioneer? There's no proof of that. They're moving up north. I heard one of those Radio Free Oregon broadcasts. Claims they got hit by Rippers. So now you're listening to that nut job, Copeland. Well, he may be a nut job. But I think he'd know a river if one was coming at him with a butcher knife. That was a rock. Something's here. I see anything? Yeah. Hey, that was a rock. They're not here. You can go in and see for yourself. Come hey! Back. You know, Addy, don't like it. You snoop around in the business. Hey, you say here. Not me. I'm not laughing. Now, come on. Come back later when Addy... There it is. To just gotta find a way stuff. inside. Well, let's just hope they're still breathing. Addy will take care of them. Addy and Ricky. <sighs> Why? You trying to get with them? Or is this going in there? And what about the next one? Not so hard. <laughs> ah, damn it. <laughs> Hi, Ricky. Hi, Addy. Uh, I don't want any trouble. So if you ladies just step aside, I'll show you. No, no, no. What the hell are you doing in my infirmary? Oh, are you going to shoot me now? Oh, wait, 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 there's a code, right? 
You can't shoot a woman unless you have to. Well, now you have to. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, look, why don't you just let me explain? Check what's in the cooler. <sighs> what are you, selling narcotics for Tucker now? You know, when you brought me that girl, I thought you had changed. But clearly you haven't. No, it's not narcotics. What? It's antibiotics. Boozer's sick. He's got blood poisoning. I had no place else to go. Blood poisoning? What happened? Does it matter? I fucked up. Bring him in. Go and get him. Bring him here. No, we can't do that. Yes, we can. Look, I don't care who he is, and I don't care what Iron Mike thinks. When a man is sick, a man is sick. We have to look out for each other. Baby is all we got. Come on, I'll give you a ride. Which way we headed? You remember there was a small camp when we first rode into the valley? Yeah, I remember. You call this a bike? It may not be a fancy drifter bike, but it gets the job done. Get on. I worked at the Humane Society, had a small office. So, how's she doing? The girl that I brought in, Lisa. Are you, are you gonna take me to see her? No. Oh, God damn it, Ricky. What, what the hell? Why not? I can't. She's not here. Wait, wait, hold on for a second. Where is she? A few days ago, Schizo assigned her to a scavenge run. She and three others headed over to the rogue camp to look for supplies. They came back without her. You're telling me they left her? They left her out in the shit? They didn't leave anyone. They said she ran off. Jesus! It could have been anything. Wolves, freaks, rippers. Choose your poison. And what? What? What was Schizo thinking sending her out on a supply run? Everyone's gotta work, Deke. That's the deal, and you know it. I don't believe this shit. Look, she'd been surviving in Marion Forks for years when I found her. Yeah, then maybe you should have left her there. Who's there? Hey. Get back, don't make me blow your goddamn Who's head there? off. It's me. No, get back! Oh. Hey. Hey, it's, uh, it's Ricky. <laughs> you remember me? I rode with you guys a year ago. Ricky. What? Tumalo? Yeah. That's the Tumalo to Cross Lake? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hold on, hold on. That's right. How, how you doing there, Boozer? You doing uh, all right? Just PG. It still didn't give you the right to steal our shit. Are you kidding me? Look at his arm. What was I supposed to do? Huh? I don't know. Maybe ask. Jesus. Look at you guys, the biker boys. The most badass drifters in this shit, right? And now you come back crawling to Iron Mike. Oh, wait. If you let you. <laughs> come on, just help me get him back to Addy. Let's go. Come on, pal. I still need your help. <clears throat> Yeah, Boozer Ricky. Wait, where, where are we going? Addie said she's agreed to, to take a look at your arm and, and see what she can do. What? No. No, you're not taking me to some goddamn camp. I can ride, damn it. We're not sa Damn it. Boozer, it's just for a few days. 
get some shit for your arm, and then... No. You know what it's like there, Deke. No, you're not thinking straight. This isn't the Hot Springs. This is Lost Lake. Iron Mike. Remember him? Iron Mike? He was gonna get us killed. You said. That was a long time ago. They built the place up. They, they got more people. We're all gonna fucking die. We'll be long gone before anything like that happens. Camp's got the only dock in a hundred miles. Now, Addie, just look, she'll take care of it. Just, just a couple of days. Yeah, then we ride the hell out of here. Right north, like you said. Get the hell away from all this. Yeah. Yeah, we ride north. Leave all this shit behind. Okay, so I'm gonna go back and check on him and make sure he's okay. Coward. Yeah, you got that right. Well, how long? And until he can ride, I mean. You mean how long do you have to be here? Look, we have antibiotics, but it's not enough. Iron Mike lets you stay. Your friend will have a chance. So what happened? How'd he burn his arm like that? We ran into some rippers south of Belknap. Guess they didn't like his tattoos. Jesus. I've heard about him doing shit like that to themselves, but not to people they're trying to recruit. <sighs> Boozer wasn't any goddamn recruit. Uh, guess Tucker should have made a deal with him like Iron Mike. Come on, Ricky. He just He doesn't get it. Carlos isn't going to honor any deal with Lost Lake, not for long anyway, and Mike, he just doesn't see it. He sees more than you think. You've always had your good side, Deke. You've just been doing your best to kill it. Thanks for the vote of confidence. You cannot believe a word he is going to say. Addie is soft. Mike, we do not have enough for those that pull their own weight, let alone a goddamn cripple. He's not oh, a cripple. He can work. He... I say we throw them out on their asses. Mike, that is not who we are. Jesus, listen to you. And you, you tired of being Tucker's little bitch, finally? Raymond, huh? stop it. Don't call me that. I'm pretty tired, all right. All right, See? enough! See? You know who the fuck this guy is, and you know what he- You hold on! And you! You put that shit away. Mike, Deacon was I one that know. brought me the gr- I know. And I know what kind of man he is. What he's done. He done any worse than you? Ricky, how about me? We've all been out in this shit, Schizo. We've all done things we're not proud of. We need another rider. Oh, now, wait a minute. I just need a few days and some antibiotics. I'll do whatever it takes. Sure, Mike. Whatever you say, I'm on board. Walk with me. I don't trust don't you. Don't start with me. So you're the one who brought them in. I didn't bring them in, Schizo. Boozer needed help. But he broke into the infirmary. The tackle shop isn't exactly. Rick, you told me you stopped you running for Tucker. That weeks ago. Sent that little girl oh, here so instead. You're hooked up I'm with sorry Addie, I lied to so you before about doing boss. runs for Tucker. Isn't that your job? How long you been drifting? No, you and job. Bill. I don't know. Like I said, time gets lost. If folks don't put down some roots, 
Figure this shit out. Grow some food. Come next spring, won't be none of us left. If you give Boozer what he needs, let us hole up here till he can ride. Like I said, I will do whatever you need. I just, I, I want you to know that as soon as he's patched up, we're going to put together some gear, we're going to ride north. North, huh? There's a camp up there near Smith Rock. Boozer's never been there. Anyway, got a lot of ghosts down here. It's time we move on. Fresh start, eh? Yeah, I can respect that. Now go on. Leave me be. I got some thinking to do. Sure, Mike. Yeah, whatever you say. Just have Ricky radio me if you need something. Deacon, hey, is everything okay? What's wrong? Uh, actually, that's not why I'm here. Okay. Came by to see if there's anything you need for the uh, infirmary. Actually, we're running low on everything. I mean, we could always use more meds, sterile bandages, instruments. Uh, here. Hmm. Liston knife. Yeah, it was used by doctors in the Civil War to perform operations in the field. Operations? Yeah, you know, when they didn't have any anesthesia or laudanum. I wrote down where you might be able to find one. <laughs> it's the brochure for the Visitor Center at Sherman Sherman's Camp. Camp. Yeah, yeah, the plate's crawling with all the freakers. I'll see what I can do. Yeah, uh, Deacon. Thank you. I found a list in knife. Head to Sherman's camp. Place is gonna be crawling. Hold on. You? Yes. Yeah. It's it's O'Brien. He's the one of our radios. Good. Okay. Look, I'm gonna try and help you find out about the woman. Sarah Whitaker. I put her on your chopper that night. Yeah. 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 yeah I know. Okay. But first, you gotta do something for me. Wait. What? You need something from me? Look. There's a digital display on your radio. I'm going to send you a coded message. Coordinates. Brian, what the hell is this all about? Just meet me there. There'll be Nero soldiers all around me like before. Just don't let them see you. Brian out. Damn it, sniper ambush. Ada Tucker to Deacon St. John. Come in. Deke, you out there? Hey, Tuck. Uh, you got a job for me? Okay. I'll swing by. Deacon out. Here it is. Visitor's center. Gotta find a way inside. Another bounty. Gotta be in here 
somewhere. Down here. Not much left. This place has been picked over clean. Listen, knife. This is it. Gotta get it back to Addy. Got that knife you were looking for. Thank you. You have no idea how bad we need this. No problem. Glad to help. Biker boys. Open the gate. Hey, do you think the kids remember anything about their life? You know, from before? I like a bunch of owls. Hey. Oh, here's that knife you were looking for. Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. What the hell do you want, Godalis? Just mind your store. Here to check out my shit? I'll fill her up. I'll be here. If you need me forever, a day or two, will ya? Go on, get out of here. Someone needs to... I got this. Hang on. Hey, hey, it's not safe out here in this shit. I know where there's a camp that... No, no, where? Where? I'll go. Head to Lost Lake. Ask for Ricky Patel. She'll take you in. <gasps> Thank you so much. 
I thought I was gonna die in there. Tell them it was Deacon. They'll know. Stay off the main roads. Don't stop. I'm here. Jesus, don't... Don't sneak up on me like that. Did you find anything out about Sarah, about the woman that I put on your chopper? Nothing. Nothing? Hey, hey, wait, 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 wait. It's gonna take some time, okay? I'm risking my neck here. If anyone the, the back at HQ finds out, the, those guys with the guns over there, they'll follow orders the without same question. Team, look, it just looks that way. Look, I don't have time to explain it right now, but... It's why I need your help. My help? Just, look, just take it. It's a, it's a wavelength recorder and some GPS trackers. I just need you to... We're out of time. Look, I... Shit, I don't even know your name. Deacon, Deacon St. John. Well, look, Deacon St. John, if you want me to risk my neck helping you find whatever her name... Uh, Sarah? Then, yeah, I'm gonna need you to do something for me. Okay, keep the radio close. I'll contact you in a couple of minutes. You don't even know my name? Oh, you're gonna know it before we're done, O'Brien. And keep the radio close. It's been right here the whole time, you son of a bitch. Jesus Christ, how long do I have to wait now? Hello? Are you there, Deacon? Yeah, I'm here. Now, what's this all about? What do you want? All right, I put a blocker on this channel. It's secure. What do you want? I've sent a series of coordinates to your radio. I need you to go to those locations. What? Why? Just listen to me. There are several Nero task groups doing work in the field. I need to know what they're doing. Then why don't you ask them? I can't. Look, I said it's a long story, and I don't have time to get into it right now. Let's just say the men above me, way above me, are running a lot of field missions, all separate from each other. Nobody knows what anyone else is doing. So the world ends and you assholes carry on like nothing's changed. Where? I sent you the coordinates. Okay, Jesus, O'Brien. All right, I will see what I can do. Just get to as many of them as you can. There are active LZs, landing sites, sample drop-off locations. Yeah, yeah, I got it, but you better have something for me, O'Brien. Yeah, yeah, I got it too. Hold on. Brian. Yeah, I'm here. What are you, uh... One of our helos is heading towards your position now. You have to follow it. Follow it? Why? Just, just go! Don't lose it! Jesus, okay. All right. What's going on, O'Brien? Why am I out here in the shit chasing choppers down for you? The destination's classified. I'm locked out of their files. So I can't give you the coordinates to their LZ. You have to follow them in. Jesus, don't you guys have spy, spy satellites? Shit like that? And not that I have access to, no. I told you one. Locked out. Yeah, I heard you. Just don't lose them. Come on now. Can't let him get too far ahead. Gotta slow down. O'Brien, oh, they're landing. Good. I have their coordinates now via your radio. You better go in on foot. On foot? Remember, you can't let them see you. O'Brien, I'm 
here. What do you want me to do? Each of these research units have a science guy, like me, guarded by a bunch of goons. I need you to get close to the researcher. The wavelength recorder is set to the channel we use to record data. To record everything they're doing. Okay, so you want me to sneak into an LZ filled with heavily armed Kevlar-wearing soldiers who shoot on sight so that you can spy on some asshole on a pocket protector? Pocket protector? Really? I have a fucking PhD, asshole. Yeah, which stands for pot piled high and deep. Do you still have the tracking devices I gave you? Well, I was gonna sell them, but most of us don't have access to shit like, you know, satellites. Okay. Place one of them on their heel. Almost all of these file missions are serious stops that aren't on the books. I'm gonna find out where they're going next. O'Brien. Well, you don't need to ask. I'm already looking into what records we have about where evacuees were taken. O'Brien out. It's just gotta be good. What the hell are you guys doing? <laughs> Shit. How much longer do you think we got? How the hell do I know? We'll bug out when the docks pitch. I heard something. Anyone else hear that? I really hate these assignments. Yeah, I hear ya. Let me guess. You'd rather be in the Belknap Caves? Knee deep in freaker shit? Yeah. Wonder how long huh? it's gonna take. Too damn long. That's how long. Yeah. What? Man. It's almost it's freaker time. Are you always this observant? <laughs> when we flew over farewell, <laughs> field note 207 for you. Checking the yeah. traps at Site 14 Alpha. I've confirmed a large male subject with a confirmed albinism mutation. The subject has expected lack of skin pigmentation and reddish eyes. Muscle mass appears to be 40% greater than normal infected subjects. What was it you called? Bleachers. Well, they're real. Well, this is only the third subject we've been able to study. As noted, their strength and ability to absorb damage make them extremely dangerous to approach. We've noted in other field reports that over a thousand have been spotted in this area. Whatever is causing the mutation, it's spread rapidly. Hope we got enough fuel to get back. Going all the hell of back. What's wrong? I'll tell you what's wrong, you boys were carving out the guts of a freak while it was still alive. What the hell are we doing out They're here? They're not anyway? my boys. And what do you care? Aren't you a... What do you guys like to call yourselves? Drifters? Don't you kill the infected for money or whatever <laughs> shit you barter with? Yeah, I kill freaks, but I don't carve them open while they're still alive and listen to them scream. Did you get my data? Yeah, I got your data. Okay, I'm uploading it now. I'll be in touch. O'Brien out. Brian, O'Brien. Oh, God damn it, he did it again. O'Brien, oh, talk to me. Ah, shit, you better be in touch, O'Brien. Oh, oh, Marauder Camp. These are the assholes who've been ambushing the roads around here. This is Radio Free Oregon. Down and wiped out an entire group of men and women <laughs> screaming and 
begging for mercy. Citizens of this country. And they cut them down. My men return fire, but... Shit! This won't be the last we hear of them either. They're hunting us down. Those of us who dare to survive and mess with their plans. They're killing us off. So they can finally emerge from their gopher holes. How the hell am I gonna get in? Stay vigilant, people. And keep your eyes on the sky. This is Mark Copeland from Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. So here, yeah, this'll do it. Inside here. Come on, where the hell are you? Don't worry, fellas. I'll be back later. Finish burning you out. Scrap. Good. Good. Is this uh, Lisa's handwriting? I want to forget. <sighs> Sounds like something she would write. Got it.
funny. Hey, I came by to see how the lazy bastard's doing. How you doing, booze man? Are you are you tired of laying around yet, boozer? Hey, now you can't be in come here, on, Deacon. Come on, hey, come what's on, going Deacon. on? How's he doing? He needs his rest. Uh, don't mess around with me, Addy. I asked you, how was he doing? I'm good. I'm good. Uh, Not good. Damn, it's cold. The anti They're not enough. <laughs> Never enough. Oh, wait a second. You said that I, I said that we would try. <gasps> Look, all we can do is wait. <laughs> okay. All right. Deacon. No, Deacon. there's. Uh, you Deacon. know what? There's Deacon. something I can do Deacon. about this. Stop. I can get. Stop! What? I know you want to smash something. I see that look yes. in your eyes, but you know what? <laughs> You go right ahead, but you do it out there. Patty, go. I can... Look, <sighs> there is nothing else you can do. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Please, just go home. Go home, Deacon. Deacon, Deacon. So, you gonna make it? Yeah, Schizo, he'll be fine. I just, he needs a few days. Come with me to the lodge. I wanna show you something. I got shit to do. I'm sticking my neck out here. Trust me, you're gonna wanna see this. Just, just listen. A couple of months back, this drifter comes into camp, telling all kind of crazy stories. He said he worked at the airport, was on the ground back in Farewell when shit went down. One night, they were expecting a flight in from Portland, only it never shows up. The plane was doing a haul for the Red Cross. The Red Cross? Yeah. You getting it? When I was Medicine, out of shit, doctor shit, that. cargo hold we full of it. Maybe even some of those uh, anti uh, whatever the fucks. Antibiotics. Like that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then, shit like that. I mean, Just like that. Like, uh, Where? Hey, you know, keep your voice down, will you? Let's talk inside. No. The mines are gone. I remember. So this drifter, he's working in the control tower when the plane disappears off the radar. Poof. Now you see it, now you don't. Right about here. South of Mount Washington. That's what he said. It came down intact. A controlled crash or whatever. The guys got to listen to the pilot bleeding out from a broken pelvis on the ground. Okay, so you haven't sent anyone to find this? Nope. Why not? Because the old man won't have it. Iron Mike, what the... Oh, right. Rippers. <laughs> you catch on quick. Everything west of the Iron Ridge here belongs to Carlos and his merry band of bald-headed freak-alikes. Oh, shit. So you go over there and you get caught? You head north, brother. Otherwise, Iron Mike's treaty with rest and peace goes... <laughs> okay, no, no, like no, I get it, I get it. Let me ask you a question. Why are you telling me this? Oh, wait a minute. First off, I'm not telling you shit. You remember that? Second off, you're a goddamn drifter. What am I supposed to do? Follow you around like I'm your little bitch? Keep your ass out of trouble? All right. I have things to do. I get it. You're just a regular stand-up guy, right, Schizo? Just trying to stay alive. Like everybody else. <sighs> hey. You do what you gotta do. At the end of the day, that's all we got. Do you know what I'm saying? I know what you're saying, Schizo.
Keep your radio close. I'll be in touch. Yeah, Schizo, we can always count on you. Shit, now what? Anything's better than standing around this shithole. Hey, good to see you. Where? We offer a 30-day money-back guarantee, so as long as you never bring it back. No refunds on that, just so you know. Uh, yep. Hey, see ya. Hey, St. John, you there? Yeah, Schizo, I'm here. Now that business we were talking about, it's gonna take me a bit. I gotta go check on security at the border with Iron Butte. Check on the Rippers there, if you know what I mean. Uh, no, Schizo, I don't got a clue. Why don't you spell it out for me? Nice try, Spears. Remember, I'm going out on a limb here. Don't make me regret it. Anyway, I'll be in touch real soon. In the meantime, make yourself useful around camp. Prove Iron Mike was right for a change. Yeah, sure, I'm gonna be a second. Now. Hey, St. John, where you at, brother? I'm here, Schizo, but I'm not your goddamn brother. Hey, no skin off my nose. Just doing what I can to help you, bro. That business we discussed? Let's just say uh, you should head out that way now. Oh, you mean the border with the rivers? Very funny. I meant no such thing. <laughs> All I said was, if you were thinking about taking a ride, or what do you drifters like to call it, riding the open road, now would be a good time to do it. You got me? Yeah, Schizo, like always, I got you. St. John out.
Schizo, it's St. John. I'm at the border. You see any of my men around? No, Schizo, it's clear. Look, how much time do I got? Time? Time for what? All I know is I got a card game going on with a few of my guys. A couple of them maybe that should be out on guard duty, but I'm letting that slide. If I had to guess, I'd say we'd be playing all night. So until morning, got it, Deacon out. Nothing.
Jesus sakes, Chris. One tough son of a bitch. Antibiotics. You gotta find me some antibiotics. Yes, this will work. I gotta get him back to my bike. Please will fix him up, and then we ride out of here, head north, like he said. Deacon St. John, you there? Deacon, this is Ricky. Over. Damn it, I can't let her know I'm out here. Uh, hey, Ricky, this is Deke. Uh, you're breaking up. I can't hear you. Deke, where are you? I need to get back. Oh, sorry, Ricky. I don't have time for this right now. Wait! That's Deacon. Behind him! You! You! Right up the road. Make sure they don't come back. Now! Gunshots, what's going on? We had a run in with a few rippers, but I handled it. You handled it? What is it? Wow. I should have known. You should have known what? Jesus, Ricky, who's running security here? You know, I ask myself that shit every single day. I'm done here. Good. So, what are you doing out here? What am I doing, Dick? Addy told me to come and get you. Why? What? Hold on for a second. Is Boozer okay? I don't know. We gotta go. What's wrong with Boozer? All I know is Addy told me to find you. When I asked around, I found out you and Schizo were heading up here. Now I know why. I don't know what you're talking about. The crash site? The medical supplies? It's no big secret, Deke. Iron Mike was negotiating with Carlos, making a deal so our camp would split it with the Rippers. Oh, bullshit! What do you mean? I mean bullshit! I was there. Half that cargo hold's already been looted. Tracks from the crash site all head south. Now, I've been dealing with the fucking Rippers for months. You can't trust a goddamn thing they say. Now you're sounding like Schizo. Schizo, he put you up to this. He told you about the crash site. <laughs> yeah, great! So now you're calling me Schizo's errand boy. No? Then <laughs> how'd you find out about it? A drifter up at Copeland's camp. Like you said, it ain't no big secret. Yeah, right. Well, Schizo's been trying to pick a fight with the Rippers for months. Guess it's lucky you came along to do it for him. Stop you. Last time I saw you, before last winter, you told Iron Mike to go fuck himself because he wouldn't pay you to bring in survivors. It's not exactly what happened. I remember it pretty clearly. Iron Mike said he'd have nothing to do with slavers. Okay, we never forced anyone to come in against their will. How about Tucker? Same thing true for her? I don't know. You ever think when you roll up on someone, Starving out in the shit, maybe hasn't slept in days? Reach the point where they stop running from men like you? You ever think they don't have a choice? But you took them to the hot springs just to say, earn a few camp credits. Everybody's got a choice, Deacon. It takes us a lot, too, bringing in someone who can't work, can't earn their way. You know, you just be glad that Iron Mike isn't like you. <laughs> William. William, if you can hear me, I need you to stop! Addie, what's going on? Loser. Go and hold him. What the hell are you doing? 
Listen, what are you doing? Listen, we Not need to do this, arm. and we need to do this right now. What? No. Don't you, oh, don't no. you take Deacon. it! No, no, De no, you're not, no way, no, you're not gonna Deacon, do this to him. Deacon, listen to me! The antibiotics will save his life, but nothing on God's earth is gonna save the arm. Now listen, I need you to help me right now, or you can just watch your friend die. Okay. Eddie, we're losing him! Wait! Deacon. All right, all right, all right. Come on. Hey, pal. Hey, pal. All right, hey, I just need you to stay hold with him. me. Hold him there. Okay. Hold him. Deacon. Deacon. Okay. Hold him down right there. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, my goodness. I can it. We're losing. No, no, no. He's losing too much blood. You gotta stop. He's losing too much blood. Hand me the ball. No! Oh, no. Boozer, come on, man. Come on. Hold him! You're okay, pal. Where? Where do I hold him? Just hold him like this. Stop panicking I'm and hold him. Hey. You did good in there. When I was in high school, I thought, hmm, maybe I should be a mechanical engineer, or should I be a surgeon? I guess I should have been a surgeon. <laughs> oh. And you. Hey, hey, okay. You know, you saved your friend's life today. I don't think he's gonna see it that way. Yeah, well, I think he will. I gotta go and give him his IV drip. And you know what? I don't know where you got all this, and I don't want to know. But it's gonna save a lot of lives, Deacon St. John. A lot of lives. I gotta go help Addy. Mike, just settle down, okay? Deacon! Get out here! <clears throat> I heard what you did. I wasn't about to let him die. Mike, let it go. It's done. I know that, goddammit. Boozer gonna live? I don't know. But the Ripper saw you, followed you back. When Carlos finds out about this, there's gonna be the devil to pay. Carlos can go fuck himself. You are writing checks with other men's blood. I hope you're good with that. You did what had to be done. Mike, wait up. Hey there. Hey, Blair. How's life? Um, okay. <laughs> yep. Okay, then. Hey, one. see ya. I was at work. Last day, it turned out. Uh, hold on, I'll get the next one. What's up? I just wanted to say I'm, I'm sorry about what happened to Boozer. Yeah, probably not as sorry as he is. Addy wanted you to know that if you had water that was tonight, Boozer would be in a hell of a lot more pain right now. Yeah, well, it just made it easier for you to carp him up. Anyway, I... We hope he makes it. He's my friend, too. Hey, listen, um, thanks for bringing us in, Ricky. Uh, <clears throat> I gotta go. Deacon out.
Ryan, I'm at one of your beacons. Which one? What do you mean, which one? This Nero radio has a GPS, doesn't it? Yes, of course it does. I, uh, okay. Uh, you're at Olali Falls. Okay, good. Uh, keep an eye out. A field op is gonna be there any minute. O'Brien out. O'Brien! Oh, oh, God damn it. O'Brien. Come in. Your friends are here. O'Brien. I told you, they're not my friends. Okay, head in on foot. Yeah, 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 I know. Uh, what do you want me to do? Uh, use one know, of these tracking devices. No, don't, not this time. I'm already tracking this one. Follow the researcher. She's there to investigate an infected subject, a, a freak, that was tagged in a nearby cave. A cave? You, you want me to follow armed Nero goons into a cave? Just stay close to her. While you're in range, I can intercept her data. Well, Brian... I'm still working on the info you want. Don't ask. Why the hell am I talking to you? Oh, Brian out. Sound off. All good here. All good I here. Heard yep. Here. O'Brien, come in. I've got the data. Receiving it now. Thank you, Drifter. What the hell is she talking about, O'Brien? About this virus, whatever the hell it is, or what, what it's doing? I want to know what the hell's going on, O'Brien. Why are they out here? What the fuck are you doing? O'Brien! Okay. I'll be in touch. O'Brien out.
this is gonna get old fast. Lost Lake to Deacon St. John. Are you there? Uh, yeah, Ricky, what's up? Iron Mike says you volunteered to stick around, do some runs for the camp, but that you refused to work for Schizo. <sighs> yeah, something like that. Well, I can't say I blame you. Okay, well, I guess I'm stuck with you. So stop by the mechanic shop. Uh, we've got a job for you. Yeah, okay. Deacon up. Deacon St. John, the Lost Lake Infirmary. Come back. Deke. Hey. Uh, feeling a lot of it, you know. You okay? What's going on? Who's? Hey. Uh, nothing. I, uh... got tired of listening to the Radio Free Oregon. You know, he takes so much of his truth or bullshit, you know? Deke, uh... Ed Eddie told me how I'd be dead if it weren't for you. Getting the ni whatever the fucks. Yeah. Open the gate. Uh, Who's been around uh, before? Yeah. It must have been fun. Uh, hold me down while she fucking whacked the wave me. <laughs> Remember how uh, how Jack carved up that turkey last time we was all together? <laughs> it kept slipping all over the goddamn table. Yeah, booze man. I remember. I still feel it, you know. The knife. Worse than the rippers. If if you hadn't been there to to hold me down, I don't know what would have happened, Deke. I don't know. Well, it's done, Boozer. It's done. It's over. Ah, uh, Deke. Uh, sorry, I'm feeling feeling a little woozy. Yeah. Uh, hey, Addie's gonna kill me if she finds out you're out of bed fucking around. Yeah, I I hear a bunk uh, calling my name. Lost Lake signing off. Hey, listen, Boozer. Boo. Shit. See you later. Here for your bike? Hey, how's life? You, uh, need a refuel? All right, I got you. Okay. Let me know if you need anything. Hey, Ricky, you said you had a job for me? Hey, Deke. Yeah. You remember Shane Riley? Everyone called him Red? Red Riley. Yeah, never heard of him, but let me guess. Ginger? What? Red hair? No. It was his boots. He wore these rattlesnake boots dyed with god-awful red color. He made quite the impression. No, <laughs> no. I bet. Anyway, he used to do runs for us back in the day until one day he decides he didn't like the camp credits we were paying. So he up and kills Lindsay Fuller. Who? Lindsay. Worked supply before Blair. Wait a second, so he killed an unarmed woman? Oh, she was armed. She just wasn't expecting him to shoot her in the face. Will you listen? So Red murders her, cleans out her supply hut, and then takes off before anyone knows what's happened. Got away clean. Oh, that son of a bitch. Until now. He and his men have been spotted up at Camp Pioneer. You don't gotta ask. I, uh, I got this thing about, um... About killing unarmed women. I know. So I knew you'd want to handle it. Yeah, like I said, I got this covered. Um, what else can you tell me about him? Not much. Oh, wait. He chews tobacco. I heard he was such an addict that he rounds up cigarette butts, takes out the tobacco, and chews that. Well, that's disgusting. So now I got two reasons to kill him. Yeah, but be careful, Deke. You need something? Just looking for some stuff.
Hey, Ricky, I'm a camp pioneer, and it is a goddamn war zone. What's going on? Are any of our guys there? Uh, no, I don't think so. Sounds like they're clearing the freaks. Uh, don't worry. I'll find this guy. Deacon out. All right, Red, where the hell are you? Newts. Oh, wow, well, they're killing newts. That's the last of them. Okay, what's this? Okay, yes, yes, cigarette butts, yes. Ooh, prints. Ah, uh, these look like uh, the kind of prints that some fancy cowboy boots would make. Oh, good. You're in. Jesus. Well, if you gotta go, you gotta go.
are you hiding, Red? He's gotta be here somewhere. Where's that coming from? Charge him! What was I doing? Hey, hey, Ricky, I got him. Deacon, what a relief. Lindsay has some folks she was close to. I'll let him know. Yeah, okay. I'll see you around, Ricky. You need something? She's looking for some stuff. 
Here to check out my shit? I'll fill her up. Mike's looking pretty busted. Okay. See you around. Deke, I've been uh, thinking about what you were saying about doing something to make a difference around here, pay back the camp. I'm listening. Do you got a few minutes? I want to show you something. Yeah, guess I can spare you a minute or two. So where are we heading? You ever been out to the caves north of the lake? I know. Come on, see if you can keep up. Okay, let's go. I got Marsh duty anyway this morning. Gotta see if any freaks are stuck in the muck out that way. When's the last time you went up there? Been a few years, I guess. When I was a boy, we used to live in that damn cave. My old man sort of fancied himself a geologist. Sounds like we got a couple. Freaks stuck in the mud, I mean. Yeah, sounds like. Here, let me take care of them. All right. Yeah! Who's that? Nice work. I think Schizo's just found a new man for the job. You know what Schizo can go do. Anyway, as I was saying, we spent hours talking about how all these caves were formed when. Lava flows would harden on the outside, but the molten cores would still flow like buried rivers. You got the big caves that drew in the tourists, like Metolius up there. There's way more than that. Riddled all over these parts. Okay, okay, we're coming up on the highway. We gotta be quiet. Jesus Christ! This is why you brought me out here? I smell a bunch of goddamn freaks? Yeah. Okay, okay. Come on. Wait, wait, wait. Follow him. Where the hell are we going? We'll see. Come on. Now, don't get too close. Stay down. Just what the hell are we doing, Deke? This doesn't seem all that smart, even for a goddamn drifter. Hold up, hold up. You remember telling me about how the tourists used to flood up from California in the summer, choke off Highway 97 and the I-5 freeway? Yeah, in July, folks smelled almost as bad as these here freaks. But you weren't wrong about one thing. These freaks, the big groups, the ones that some call hordes, I think they're the reason we can't get their numbers down. What do you mean? Think about it, man. I've been out here in the shit collecting bounties for more than a year. Boozer, too. Ricky, Schizo, a few others. How many freaks do you think I killed? A few. A few. Yeah, but their numbers never go down. You got a point? It's these hordes. Every night, there's a steady stream of them up and down the Sandium Highway. Thousands of freaks pouring into the Lost Lake Valley, north of the Cascades. And you think they're coming up from California? Highway's closed off. No one's been south of the Santium Pass in years. It's not closed off to the hordes. Freaks are the reason it's closed off. Anyway, the point I'm trying to make is that the hordes come in every night. Not a goddamn thing we can do to stop them. Well, you got that much right. Lost more than a few men trying to back in the day. Yeah, I know. I was there. And every horde that comes through leaves a few stragglers or gets busted up and scatters and, and just like that, freaks everywhere as far as the eye can see. <clears throat> yeah, you, don't, you 
You don't need to see them to know that they're around. We figure out a way to stop the hordes coming through. Maybe we can make some headway, reduce their numbers. Make it safer. Free up more farmland, irrigation. Yeah. Okay, so how do we do that? You know goddamn well you can't take on a, a, a whatever you call it, a, a horde? This is how. I'll be goddamn. Yeah. They stand there all day, hibernating or whatever the hell freaks do. So, what are you thinking that we. Yep. We blow it the hell up. Stick it down to my there, there, and there. We'll bring down a mountain of rock. We seal this shit up. Yeah, so we trap a few hundred inside. What good is that gonna no, do? No, no, you don't get it. We seal this cave. Maybe they don't got no place to sleep. Or maybe this trail of piss and shit dries out, goes stale, and others stop coming. Get my attention. Okay, come on, let's head back. All right, my knees are warmed up a bit. Let's see if you can keep up. Yeah, okay. Tell me, when does being out in the shit make you an expert on freaks? You spend your spare time just following them around, seeing what makes them tick? Not exactly. And how do you know about all this? About what a horde's gonna do, where they sleep? A few days ago, I was riding north of Belknap Crater when a chopper flew by. A chopper? What the hell? Just listen to me. It was a black chopper. One of those Nero choppers that used to fly all over the goddamn place when the shit was going down. And you saw one, still flying? I followed him. I stole one of their radios. I've been trying to track them down, see if they have a base around here. Supplies. Shit, I mean, see if the feds are still alive. You know what I'm saying? They're out here doing field work of some kind on the freaks. They're studying them. They got resources to do that while we're out here starving, fighting to stay alive. I followed them up to the Grotto Caves. You know the ones? Yeah. They had motion sensors set up, measuring how many freaks used the cave during the day, and, uh, Mike, it was thousands. That right. They said freaks all up and down the Cascade Range, south of Crater Lake and north up to Smith Rock, all used these lava tube caves to hibernate. So, we blew up those caves, maybe we have a few less to deal with. Hey, this idea of yours, it's got some merit, but a job like that, it's gonna take a fair amount of TNT. You said you wanted help making Lost Lake safer. This is how we do it. <sighs> All right. All right, look, there's some things I gotta do, okay? But you meet me at the bridge in a couple of minutes. I know where we can find some. Say, John, you were supposed to be up at the farm an hour ago. My guy said he's got a shovel waiting for you. Yeah, Schizo, about that, I'm busy. See, Iron Mike and I, we're just heading out on a run. You and Iron Mike? You'll get your ass up that way today. Or you and your gimp boyfriend are gonna find yourselves out in the shit. You hear me? Without a goddamn battle! Yeah, yeah, I'll get it right on that. Uh, St. John out. Something. You got something to say about it? Hey, uh, how's it going? Where? <laughs> yep. Um, okay. <sighs> Here you go. Okay, then. Hey, see you around. Do you... Ready? Where are we headed? This time you're gonna have to trust me.
Okay, where are we going? You know what they use to mine all around these parts? Yeah, uh, mercury or something. That's right, cinnabar. They extracted mercury from cinnabar. Folks back east think it was gold mines out here and silver. Not so. Back in the early 1900s, cinnabar was worth more than gold. To operate the mine, you need TNT for expansion, blowing out new tunnels, clearing cave-ins, that sort of shit. And to own TNT, you had to register with the county, keep copies of the keys to all your lockboxes with the commissioner. Wait, the county courthouse? Where the hell is that? Thought you knew. It's in the old federal building. The old federal building? The one in Sherman's camp? Jesus, Mike. What the hell? You told me... You, you told me that you were never setting foot in that place again. Did I? I don't recall. You were drunk right after... Joe was killed. Did I tell you why? No. Here. Turn right. Here. This is it. Mike. The place is going to be crawling. I don't, I don't think this is a good idea. Uh, weather holds will be safe enough. All right. That there? It's the old federal building. That's where we're headed. Let's not go looking for trouble. Stay out of the buildings. Come on. We gotta head over this way. Where are we headed? Just follow me. Key will be on the commissioner. And, and you know where he is? <laughs> where his body is? Yeah. I think I do. You heard what happened here. Yeah. Everybody got wiped out, man, woman, and child. Only a few got out, and, and uh, you, you were one of them, right? Only two got out. Me and Nora. But it wasn't the freaks that took us out. What do you mean? Here. Has called a truce, a meeting, right here. Oh, we knew what was coming. We knew what was coming, and we were prepared. Fight didn't last long, but, but it was bad. They had ammunition left after all, and how well, they... Oh, hell, you can see what they did. Like I said, two people walked out of this town after all was said and done. And some days... I wish to hell one of them wasn't me. Commissioner's over there in the bean counter suit. Go get the key so we can get the hell out of here. You didn't give a damn about sealing the caves. You brought me here be because you, you brought me here because you wanted me to see this. Not true. All right, you got the key. We're going to go get the maps to those mines, just like I said, and we're going to get more than enough TNT to seal every cave in the valley. Bullshit. You are right about one thing. I'm not sorry you've seen it. Not following you, Mike. I am talking about the war that's coming. With the Rippers. The one that Schizo so hot for. You think he cares how many die on either side? Never mind. Come on, let's get this done. Here's the door. Place is locked up tight. 
Come on. I gotta find a way upstairs. Smells like something died in here. Newts. Yeah, I smell them. Bad business. Never much like kids. They always tended to get on my nerves. It was always the sore spot. Okay. okay. All right, this is it. Now we got maps to every mine in the county showing where they stored their dynamite. Okay, come on. You hear that? Yeah. Were well, you expecting anyone? Nope. Do you have my back here? Hey, I don't like starting trouble, but I'll finish it if I have to. Stay behind me. Hey, I could take care of myself. I'm not saying you can't, but remember the last time we were out in the shit. What was that? Yeah, like I said, I stayed behind me. That's all of them. Let's go. Right behind you. I got it. Freaks. Bringing the whole goddamn town down. Jesus, what a mess! Now you know why no one goes into Sherman's camp. Eddie finds out you're out here risking your ass like this, she's gonna be pissed! Now how would she find out about something like that? Not from me. the rippers why you wanted me to see that shit no dick i always saw a bit of myself in you back in the day how's that you don't give a shit oh you care about your friends don't want to see him die but me any other goddamn person on the planet i don't think so caring will just get you killed yeah that's right the thing is not caring will get you killed just as easy Good folks of Sherman Camp did will stop caring about anyone but themselves and their own. Easy to kill a man when he's just some piece of meat standing between you and what you need. Schizo wants to kill Whippers because he don't think they're human anymore. You don't count. It's 
standing in the way of what he wants. Well, I don't buy into that shit. I won't have it. You know, Schizo, he, uh, he wonders why I'm a pacifist. That's, you know, that's what he likes to call me. He, uh, he thinks I'm gonna get everybody killed. Well, are you, Mike? Are you gonna get everyone killed? Freaks aren't gonna be around forever. Now, when they're gone, we're gonna need some folks around here to help pick up the pieces. Hey, look, hey, hey. I don't like Carlos and his rippers any more than I like Tucker or, or Copeland and his, his, his goddamn truthers. All right, but here, look. Here's the thing, Deke. I'm not going out of my way to kill any of them. I've had my share of killing. Even if Carlos comes for you? My truce will hold. You can bet on that. There. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> no, Mike, I ain't gonna bet on that. Your truce ain't gonna hold. Yeah, for once I agree with Schizo. The Rippers, they ain't human. Not anymore. Hey, see ya. Hey, man. Just looking around. What can I get you? I'll fill her up. I'll be here if you need me. Later, Deke. Yeah, Mike, to speak. Richard brought in Shane Riley, but when I went to the shack to question him, he wasn't there. Uh, yeah, uh, about that, Mike. I tried to bring him in. I really did, but he, uh, well, put up a hell of a fight. So he didn't leave me much choice, Mike. He didn't. Uh, remember what I said about how we do things around here? Yeah, yeah, Mike, I remember. Lost Lake out. <laughs> He is? Yes, uh, yeah, he's on the north shore at the old boat launch. Skizzle wanted to go after him, but Iron Mike said to get you. I'll get to you. Thanks, Deke. Hurry.
Oh, Brian, I'm at one of your beacons, the one outside of Rogue Camp. Drifter, uh, uh, St. John, I mean, uh, copy that. Why am I here? I show, uh, Hilo incoming to that location now. Be ready. O'Brien out. Uh, psh. That's why I'm here. St. John, they should have arrived at your location. Do you see them? Yeah, yeah, kind of hard to miss. What do you need me to do? Get close to the researcher. Remember, you have to stay in their proximity or I can't intercept their data. I need okay, the area yeah, secured now. This time, I need you to plant okay, one of those trackers on their hero. Okay, so I gotta go. place a tracker on that chopper. Clear. I'm clear. Come on, guys, uh, just yeah, clear. gotta clean them out. Area's locked down. Can't let them see me. All right, we're locked down. We have now, hmm. now completed the survey of 24 nesting sites, including those at Marion Forks, the Pioneer Cemetery, the Cascade Highway Lumber Site, the truck stop on the old Belknap Road. What, what was that called again? Ah, oh, Crazy Willies. Yes, very rustic and touristy. Some things about the old world I don't miss. A Crazy Willies, south of the Belknap Crater. I got a question, Doc. Sure, it's not like I'm busy or anything. Nests. Why do they build them? We don't know. Why do they only build them in, you know, buildings, structures, cabins, things like that? We have a theory that. I mean, we never see them where wild animals would build them. In trees or out in the wilderness, only houses. Okay, you finished? Sorry. The guys back at the lab have a theory. I'm sure when they're ready to talk about it, they'll come rushing down to the barracks to let you know. Jesus. Just ask it. I see things too, you know. It wasn't always a crime. Can I continue? Sure. South of Belknap Crater. Some areas of the Belknap wilderness were not surveyed due to the proximity of nesting sites to human encampments. In particular, a large camp at... Salome Hot Springs. Oh, yes. Salome. On Herod's birthday, she danced before them. Brian, oh, Brian, are you there?
Tucker to Deacon St. John. Come in. Deke, you out there? Hey, Tuck. Uh, you got a job for me? Okay. I'll swing by. Deacon out. Going, brother. No, Deke. I don't know about you, but uh, I could use a hand. Uh, <laughs> you lay down. <laughs> yes, ma'am. He can't have visitors uh, just yet, but uh, I could really use a hand. Okay, I'll see you later. I'll be here. Hey, Doc. Doc, seriously though, um, will I be able to play piano after all this is over? Very funny. William, lay down. <laughs> okay. I could play chopsticks. No, seriously, I could. I'd be like... <laughs> As you can see, he's gonna be just fine. His fever's completely gone. Good, that's good. All right, well, I gotta go take care Deacon, of some shit. like I said before, William really does owe you his life. Boozer doesn't owe me shit. I owe him. Hey, I saved two more. Eddie and Mia would have died without those antibiotics. I just thought you should know. <laughs> Seems like he's uh, getting better. You need something? Just looking around. What can I get you? You go through a lot of this shit, yeah? Mike's looking pretty busted. All right. Swing by when I get a chance. Deacon out. Deke, we need him alive. Alive? Oh, come on. No, why? Before he ran, he stole two bags of seed. Deke, we need those seeds. Ah, oh, shit. We need to know where he sold them or stashed them. You're making my day a lot more complicated. Okay, fine. I'll chase him down. Deacon out. Which way? Still got the... Oh shit, there he is! Damn it, Vince man, come on! Oh no, you're not gonna get away. What the hell with your son, John? Son of a bitch!
out. Woo! How's it going, Lynch man? What is the camp not feeding you well enough? Fuck you! Thought you just kill a couple guys right off with our shit? Don't matter if a bunch of folks here die of starvation because you got what you need, right? <coughs> Get off of me, you son of a bitch! Hey, 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 listen to me. Rick is gonna send some men for you. You tell them where you stash the seeds, maybe they'll just shoot you, you know, instead of hanging you slow. What do you think about that? I don't know what the hell you're talking about! Okay, man, suit yourself. Hey, Ricky, I got him, and I'll uh, send you his position. Send someone out here to pick him up. Does he have the seeds on his bike? No, no, I didn't see him. All right, we'll bring him in. Lost Lake out. See you, Lynch man. Up. I've seen him before. Hey, I got a job for you. You got a job for me? Yeah. There's a bunch of dead freaks. The west of the footbridge stuck in the muck. I need someone to pull them out and take them to the burn pile. Got it? Marsh duty. Yeah. Get someone else. I'm busy. Hey, I'm getting you to do it. I don't know what Mike told you on your little field trip, but we got work to do. Here. Hey, 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 hey. Schizo. He can't come with you. He's coming with me. Last I checked, I wasn't talking to you. Well, I checked in with Mike. I gotta go into the shit, and he's coming with me. All right? Like I said, I'm busy. And when you get back, you come find me. You coming? Where? Doesn't matter. Seriously, where are we headed? North. Ricky, I don't have time for your crap any more than schizos. Come on, I'll show you. Mike told me what you did. I didn't do anything. About how if we seal the caves here, we can stop the hordes? Never said it would stop them. Maybe slow them down. <laughs> Look, are you going somewhere with this? Yeah. I just thought that maybe you decided to stay. I mean, not just because of Boozer, but because you wanted to help. Is that what you thought? Hey, back in the day, I did my share of runs. You did, but never anything more than that, and you know it. So now you're helping Iron Mike seal the caves? What did you want me to think? See, a few weeks back, we lost a man when this went down. Shutting down the infirmary's respirator. Respirator? Oh, God. Ricky, look around. If you're on a respirator out here, you're already dead. What if it had been Boozer? Yeah, that's what I thought. See, we haven't had power for almost two years, but the transformers and the lines, they all check out. Well, at least they do here. I want to ride up north. Check out the hydro dam just to see why it shut down. Oh no, riding escort, that's Schizo's job. I don't need an escort. You lived up there, you know the area better than anyone. Deacon, you asked for my help, right? Now I'm asking for yours. Shh. Okay, good. I'm gonna go grab some of the guys nope. that can wreck. No, you're not. No, we're going in quiet. We're running to Copeland's men. I can handle them, but that wilderness up there is crawling with rippers and scumbags and God knows what else. More men, you know what that means? I mean more attention. No, uh-uh, no, we're doing this my way. Shit. Fine, okay, let's go. Look, Ricky, uh, I gotta ask you. The other night, uh, in the infirmary, 
what I've shot you in the face? No. Really? Oh. From the look in your face, you... I would have taken you outside first and then shot you in the face. <laughs> okay, so you wouldn't, you know, want to get blood all over the infirmary. Uh-huh, exactly. If we get an early start, we can get back before dark. As long as nothing goes wrong. <laughs> well, what can go wrong? Following you. Just follow the route that I marked on your map. There's some marauder camps up there we want to stay away from. Yeah, got it. So how did you end up out here? I never asked you. Same as everyone, I guess. When shit went down, I was 100 miles from home. By the time I got back, everyone was gone. Where are you from? Grew up in a little town outside of Portland. Would work in the city, couch surf, go home on weekends. Big city. Yeah, right. Only in Oregon. What was it like over there? I mean, how did you, uh, how did you get out? I don't know. Luck, I guess. Roads were backed up all the way down the coast. One giant parking lot. Well, that meant Valley was a war zone. Everything happened so fast. I, I, I told my friends to get out when I left. I don't think they listened to me. I, uh, I heard they nuked it. Portland? Yeah, I, I heard that too. Don't think it's true. We'd be feeling the fallout, right? Yeah. So, uh, you and Addy. You got a problem? Me? No. Come on. Just, I didn't know. You rode with us a long time. I guess it, uh, I guess it never came up. I was like you. Seemed like, uh, I don't know, keeping your distance was just a good way to stay alive. Uh, okay, look, I shouldn't have asked. None of my business. That's why I'm at the camp. You know, chance to live a normal life again. Good luck with that. It's nothing serious. Me and Addy? Didn't look that way to me. Yeah, well, things happen fast these days. You know what I mean? Didn't ask. I wanted to tell you something. Shoot. I, uh... Look, I appreciate you going to bat for me. Uh, for me and Boozer. With Iron Mike, I mean. Wow. You are getting soft. Fuck off. You never thank me for anything. Yeah, well, maybe I never had any reason to. Okay. So where did you and Iron Mike go the other day? Wait, you said that he already told you about it. He was pretty tight-lipped. I've known Iron Mike a long time. To be honest, I don't think I've ever seen him so, I don't know, depressed. Where'd you go? A Sherman's camp. I heard that place was a freak show. It is, but we didn't have much of a choice. I, uh, I had an idea about sealing the caves, keep the hordes from coming through. He knew where the mining claims office was. We picked up some maps. He's going to track down some explosives. Your radio must be broken. Almost sounded like you volunteered for some shit. I'm riding with you now, aren't I? Jesus. He just wanted out of marsh duty. Okay, you got me. So what happened? Something happened. Nothing, Ricky. Nothing happened. He didn't say anything? Just, no. No. Nothing happened. And no, Iron Mike didn't say anything. Like you said, he's a pretty tight-lipped guy. All right, dam's coming up. Take it slow near the gate. No idea who or what might be living there. Got it. Well, looks clear. Are you expecting trouble? Yeah, always. And if we run into any, we're gone. All right, come on. I want to check the outflow. Where are you going? Down here. Hey, this isn't right. There should be more water flowing out right there. Yeah? Yeah, and you hear that? What? what? Exactly. If the turbines were running, you'd be able to hear the hum of the lines from here. Mm. Oh. What happened there? What? Oh. 
Same thing that happened to all the bridges. Smart men in uniforms decided blowing them up would keep the hordes from coming in. Mm. Hordes of refugees or hordes of freaks? Oh, well, you figure men like Copeland? Probably both. Hmm. All right, come on, I want to check something out. Come here, touch this. What? Come what on. You... Hmm. Okay. You feel anything? No. Exactly. If more water was flowing, the turbines would be vibrating. Come on. <laughs> up this way. We're going all the way up to the top, up there. Following you. See these pipes? They're called the pen stuff. Water pressure builds up from the reservoir and is pushed down through those pipes, concentrating the force of the flow, which goes right through to the turbines. How the hell do you know all this stuff? I had two older brothers who were always fixing cars and shit with my dad. He got me a job at Boeing when I was only 17. I was going to school part-time to become a mechanical engineer when shit went down. Did you ever see him again? Your dad, brothers? No. Come on, over here. All right, let's figure this out. <clears throat> well, this is gonna be fun. So now wait, oh, oh. wait, what's, go what's going on? What are you doing? We only rode together a few months, but in all that time, I never saw you volunteer for anything. One of us has to jump down there and clear the intake. So, I'm up. <clears throat> oh, but you can stand and watch. <sighs> okay. Oh, it's now or never. Let's go. Yeah, it's, it's pretty mucked up. I think I can clear it, though. Run back down to the turbine. To, to see if it's vibrating at all. Hmm, nothing. Wait a second. There it is. Yep. That did it. You feel that vibration? Yeah, but the power lines are still dead. What? Man, oh, it couldn't be that easy, right? All right, come on, let's check out the transformers. So, uh, y your dad and your brothers, what happened to them? I don't know. On my way back, I tried calling over and over. I always got a busy signal. By the time I reached the house, it was deserted. The entire neighborhood was deserted. There were flyers everywhere, evacuation orders. I went to the closest refugee camp, but it was overrun. Everyone was dead. Freaks were everywhere. Jesus, Ricky, I'm, I'm real sorry. Yeah, it was a long time ago. These are the ones feeding the lines going south. All right, any idea what's wrong with them? No, not a clue. 
Okay. Well, it might be a short in the turbine junction boxes, so let's just go down and check it out. Okay? All right. So, uh, what's with you and Schizo? I mean, it seems like you're always on the verge of ripping his throat out. A few months back, Eddie and I caught him hiding outside our cabin while we were bathing. What? He's a peeping Tom? I told him if it happened again, he'd find out that my gun is bigger than his. Jesus. You know, if Addie was there, Schizo probably wasn't looking at you. It was all I could do to stop her from neutering the bastard. Ouch. Right? Never piss off a woman who knows how to use this cap. Here, boost me up. Okay, got it. There. Here, I got the gate. Come on, junction room is right around here. Oh, God, what is that smell? Freaker nest. From the smell of it, more than a couple. <sighs> Stay close. How many Molotovs you got with you? Enough. Okay. Remember the drill. You light them up, I knock them down. It's been a while, but I remember. Time to burn. Here they come! Ready. Burn it down. Here I come! Ready. <laughs> you good? Yeah. They really don't like visitors much, do they? Well, can you blame them? Whew. Well, they better get used to this shit. You know what? As of today, I'm claiming this for Lost Lake Camp. Power to the people. <laughs> All right, let's check the junction boxes and get the hell out of here. This is it. You ready? Yep. Okay. Damn. <laughs> yes! Houston, we have power. Nice work. Oh, I couldn't have done it without you. Come on, let's find something to block the door and I don't want to have to come back up here every month to clean this shit out. Wait, wait, wait. You're going to be here in a month? What? No, I, I don't know. Would you just... <laughs> I'm just fucking with you, Beef. Come on. So, why'd you ask about my dad and my brothers? Uh, I don't know. You just, uh... You never mentioned him before, so, I'm, you know, I'm sorry if I, if it's uh, something you didn't want to talk about. No, oh, it's fine. In fact, it reminded me of something I wanted to ask you, back when we were riding together. Okay, Ricky, Ricky, not now. You can ask me later. But, no, hey, hey. Come on, we gotta get moving.
Hey, you never asked uh, why I stopped riding with you and Boozer. <laughs> Was I supposed to ask? I already knew why. Iron Mike's bullshit. God, Ricky, do we gotta do this now? We had been riding together for, I, I don't remember, a couple months. <laughs> <laughs> do you come on? Okay. Okay. There was this one night, and I remember it really clearly. <clears throat> it was snowing outside, and Boozer was snoring. Remember how he used to snore? I swear, I thought <laughs> he was going to bring a horde down on us, yeah, right? Yeah, pretty much hasn't changed. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> he thought everyone was asleep, and you were sitting outside by yourself like you always did, and you were staring at something. You didn't sleep the whole night. Let me see the photo, D. Come on, please. This is when I knew. What'd you know, Ricky? That I didn't want to end up like so many of us here. We're trapped in the past or running from it. I, I just, I want to look forward. Okay, I'm not back. This isn't what you think it is, okay? Get low! Be on the back! Find them! Are you sure it's them? I saw the mark on his back! We're from Lost Lake <laughs> Camp! Iron Mike has Red a treaty! Hey. <laughs> well, that was a really good idea. You wanna try that again? <laughs> Huh? You don't want to get too far away from Carlos, do you? Oh. How about we just leave you here to bleed out, huh? Make all the freaks out here happy, yeah? Huh? Isn't that what you want? Hmm. Hmm. You can all just go straight to hell! Oh, no, this is what you, huh? There. I think that's the last of them. Oh, Jesus. Maybe you're right. I've seen rippers before, but not like that. What the hell are they amped up on? idea. Back in the day, dealt with a few tweakers who acted like that. I think they're on PCP or whatever that other shit is. Oh, uh, bath salts. Remember? That was becoming a thing before everything went down. Right, yeah. Come on, let's see if they messed up our bikes. Really think that Iron Mike's treaty with these bastards is gonna hold? I don't know. Fucking rippers after what they did to Boozer's arm. After what they did to Dick! Lisa? What? This was clutched in one of their hands. What happened? Did you guys have a run-in, you and Boozer, with, with the Rippers, before you stole the antibiotics? Well, I... I don't know. Look, whatever Carlos thinks I did, ain't gonna compare to what I'm gonna do to him if I ever see the son of a bitch. Come on, let's go. I was a member of the 10th Mountain. 
part of a forward unit working with the Northern Alliance. Shit, I didn't know you were in the army. Why were... You want to hear this or not? Sorry. We were advancing on Mazari Sharif. We got ambushed by a group of Taliban heading the other way, and they were in flatbed trucks decked out with ZU-23s, modified anti-aircraft guns. Big guns. Yeah, really big fucking guns. Our Humvee exploded, went over a cliff right into the Hari. You know how hard it is to drown in Afghanistan? It's hard. The place is one giant goddamn desert. Anyway, I was thrown clear, and when I came to, the, the Humvee was upside down in the river. I swam out to see if anyone survived. I, uh, I pulled a body back to shore, and I did that seven more times. And by the, by the time I pulled in Tanner, my Sarge, I was done. And when I came home, I don't know, I, uh, I bought a bike, spent a couple of years on the road, just moving from place to place, and, uh... To farewell, you come up around here, right? Yeah, yeah, okay, so by the time I finally settled down, I got a job at a bike shop run by this, by this old guy named Jack. And uh, he ran the club, the, uh, well, the press, that's what we used to call him. He patched me in himself. Wait, Jack, I remember who you're talking about. He was in prison or something. Some bad shit went down and, and he ended up taking the rap for the club. Sounds like you guys were pretty tight. to be one, right? Let's come back in the morning. You can get whatever tools you need and we'll finish it up then. There'll be fewer freaks out. So no hot shower tonight? Okay. But I want to show you something first. Well, Ricky, it's been a long day. Come on, you know a lot about the freaks. I just want to show you something you might not know. Come on, we're out here anyway. Shit, okay. Let's go. God, like I said before, could I stop you? Why are you still flying colors? I don't know what you mean. I mean, why do you still wear the cuts? You and Boozer, it's, it's not like you're trying to recruit anymore or, or staking out territory. Now? A couple of guys I worked with at the plant wore colors on the weekend. I asked them about it once. They said they wore them as a way of saying, fuck you, to, I don't know, cops, authority, the government. So what are you rebelling against? Whatever's left. Look, we wear them because we wear them. What do you want? I mean, no idea about Boozer, but I ain't trying to say shit. It's just... Cut. That's who I am. I've done a lot of stupid shit in my life, but joining the MC, well... Let's just say that it's one of the few things that I don't regret. Ricky, what are we doing here? I've seen the Nero death trains before and hordes. I know. Not like this. What the fuck? Watch. I've come out here a few times to see them. They stay in those old machine buildings and they come out every night like someone's ringing a dinner bell, right? When it's morning, they go back inside and what? Hibernate? You mean you never went down there to see? Aha. Uh -huh. No. One time I got way too close, and a dozen of them started chasing me. It's like poking a hornet's nest. Come on, let's get out of here. It's getting dark. Okay. Okay, anyway, the other day, I, uh, I saw something you won't believe. Really? You want to talk? All right, let's hear it. Wait, let me guess. You saw a Nero helicopter. Wait, uh, how did you know about that? They've been spotted a few times all over Lost Lake. Shit. Why do you care? It's not like they're here to help us. From the sound of it, they shoot on sight. I don't care. Oh, it sounded like you did.
Hey, where the hell have you been all day? Nice to see you, too. Yeah, well, Schizo said you and Deacon took off, and I was worried. Addy, I'm tired, okay? Oh, that's rich. Hey, Deacon, thank you. Yeah, well, just let me know when you're ready to tackle that Transformer. I'll be around. Sure. It's bullshit. What is your problem? No, no, what is your problem? I just said I'm tired, that's it. Okay, I'm sorry. Like I said, I, w I was worried. It's not like you to just take off without talking to me. Okay. So that's it? I worked at the Humane Society, had a small office and a dog pen outside of Sisters. Had maybe a hundred dogs. Strays mostly. Yeah, that's a day I'm never getting back. Oh, hey, look at that. Too late for marsh duty. Yeah, it's too bad, huh? Schizo. No idea how to fix it? Schizo, schizo. Speaking of schizo, I wonder what the hell he did all day. <laughs> okay. Who the hell's my ratchet wrench? Later. Hey, Ricky, you there? I'm, uh, I'm gonna be gone for a while. I'm gonna need you to cover for me. Skiz is gonna wonder why I'm not out on marsh duty or whatever the hell. Hey, Deke. What's up? Boozer's, uh, hell. He's, he's depressed or something. Talk to Addy. I think I know a way to cheer him up. So, what are you gonna do? Well, uh, I thought I'd maybe head to O'Leary Mountain, get his bike, and bring it back. That's a long way to go on foot. I'll figure something out. Are, are you gonna cover for me or what? Yeah. Thanks, Ricky. Geeking out. O'Brien, I'm at one of your beacons, the one near Camp Creek. Uh, there's nothing here. Hold on. Uh, okay. A field op should be there any minute. You know the drill. O'Brien out. Yeah, I know the drill. Try not to get my ass shot off while being your goddamn peeping Tom. St. John out. Yeah, so what was that all about? I mean, last time we talked, it sounded like you were pissing your hazmat suit. It's nothing. Like I told you there are people above me who don't want us to know what's going on. I got too close. I almost got caught. I need the area secured now. You know what? I don't give a shit. All I want from you is information on Sarah. Okay, let's get this done. Whitaker, I've got someone working on it. It's, it's gonna take time. Yet. You guys only think that 
exhibiting the morphology of stage 2 infection. Tendons in the hands and fingers are less constricted, fingernails less claw-like, as if recently chewed. Additionally, the subject is wearing jewelry and clothing less tattered and worn than... Hey, sorry. Couldn't help overhearing. Ah, the gun-toting biology major. Yeah, something like that. So, it's wearing jewelry. What's the significance of that? These things have been out here for two years, scratching and clawing at us and each other. Yeah. Try putting a gold watch on a baboon for two years. Set it loose in the wild and see what happens to it. Okay, okay, I get your point. This watch looks new. Really? So... So, that means this subject has either been taking care of it, or has recently... Recently put it on. Shit, I thought they were all... you know... That shit crazy? Yeah, they are, but... Just as some late-stage dementia patients could still have moments of lucidity, victims of stage 2 virus infections seem to retain oh. some level of vestigial memory. No shit. No shit. Look at its clothes. They're... Almost clean, right? I mean, not <laughs> clean, but... Most freaks are so caked with shit and piss. That's disgusting. Yeah, well, again, put a pair of pants on a baboon for two years. Jesus. You ever wonder why there's so many more freaks in areas where people used to live? I thought about it. Yeah, I guess they do. Yeah, we think there might still be something very deep in their massively deformed heads that remembers what they once were. Jesus, you don't think they're aware of No, no, we've done the CT scans. They might as well be brain dead in human terms. What's that mean? Well, what it means is that some freaks get up in the morning, they shower, they get dressed, they put on their favorite gold watch, they kiss their wife goodbye, and then they head out the door for a fun day of eating us and shitting themselves. Why the hell are these guys wasting their time with this shit? <sighs> Hope you got all that, O'Brien. Okay, now I just gotta get the hell out of here. Yeah, I hear you. Thought I saw a O'Brien, are you there? O'Brien! Jesus, this is taking forever. Hold on. Yeah, I'm here. I planted your tracking device and I got your data. The researcher, were they male or female? What? Why? Was it a man or a woman? Uh, it was a woman and no, I didn't catch your name. Send some men to go out and get him. Yeah, he's a lot more cooperative than us. Evidently, our guys left him just before a swarm. They offered to leave him where he was and didn't tell him where the seeds were. <laughs> yeah, I, I really would have just left him there. Right. Yeah, you know what Iron Mike would say about that? Yeah, 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 I know. See you, Ricky. Bad Campbell and Reed aren't allowed to tell their side. Hey, we got folks that'll be there, speaking on their behalf. And we got witnesses. It's the way we do things, Deke. Why don't you give them to me for five minutes? You'll have a confession. Thanks. We got it covered. Iron Mike out. Extra life. 
lifetime. <laughs> Sounds like Addy. How's the arm? You know, about 50% there. <laughs> Sorry, the light continued. Seriously, though, it's like I can still feel my right hand, you know? I think they call that phantom pain. Yeah, that's what Addy said. out here or they're running field missions, studying the freaks. No idea. Hey, I gotta get going. Schizo stopped by. Said I'd be shoveling shit all day. Tell Schizo to eat shit. Yeah, pass that one. Later. Hey, uh, Deacon? Can you stop by? Oh, let me guess. You got a job for me. Yeah. Okay. St. John out. Hey, I brought you something. Wait, what the fuck? You you went up and got my bike? Well, I didn't want Cope getting it, parting it out. Jesus, Dick. Hey, I mean, I mostly did it, you know, in case I need parts. It's not like your gimp ass is gonna need them. Shit. Thanks, brother. That's the one thing I miss. Riding on the open road. just wanted me to tell you that she paid some men to go get your bike and bring it back. It's over at the mechanic shop. Oh, wait. What? You're welcome, Deke. Ricky out. I want to get the freaker sometimes, you know? Like, do they feel pain? Anything? Hell, I don't know. You need something? Let 
me get the gate. St. John, this is Mark Copeland at Deacon St. John. Hey, Cope, what's up? Just checking in. A couple of my men were up to the top of O'Leary Mountain the other day. Said they found a safe house set up in an old Forest Service watchtower. Is that right? Yes, sir, that's what I'm told. They said it was abandoned, but funny thing. Whoever lived there left behind a bike. Good shape, too, by the sound of it. Really? Indeed. That's not the funny thing. The funny thing is they went back up there today to pick it up, but the bike was gone. Now, ain't that a head-scratcher? Look, Cope, this is all really fascinating, but, uh... Now, hold on. Here's the fascinating part. They swear that old bike, well, it looked a lot like the one Boozer used to ride. Okay, so let me get this straight, Cope. You guys went up to O'Leary Mountain. You found what you thought was Boozer's bike. And the first thing you thought of was, hey, why don't we just go back and steal it? Salvage, Deke. Salvage. But no, that was my second thought. My first was, whatever happened to old Boozer? Manny says he hasn't seen him around for some time. I don't know, Cope. Next time I see him, I'll let him know how much you miss him. St. John out! Yeah, Addie, what's up? Can you stop by the infirmary when you get a chance? Anything wrong? No, I just need to talk to you. Uh, yeah, okay. Raiders, huh? Going after little venison, huh? Tired of killing drifters? Someone's at the gate. Wait, he's okay. Open up. Hey, Deacon, you got a second? How's William? I haven't seen him lately. How's Boozer? How the hell are any of us? He's surviving. Yeah, well, then he's doing better than most. Yeah. Listen, you need to keep an eye on him. What do you mean? Well, losing an arm is a big adjustment. He's given up the life he had. <sighs> Wasn't much of a life, Addy. I... You're his friend. The only one he's got. Boozer's fine. He'll live anyway. Let me get the gate. Let him in.
Let me get the gate for you. Booze man, how you doing? What's it look like? Okay, see you. If you're digging up weeds, make sure you get the roots. Or they grow right back. Hey, Addy, you there? Ah, Deacon. Yes, I'm here. Hey, so, uh, I, I don't think that it's doing so well. I don't know. I guess I'm worried about it. Yeah. Stop by and see it. And uh, hang. Impressed. Look, I'll keep an eye on him. I'll, I'm going to make sure he doesn't do anything stupid. Uh, see what I can do. I don't know. I checked the grasshoppers all armed themselves with the teeth, came in, killed all your fucking ants, and took everything you own. So, if you're gonna tell parables, why don't you just get them right? What else can I get you? Who the hell is my ratchet wrench? Yeah, good part, that one. I'll fill her up. Yeah, that'll last you. <laughs> Your bike's looking good now. That's a good piece. Nice and sturdy. What else can I get you? Yeah, good part, that one. I'll be here if you need me. Stop by any time. A few weeks back, we were riding west along the old Belknap Road. We ran into a bunch of crazy assholes, almost naked, all scarred up like they took a knife to themselves. Joe said they were rippers. A cult over in Iron Butte called Rest in Peace. They worship the freak. Can you believe that? They worship them. Like they've been raptured into heaven or something. Okay. That's your best bet. Right there. I don't know about that, Mike. We lost people in there before. We, lo we lost who? When? A few weeks back. Torres and Evans, looking for supplies. I told you that no, they were... No, goddammit, you didn't! I told you that we went after them, but the entrance ah. was caved in. Their bikes were outside, but the place was crawling. Do you remember? I don't even know if they made it inside. What's the trouble? Uh, we just... 
We're going over the papers, the ones from Sherman's camp. Mm -hmm. There's a mine that was getting ready to expand. Sure, and there's probably explosives stored on site. Yeah. Except now Schizo tells me we may have lost two men on the inside. Hey, I never said that, Mike. Well, look, I, give me the map, I'll go get the explosives, and Mike, I'll hey, people will. inside. What the hell is going you on? You may trust him, Mike, but I don't. Tell me, how much is Tucker paying for a box of TNT these you know, days? Huh? Hold on, he's doing his part. Oh, really? He's doing what? Besides breaking the treaty with the Rippers, skipping work, staying out with Ricky all day, what's he been doing, huh? What you been doing, huh? Sitting on your ass while everyone does all the work. I keep this camp safe mm. from marauders, thieves, and drifters. Knock it off. Knock it off! Hey, you don't trust him? You go with him. Do you remember some? Both of you, remember, we are all part of the same camp. That's fine. Fine by me. In the morning, we'll take our bikes and we'll go. We'll go right now. <laughs> now. Yeah. Now, in the middle of the night. Sure. You know, it's dark out. There'll be less freaks inside the mine. Oh, that's right. Oh, since you've been skipping work, you've been chasing their black choppers, and now you're some kind of freak expert. Don't need it? to be a fucking expert to know that the freaks come out at night. So okay. Oh, yeah? Come on, enough already! Okay. Okay. You want to go now? We'll go now. But I'll hold on to this. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Hey. Look, he's got his issues, just like everybody else does. But he does his job. <laughs> Tell that to Torres and Evans. Deke, I guess I'm just making sure he's not gonna have some kind of accident down in that mine. Oh, Jesus, Mike, who do you think I am? I'm still trying to figure that out. See you when you get back. Son of a bitch. going. Lucky lad, know where it is? Yeah. <clears throat> I'll be waiting for you. Yeah, try to keep up. Deacon, you there? This is Lost Lake Camp. Over. Yeah, Ricky. What's up? I stopped by to see you. Obviously, you're not there. Schizo and I are on a run for Iron Mike. I'll be back by morning. What's up? I just wanted to see when we could get out and fix that transformer. <laughs> that hot shower still calling your name? Something like that. <laughs> we'll be back by morning. Talk to them. Deacon out. I thought you were going to be waiting for me. I got sidetracked. So these belong to Mike's men? My men? But yeah. Torres and Evans. They weren't drifters, but they'd been out in the shit a few times. I thought they could handle it. I guess you were wrong. Shit's already been parted out. Goddamn scavengers everywhere. Because why wouldn't you bring their ship back with you when you were out here looking for them? Because there were too many freaks. <laughs> That's why. Like them. Only a lot more. Come on. And Mike said the explosives are kept locked in strong boxes. Give a set of spare keys inside the office. Fucking newts. God, I hate those little suckers. We finally agree on something. Got you. Get in there. At last. Hey, over here. Yep. I think I can boost you on your way. Yep. Ready? Yep. Up you go. Got it. Yeah, there. 
Schizo! I got him. Great, great. Look around. Uh, see if you can find some flares. Wait a second. You didn't bring a flashlight? Yeah, but the batteries are dead. Shit's getting hard to find these days. At least ones that have any juice left. Flares. Gizzo, I found a box of flares. Yeah, yeah, see if you can force open the door. I'll come in and grab them. Flares are over here. Yeah. Give me the keys. What, you mean like these keys? Yeah, I can't Hey, 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 I got an idea. How about you lead us to the strong boxes, I'll unlock them. You got a problem with that? No problem. Just don't lose them. Mm. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna keep that in mind. I got him. Let's head in. Right by you. See? It's just like I said. Looks like we should be able to squeeze in through here. Give me a hand. Here, push. I'm pushing, I'm pushing. There. Wedge it against that boulder. Oh, got it. There. <sighs> Looks stable to you. Stable enough. Remember, keep your gun holstered. I thought you said it was gonna be clear. I never said that, and I mean it. If there are any freaks in here, one shot, we'll bring them right down on our heads. I heard you already. Jesus. First expansion area is right off the main shaft. Come on, this way. Right behind you. Ah, shit, we're not getting none of that. Look at the map. Is there another tunnel? A ventilation shaft? Map shows they started a connecting tunnel here. Looks like it was unstable, so they boarded it up. Where? Uh, back this way. Here? Yeah. Yeah, looks like they boarded it up. <sighs> well, this doesn't look exactly stable. I thought I already said that. All I got is this. You got the flashlight. You had the honors. And they never completed any of this expansion work. I mean, it seems like one stick of dynamite will bring this whole place down on our heads. Uh, it doesn't seem so bad. Shit now! Come on. This way. What are you doing? What's it look like? You dropped them flares. Why? You got the map. This thing's a fucking maze. Gonna need help knowing which tunnels we checked. Go left here. Got it. Come here. 
What? These are men. Yeah. Every time I saw Torres, he had on this same damn vest. I kept telling him, wearing bright orange is gonna get you killed, bro. I guess it didn't matter in here. His buddy lost the arm, blood out, and kept Torres fed for a week. You want to resort to that? A few lines I haven't crossed, that's one of them. Yeah. Me either. Stand back. I'm not leaving him for the freaks. Let's get the hell out of here. Yeah. Okay. Let's take a look around. Come on, we can squeeze through here. Following you. That's a tight squeeze. You got this? Who sits on his ass all day in the camp? Oh, very funny. Come on. Okay, the first expansion area should be around this corner. If you're reading the map right. I'm reading it right. See? You still got the keys? Yeah, right here. Sorry, did you not believe me? Sure, I believed you. Come on. Maybe they put them all in one place. Let's go check the other one. This way. Let's double back. Make sure we didn't miss any side tunnels. Excuse me, hold, hold up, hold up. This doesn't seem right. What? What are you talking about? This isn't the way that we came in. What? You think these flares got up and moved themselves? Yeah, maybe I got turned around. Well, now, wait a minute, God damn it! Th this is the main tunnel. What? It's the... It's the main tunnel. You see the tracks? We weren't following any tracks on our way in. What the hell? But, but these are my flares, damn it. How did the... Oh, someone's fucking with us. Come on, this way. Hold up, hold up. Wait a second. Who the hell's in here? Come on out. Show yourself! Excuse me, put that thing away. What are you talking about? What I'm talking about is one shot. One. It's all it takes to bring all the freaks in these tunnels down on top of us. Well, I thought you said these tunnels will be clear this time. No. Ah! What the hell? Ah! 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 Look out! Get a shot! Ah! Oh, God damn it! God damn it, it's got the keys! Shit! Where are you going? It's got the keys, we gotta catch it! Well, hey! Ah! God damn it, Schizo! It's getting away! Damn it, you little shit! Get back here! Come on, you shit! Give me back those fucking keys! Where'd you go? I got 
damn it! Get up! Schizo, stop shooting! What? the last of them. So much for the tunnels being clear. I told you what would happen if you fired your weapon. What was I supposed to do? Throw a rocks what at him? You're supposed to do is you're supposed to fucking listen to me. Next time. Try this. Whatever. You're welcome. For what? For saving your ass. If you hadn't run off, my ass wouldn't need it saving. <laughs> Are you ready to fucking finish this? Yeah. I'm ready. This way. So, he goes off. Addy said it looked like someone tried to burn his tats off. It was the Rippers, wasn't it? You got a point, Schizo? Had a drifter come in. Word's gone out. Rippers are looking for two men. Mongols. Sound like anyone you know? Well, as you can see. I'm still wearing the cut. We're not hiding, Schizo. Carlos wants Boozer. He won't have any trouble finding him. But he's gonna have to go through me first. What'd you do to him? Gotta be something long before breaking the treaty. Long before I... You know what? I don't know and I don't care. Have I killed a few rippers in my day? You goddamn right I have, and after what they did to Boozer, I'm gonna go right on killing crazy sons of bitches. Yeah? And Carlos is crazier than any of them. You don't wanna be on his shit list, bro. What'd I just say? I don't care. And I'm not your bro. Remember what I told Iron Mike? Carlos can go fuck himself. Hey, just looking out for you. You're one of us now, right? Yeah, yeah, right. Don't worry about me and Boozer. We can look out for ourselves. This ought to make the old man happy. Shit's heavy. What are you talking about? You know the old man. Same with me. I got this. Thanks. He thinks that his treaty with the Rippers is gonna keep us safe. The thing is, they don't give a shit about any treaty. The only reason they haven't come down here in force is because they're too busy up north, hitting Copeland, the hot springs. Yeah, I know, I was there. So you know what I'm talking about. The Rippers are coming. And Iron Mike, he's just gonna let it happen. He's gonna let those bald-headed freak-alikes wash over us like a goddamn red tie. Excuse me, so you don't know that. Hold on. Come on. Jesus, never thought I'd be so glad to see the light of day. Shit, something else we agree on. That's twice in one day. Hold up for a second. Someone out there. Hey, bike. Someone's inside. 
Hey, what the hell? Hiding out there. Oh. Sit in your pants. Come on now. Yes. Yes. Come on. Come on. Find him. Mister, my boy's got a little rambunctious, I admit it. They're a little Please, jumpy out here, you know? Split up. Hey, sister, thought you just wanted to talk, I guess. That's all I gotta say. Ah, give it to him! Got it! Yeah, you got it! Lay it into him! Not this time! Ah. Ah. Shoot the assholes! Ah. Look out! I got him! Ah, give it to him! I think that's all the bastards. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. We gotta get that box of dynamite. Must have been the same assholes who parted out the bikes. Ride by and they see ours. They figured they'd make an easy score. I guess it wasn't as easy as they'd hoped. <sighs> you know, I hate to say it, but we actually make a good team, you and I. Well, then don't say it. Hey, there's something I gotta say. When you and Boozer rode into camp and Iron Mike welcomed you back again with goddamn open arms, I thought it was another sign the old man was losing it. Going soft. Okay, what's your point, Scott? Hey, my point is that you and me, we see eye to eye. I get that now. You know, same as me. If Iron Mike don't wake the hell up, the camp's not gonna last another six months. Okay, still waiting for your point. Look, I know I've been busting your balls. We both know that. But a lot of people know what you've done. For your friend. How you been doing shit for the camp. Changes are coming, brother. When Iron Mike retires, let's call it, I say you and me, we step up and run the camp together. You and me. Run the camp. <laughs> That's really what you wanted to talk hey, to me about. Hear me out, goddammit. <laughs> Just listen to me a minute. Uh -huh. Look, I got a lot of friends on the camp council, and they agree. Most of them say the old man's gotta go. Yeah, it's bullshit because Ricky would never go for it. She's as soft as and the old Mike man. And he trusts you. you. Well, that's his mistake. One of many. Well, it ain't gonna be mine. Look, we all do things to survive, Schizo. I get that. But you remember how I said there's some lines I ain't crossed? Stabbing a friend in the back? That's one of them. Better one old man than the entire camp. You think about that. Schizo, think about that. Jesus, why would Iron Mike ever trust that asshole, let alone make him head of security? Lost Lake Camp, come in. Geek of St. John to Iron Mike. Geek, you and Schizo, you find him? The explosives? Yeah, like, uh, we got him. Schizo's on his way back with everything. 
found. Listen, Mike, I gotta tell you. That's great. That's great! Now, we can't use them till we find some dead cord. You know that, right? I'll take a look through the files we got. Mike, listen to me. Schizo, he's up. Jesus, what now? You boys try and shoot your damn heads off again? No, Mike, but he, uh... He wants to run the camp, Mike. He told me him... him th oh, hell, I know all about that. Remember, I told you already. Schizo thinks I'm a pacifist and I'm gonna get us all killed. I know he's been talking. Mike! Deke, like I said, Schizo's got his issues, but it... <sighs> it it's not like we don't got ours. Thanks for your concern, but I can take care of myself. Mike, out. Uh, Jesus, all right. Your way, Iron Mike. You always do. Open in the gate. Where's Boozer? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I thought he was with you. Yeah, he was, and then he he took off. Some shit. Excuse me, what the fuck are you telling me? Get off me! Look, he grabbed a bottle of whiskey, he said he was going home. I don't know. Motherfucker, and you didn't even try to stop him, did you? Hey! We tried! <laughs> you gotta know when to cut a man loose. You gotta know when a man's done. Ricky, you there? What's wrong? Boozer went out, but he didn't come back. Shit. You heading up there? Uh, need help? No, I'll find him. Boozer, you there? Booze man. Uh, yeah, Deke. Yeah, Deke. No, I'm here. Where the hell are you? It's, it's getting dark out. Where? I'm at the farm. I'm at the, f the farm. Jesus, stay there. I'm coming to get you. Just, just stay here. I got it. I got it. I got it. <laughs> Piece of cake. I'm at the, uh, the farm. Oh, my God. All right, here's the farm. This is where Ricky said the work crew was. Boozer! You there? Boozman! Damn it. Okay, here's the farm. Hey, where's Boozer? Who? Ah, oh, there's no one here. Work crew's gone home for the day. No, he's still here. The, the big guy with one arm. Yeah, yeah, I know who you mean. He headed off that way, towards the old farmhouse. Thought he was getting a ride there. If you see him, tell him, tell him to stay here. Radio me or Ricky. Sure, man. Whatever. Boozer! You there? Who's my- Skizzo said that he had a, a bottle of whiskey. Where would he go to drink a bottle of whiskey? One of these, uh, this has got to be it. Boozer! Are you in here? This looks like it. Good book to read. Whiskey bottle. Empty. Wait a second. Case of beer.
Bounties. Yes. Okay. Let's take a look around. Okay, let's see. What's going on here? Still got this beer bottle empty. Heading that way. Damn it. Boozer! Booze man! said you were at the farm. I just left, and you are not at the farm, Boozer. Uh... Oh! Oh, the other farm. I'm, um... I, I, I went to the other farm. I, I found a sixer. <laughs> so, I thought I'd go for a walk, you know? Like, just... More beer bottles. Empty. Tracks. Okay. So you're not in the barn. This is it. Boozer, are you in here? Booze man. Upstairs. Okay, now another bedroom. All right, where? And another beer bottle. That's wet or oh, I'm not gonna ask. Boozer, where are you? Booze. I, I thought you were gonna come. Uh, Where are you? Would you look around? Did you tell me what you see? What's nearby? Give me a, give me a landmark or something. Already told you. Uh, oh, look at that shit. Get what, Boozer? What do you see? Just stay right there. Just stay where you are. Get down. Get out of sight. Listen for my bike. I'm coming. I'm not hiding from no one. I'm going home. The home. Damn it, Boozer. That's gotta be him. Boot prints. Bingo. Boozer, you there? I'm getting close. I, uh, I followed your tracks. Just like you taught me. Uh, Boozer, come on, man. Stay put, will ya? For a stroll. Hey, Dig. How's it going, old buddy? Boozer, where are you going? Oh, that's where I'm going home. Oh, well, we can't go back to O'Leary Mountain. No, I'm not going to fucking O'Leary Mountain. I'm going to farewell. Shit, come on. We gotta get you. Told me no. You wanna take a swing at me? Fine. Get in line behind them. Bring it! Okay. So this is it. This is how we're going out. Get out no, here, no, I don't think so. Huh, Boozer? Huh? Bro? Boozer? The nice year old lady was killed. What did I say to you? I didn't tell you. What did I say to you, huh? I found you halfway through a case of whiskey. You were gonna drink yourself to death. What did I say to you? You grabbed a bottle and you chugged it. It was a lot of goddamn whiskey. And you told me that if I was gonna drink myself to death, you'd be right there with me. That's what brothers do. So like I said, Boozer... Is this it? This is how we're going out? Let's get the hell out of here. Go, go, go! I'm going! Go faster then! Cars! Rick Cars! I see him, loser!
That's the last of them. Uh, we're gonna be okay. I, I know. I knew it all along. Hey, hey, Deke. Boozer, listen. I just want to say thank you, man. I mean it. Boozer, uh... Just listen, goddammit. You came out here and you saved my sorry ass. Again. I owe you, brother. I owe you. No, no, Boozer. I owe you... All right, look. If it weren't for you, I, uh, I would have been dead a long time ago. Or worse. I thought you said, there's nothing worse hey, than being dead. There. Yeah, well, I was wrong. Open the gate. It's that drifter. Yeah, I know him. You gonna be okay? Oh, hell yeah. Oh, I hear a bunk calling my name. Life. Yeah, Ricky, I no found him. Before. <sighs> How is he? Bunch of Let's just say that tomorrow he's gonna have one hell of a hangover. A hangover? Good. I'll remember that when I stop by to see him at six in the morning. Yeah, yeah, thank God. He deserves it. Deke, I'm glad he's okay. All right. Hey, come around more often. We miss you. Hey, Ricky, I, uh, I got a favor to ask. Yeah, what's up, Deke? Um, it's about Boozer's arm. Uh, I saw that hook that you made for him, and, uh, it's great, but, uh, don't you think it might be better if, instead of a hook, I don't know, maybe with something like a knife or a blade or something, you know? Oh, uh, oh hold on. Oh, please, thank you. So, oh. if it oh, I'm sorry about that. So, uh... You, you want me to, you want me to create a prosthetic blade for Boozer? Well, yeah, I just thought I might cheer him up, make him feel, you know, more of a... You want me to weaponize Boozer? Well, I wouldn't put it that way. I'm just fucking with you, Deke. I think uh, it's a great idea. Uh, I will go check some parts, and I will radio what I need. Cool? Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm ready to go back at it. Thankfully, at last, 
All that is in the past. At least, for my people. Stay sober, people. Stay alive. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. Yeah, you ever lose an arm, Cope? Maybe when you do, you'll find yourself wanting a bottle of whiskey. Or two. Or three. And in the meantime, shut the hell up! Hey, Deke. I got a good one for you. Mike, hey. What's up? Ricky handed me a shopping list. Said it was for Boozer. Said I should radio you. Okay, where's Ricky? Something came up with Addie, I don't ask. Anyway, she needs a galvanized metal pipe, tube, kind used in building. She needs a carbon alloy blade, the kind hunters use, and finally some metal scrap. That list make any sense to you? Uh, yeah, Mike, like you said, I don't ask. <laughs> Deacon out. Okay, what do I need? I need a blade or a metal tube? Scrap. Ah, Jesus, Ricky. Metal tube, metal tube. It can't just be any metal tube, can it? Gotta find one from a construction site. Wait, 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 hold on a second. There was a house um, under construction at Marion Forks, but I can find something there. Who's. <laughs> Boozer, you there? Yeah, Dee. I just got off work. I got to spend the morning hauling buckets of shit. Oh, Jesus, goddamn schizo. I'd be lying if I told you I didn't miss it. Get out of this shit. What are you doing? Still out there chasing Nero? Playing follow the chopper? Yeah, too bad. Yeah. Look, try to damn what happened to Sarah? No, not yet. How long are you gonna let him keep stringing? He's not. He's he's looking into it. It takes time. Just don't get your hopes up. It's a hopes up. Well. Deke? Hey, we got a job for you. Ricky. Hey, um, okay. Yeah, I'll check in. Deke and out. Deer crossing. Ah, uh, something's never change. Okay. You want to die out here? Look, there's a camp. There's a camp. What camp? Show me. Show me. Where? Head to Lost Lake. Ask for Ricky Patel. She'll take you in. Oh. oh. Thank you. Thank you. God sent you. I, mean, I had given up. I was going to die. Thank you. Thank you. Tell them it was Deacon. They'll know. Don't stop. Just keep out of sight.
Good. Feel that, huh? God damn it. <laughs> This is it. Which way? <laughs> Still got this. No, not this way. What do we got? This ought to be enough. Now uh, I just gotta get all this crap back to Ricky.
I know him. Hey. Hey. I got those parts that you were asked for. Oh, great. Well, uh, check back in a few. I'll see what I can do, yep. Uh, Ricky. Thanks. Yeah, Boozer's one of us now. Who the hell's my ratchet wrench? Hey, Deacon. Buzz, how you doing? All right, I got you. Mike's looking pretty busted. Okay. See you later, Deke. Deacon, 
Good to see you. Blair, how you doing? Yep. Okay, then. Deke, take care now. First. Wait a sec, I got it. Hey, Deke, you there? I've got Boozer's new prosthetic ready. I asked Addy to find him and send him over. Uh, great. Great, Ricky. I'll, I'll be right there. Deacon out. Open it up. It's okay. Okay. Crease there. Okay. Got it. Let me secure it in, okay? There you go. That's better. Okay. Hey, brother. Look what oh. Ricky did. What? Made me a new toy. Oh, I was all Deacon. <laughs> oh, that's he really, really that. cool, Boozer. Hey, uh, I could have been one of those, yeah. those three goddamn musketeers. <laughs> Hungar! <laughs> you fucking right. ripper. <laughs> Pretty cool. Oh, hey. Jesus. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, uh, maybe this hey. wasn't that good of an idea? Yeah, Damn it. Okay. Hold on. Well, Brian, I'm sick of doing your dirty work. You got news for me or not? Yeah, I, I mean, yes, I have news. Well, then what is it? I need you to do one last job. Were you listening to what I was just saying? I'm done with one this. One more job, then I'll meet you in person, show you what I got. Forget it. Her middle name. It was Irene, right? Sarah, Irene, Whitaker. It's on her admission form. One last job. And one last job. I sent you the coordinates. O'Brien out. Hey, hey. You're headed somewhere in a hurry? Yeah. You remember that Nero bastard I told you about, O'Brien? Well, it looks like he's got some news for me, but I gotta do one last job for him first. Yeah. Okay. You should come with me. Yeah? Nah, I... Schizo's got me on farm duty. Feeding the world one shitty weed at a time. Fuck Schizo, I'll drop you off right afterward. When's the last time you saw a helicopter? I'll tell him he twisted my arm. Never gets old, <laughs> does it? Freaker sometimes. You know? Where are we headed? Like, Over toward Malakwa Lake. You know where that is? Yeah, it's just north of the Rogue Tunnel off uh, Waldo Road. So what are we doing there? The Nero Chopper's gonna be on the ground doing whatever the hell it is that they do. O'Brien wants me to see what they're up to. So O'Brien, he's uh, he's what? Your, your shot collar? Handler? No. Boozer, you know why the hell we're out here. Just asking. Seems like he tells you to jump. You ask how high. It's not how it is. So how are you holding up? Not bad. Nah, it's been worse, you know. I actually don't mind working the farm, pulling weeds and shit. Reminds me of when I was a kid. 
I used to go out to my uncle's farm out at uh, by Adrian on the Idaho border. Spend summers working the beet fields. <laughs> that little dirt bike I took around on. That's where I learned to ride. If you're not careful, I'm gonna start calling you Farmer Bill. When we get to that site, stay close. Whatever happens, don't let them see you. They can get a little trigger happy. Okay, okay, got it. Stay down, keep my mouth shut, don't get us killed. Hey, thanks for bringing me along, Deke. It's good to get out again. Even riding bitch, you know? <laughs> yeah. Okay, stay close. Right behind. There it is. Jesus. Never thought that I'd see one of those again. In the air, I mean. I know, watch. The soldiers come out first, they secure the secured LZ. Now. And their boy genius, right, researcher, out, scientist, out. whatever the hell. He comes out, he looks around. Standing by. Whatever science shit they're doing out here, how the hell would I know? Okay, wait here. Catch any of that over my radio? That's pretty fucked up. Good taxpayer money and they're out here collecting freaker shit. Yeah, I told you. Who knows what they're doing or why? Oh, they gotta have a base around here somewhere, right? You try following them? Yeah, but they always disappear over the mountains heading south. And with the highway choked off, I can never get close. Sons of bitches. Seems like they got a lot to answer for. Yeah. Where are we headed now? It's a good question. O'Brien, are you there? Come in, O'Brien. I'm here. Finished? Yeah, it's done. Where am I meeting you? I wasn't expecting you so soon. I'm sending you the coordinates now, but it might take a few minutes to get there. O'Brien out. Jesus, what the hell does he think I've been doing out here? Hey, you're right about one thing. He does sound like an asshole. Wait here. I don't want him getting skittish because I brought someone along. Yeah, I'll keep an eye on the bike. I've seen enough Nero assholes for one day. Okay, I'll be back. Oh, Brian said he had news. 
He knew her middle name. Irene. She can't be alive. But he's alive. Why not her, huh? There he is. Yo. Shit. You gotta stop doing that. What you got? Alright, look. I'm gonna lay it out for you, but it's not good news. I finally found a guy who was willing to do some digging through some files that, we, that they used to keep while they still kept records. Okay, O'Brien. Well, anyway, uh, Sarah Whitaker, your wife, was in, admitted to the Camp Mash unit on the South Flats outside of Silver Lake. Uh, according to the records, she was in surgery for six hours and then was moved okay, to... So she survived. The stab wound, she survived. Yeah, yeah. According to the records, she made a full recovery. And then she was moved to another camp on the outskirts okay, of Tumult. Okay, so... So she could still be alive. Even after all this time, she could still be alive, you're saying? No. What do you mean, no? It was overrun. Everything was overrun. There were no survivors. You survived? They survived. Look, 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 there was nothing that would have protected that camp, okay? Highway 97 w w w is an artery. Infected freaks poured up from LA, from the Bay Area, from Sacramento. There were thousands and thousands and thousands of them. There was, there was nothing we could do. I get it. So you bugged out. Who did you bring with you? Uh, Nero personnel, some feds, people with clearance. Nero personnel, the soldiers, the guys with the guns? The guys that should have been protecting no, the there, civilians? There's nothing that you can do against a horde. Oh, no, too strong. I know all too about fast. hordes. Well, they knew that there was nothing that we could do. Oh, you know what you could have done? You could have brought a few of them with you. You could have saved a few lives. There was no hope. There was no time. There was no room, okay? We had already turned on each other by the time the hordes arrived. No, I get it. I'm sorry about your wife. I'm sorry about all of this. But you gotta understand, if you hadn't sent her with me that night, she would've been dead the next morning. You did the right thing. <laughs> You know, if you had decided to stay, the only thing that would have happened is you'd be dead right alongside her. Don't you think I know that? <laughs> O'Brien. Thank you for saving her life that night. So you're sorry. Is that it, O'Brien? You're sorry? Oh, damn it. All things a waste of my goddamn time. Oh, what the hell? Boozer? Boozer? Oh, god damn it, Booze, man. Where the hell did you go? Shit. Ah, right. Booze, man, where the hell did you go? Boot tracks. That's gotta be his. This is it. What the hell is this? All right. What have we got? Uh, this way. Still there? This is Ricky. Deacon St. John. Uh, yeah, Ricky, I'm here. What's up? Schizo's been asking for you. Said Boozer never showed up for his work duty. I, I was worried. No, look, we're fine. We just had some stuff that we needed to get done. Tell Schizo we'll be back in an hour. Okay. Hey, I'm almost ready to head back out there and fix that transformer. You still in? Uh, yeah. Yeah, just, uh, great. Let me know when. 
feel that hot water now. Gonna let that shower run forever. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Uh, that's, that it sounds great. Listen, uh, Ricky, I, I gotta go, all right? Deacon out. Deke, over here! Oh, Jesus, Boozer, what the hell? I figured I'd do a little shopping while we were out, and I ran into a pack of rippers hunting dogs. Oh, easy, fella. He's not infected. He's, he's just a dog. They're hunting down and killing healthy dogs. No, just, no, we can't. God. We can't leave him here, Deke. Uh, we just, we can't. We right, can't do right. it here. Here, let me, uh, let me do it. Really? You, you can. Okay, boy. Okay, easy. It's okay. All right, just hold oh, it. Jesus, Deke. It's okay, okay, just that's it. All right, it's okay, big guy. Rest. You ready? We're one more. Oh, yeah, brother. I'm ready. What's that? Okay. Yeah. I think that's the last of them. Oh, you sound disappointed. Well, I just, I hate those sons of bitches, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, come on. Let's uh, let's get the hell out of here. So what the hell happened back there? You seem sort of, I don't know, like uh, like you lost it. Uh, I don't know. I guess I just, I needed some payback for this shit. But, uh, there's never gonna be enough payback, is there? You know? If you hadn't made this shift for me, my arm, I mean, I don't know where I'd be. I mean, I guess I'd... Oh, hell. You know. Are you gonna be okay? Yeah, not like I got a choice. Not like any of us do, right? Yeah, okay, come on. Hey, there's your bike. Hey, how'd it go? Oh, uh, what go? You know, goddamn well, your guy in the space, what do you say? Oh, it doesn't matter. Hey, come on, goddamn it. <sighs> Boozer, you really don't want to be doing that right now. Oh, yeah? You think I need more than this to take down your scrawny little ass? Come on, what do you say? Drop it. Seriously, what happened to Sarah? Huh? Where's your old lady? Where's your old lady? Huh? Stay down, brother. <laughs> Had enough? Where's your old lady, Deke? She's dead, Boozer. Sarah's dead. Yeah, and she's been dead a long time. So don't you think that you mourned her long enough? <laughs> I think... I think that you have a hell of a left hook, asshole. Oh. Yeah, it's the only move I got. <laughs> Come on, man. I gotta get my sorry ass back to work. Camp ain't gonna feed itself. Okay. Yeah. It's the only move I got. 
Still, I tagged your ass with it three times in a row. Oh, fucking shameful. <laughs> what do you say? Where are we headed? Back to camp. No, no. I still gotta work a shit. Give me a ride up there. It's it's just north of Sherman's camp. Okay. So, she died that night, and there was nothing you or anyone could have done about it. I should have been there. And what good would that have done? Just drop it, it's done. Skizzo, you there? Lost Lake Camp, Skizzo. Yeah, yeah, what's up? We just had a run in with... Hey, where the hell is you, bro? We skipped work duty today. What the hell, man? Was he... Sh just sh shut up and listen to me. I was giving him a ride to the work site, and we were attacked by rippers. Oh, Jesus. Where? Outside of Rogue Camp. You gotta tell Iron Mike. Carlos is coming, and he is not going to stop. What do you think I've been telling him? For months. Yeah, I'll let him know. We're heading toward Tumalo now. Boozer will be at the site in a few minutes. Well, that's great, because he owes the camp another half shift for the work he's missed. Shut up, Skizzo. Hey, Deke. Uh, road camp is kind of in the opposite direction of Tumalo, isn't it? We took the scenic route. Out. That's all. Goddamn, Skizzo. Come on, you guys. Come on, keep working. Keep at it. We don't work, we don't eat. Right already. That's it. Hey. Thanks for the ride. We all start. There you go. Take John to Lost Lake Camp. Come back. Deke, I hear you. Mike, good. Look, Boozer and I, uh, we just had a run-in with Rippers. They... Uh... Rippers? God damn it, you boys crossed the Iron Ridge. Deke, I told you. Just listen. No, Mike. They were here, in Rogue Camp. Rogue Camp? There were Rippers in Rogue Camp? You sure it was Rippers? Am I sure? Oh, Jesus, Mike, yeah. They're kind of hard to miss, you know, with the scars and acting crazy, killing anything that moves. All right, just calm down. Now, we got a parlay with Carlos. Schizo's heading over to Iron Butte tomorrow. He'll find out what the hell's going on, and then we'll... You're sending Schizo to parlay with Carlos. Jesus, Mike. Don't tell me how to run my camp, Deke. Like I said, my treaty is gonna hold. Lost Lake out. Hell, whatever you say, Mike. Whatever you say, Schizo's right. You're gonna get everyone killed. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. What does Nero want? They disappear for two years, come back, guns blazing. While they're trying to find out, you get yourself killed. Besides, we already know. I've been watching them skunk around. They can they know these woods better than me? They're doing something with the freaks. Tracking them. Studying them. Watching them. Making notes in their little notebooks. And you know why? They're gathering info. 
seen how long it takes for these sons of bitches to die or starve off. Probably trying to get a read on when the feds can reemerge from their hiding holes and crawl back into their unjust positions of power. For once, the freaks are on our side. Longer than here, all the feds can rot down there in their stony prison. The world may not be ours anymore, but thanks to the freaks, it doesn't belong to the feds either. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. Once again, Cope, you don't know shit. The freaks ain't on anybody's side. In the world, it already belongs to them. Yeah, I'm here, and I'm guessing you got another job for me. So, okay, I'll stop by, Deacon out. Hey, where you at, brother? Hey, loser. I'm, uh, heading up to Marion Forks. Marion Forks? What the hell for? Because I decided... Hell, it's like you said, I've, uh... Mourned her long enough. It's uh, time to say goodbye. You head to the church. I don't know. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Jesus, Deke. It's the last time, Boozer, I swear. Deke it out. Deke, this is Cope. Mm. You out there? Copeland, yeah, yeah, I'm here. I'm uh, guessing you uh, got another job for me. Okay, I'll swing by, Deacon up. Uh, you... you've each prepared your own valve? Well, uh, traditionally, the... the groom goes first. <laughs> uh. I'll, I'll go first. Deacon. I'm so sorry that no one came. I guess we really pissed off everyone. On both sides. 
I mean, not everyone. But I want you to know that that's how much you mean to me. That I would give up anything for you. Anything. This ring is a symbol of my love. And it is precious. It has no beginning and no end. I love you. This ring is my promise that I'm always going to love you. And I ain't ever going to leave you. But you, you may kiss the bride. Oh, wait, wait a second. Here, you can have this one back, but only if you promise to ride me as much as you ride your bike. <laughs> well, I now pronounce you man and, well, wife. Okay, I'm gonna just go. <laughs> Get a room! <laughs> Who's man? You there? Yeah, Deke. What's up? You remember that little church? The one Sarah and I got married in? Well, I found a couple of assholes trash in the place. Wish I'd been there. I'd help you kill them all. Messing with Sarah's church. Shit. Yeah. Anyway, just checking in. Deacon out. Lost Lake Infirmary, can you read me? Deacon, I'm here. Addy, good. Good luck. Um, are you gonna be around for a while? I, uh, I need to see you. Is everything okay? What's wrong? Uh, look, nothing. I'm, I'll tell you when I get there. Deacon out.
I'm coming. You're not gonna make it out here. I know where there's a camp. No, no. Where? Where? I'll go. Head to Lost Lake. Ask for Ricky Patel. She'll take you in. Oh my god. Thank you so much. <laughs> I thought I was gonna die in there. Tell him it was St. John. Deacon. They know who I am. Okay, keep running. Stay out of sight. Deer crossing, ah, something's never changed. It's okay. Open up. Well, you sound pretty excited. It's the candle, Deke. What? The old saying, it's better to light one candle than curse the darkness. We've spent the last two years doing a whole lot of cursing. We get the lights on at last leg, and that's lighting our first candle. Yeah, only one problem with that. Lights attract all kinds of nasty bugs, and they make it way easier for him to find you. Hey, we're here! Shit! Swarmers. I was hoping it was gonna be clear. Nah, why would we have that kind of luck? Okay, I think that's all of them. Crap. Okay, to fix this thing, I gotta climb up there. <laughs> Have you done this before? Nope, but there's a first time for everything, right? Right. Okay, come on, boost me up. All right, ready? Uh-huh. One, two, three! If you fall, it ain't like I can catch you. Gee, thanks. I'll try to keep that in mind. Shit! No! I got him! Damn it, Dick! Trying! Good night. Well, God damn it. Well, that was fun. Yeah, we're gonna have to come out and do this again sometime. 
Yeah, I'll talk to Schizo about getting some barbed wire around this. It'll keep the newts off. Yeah, sounds like the kind of shit job he likes to give me. <laughs> You'll live. Come on, I gotta check something else out. So let's just drop it. Okay. Wow. Word gets around. I'm almost ready. Power to the whole resort is routed through here. I pulled the breaker a week ago so it wouldn't short out. Okay. Ready when you are. All right. Let's listen up. Okay. Now, the past few months have been tough. Not gonna deny that. We're low on food, medicine, hell. Pretty much everything. But we got one thing in spades. And without that, everything else is meaningless. That one thing is trust. Now, a while ago, we had some more drifters right into camp. Some of you said kick them out. We ain't got enough for ourselves. Some of you said we can't trust them. Tonight is proof of what I've been saying all along. We need everyone. I mean everyone who is willing to be here, who is willing to work, who is willing to help us rebuild. Right on, man. Yeah. Now, for the past couple of months, Ricky has been doing just that. But she can't do it alone. She needs help. Tonight is going to happen because we welcomed a drifter into our camp. And we allowed him to earn our trust. Tonight, we take one more step out of the darkness. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Oh, oh my God. Hey, 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 you two. I got a, I got a, I got a bottle of bourbon. Come on. Come on. Oh, that's your cue. <laughs> Good Whoa, night. hey. What happened? That's uh, nothing. Mm -hmm. Come on, let's go see Addy. So the woman in the photo, that was her? That was my wife, yeah. Dumb question. I'm I'm sorry, Deke. No, don't be. She's uh she's been dead a long time. Still, it can't be easy to get your hopes up like that, only to I don't know. I wish there was something I could do. Well, there is. What? Stop talking about it. Okay. Addie? Addie! The lights are up. I don't think she's here. Addie, you here? Okay, well, strip. Strip, strip what? Take your shirt off, sit on the table. Hey, look, it's nothing. Deacon, do you want an infection? Mm-hmm. I may be an engineer, Deke, but that does not mean 
Uh -huh. That I don't know how to treat a cut. Yeah, I never would have guessed the way that you were caressing those switches and circuits or whatever the hell you were doing. <laughs> All right, this <clears throat> might hurt just a little bit. Ready? Oh, Jesus. Okay. Really? No, I want to just wait for Addie to come back, just, huh? Shh. Hang on. There. It's done. Big baby. So I told you it was nothing. <laughs> yeah, you did. <clears throat> oh, wow. You really have been at war. Yeah, more than one. Shit, that's right. Where was this one? Afghanistan or the MC or after? I, uh, I don't remember. What about this one? Ricky, uh, I'm not sure that, uh, well, I heard that Addie doesn't really like, um, People messing around in her business. Yeah, I, I heard that too. What about this one? <sighs> Ricky. Think I'm not married. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Why don't you come back tomorrow and see Addie and she's gonna tell you how great of a job I did. Ricky, um... Deke, it's, it's, it's fine. You're welcome. Hey, Deacon? <clears throat> Maybe one day, stop and light a candle. It can get pretty dark and cold out there. Addy. Hey, Deacon, how can I help you? Uh, it's Boozer. Is he okay? Yeah, not well. He's not. He's not sick or anything. It's just, I don't know. Well, I told you that it was going to be a big adjustment. Do you have any drugs around here? Like antidepressants, something like that? No. Sorry. Okay. Wait. I heard about what happened. How we went after those guys who were killing those dogs. Yeah, and he nearly got us killed while doing it. Well, maybe that's your answer. Nearly getting us killed while doing it? Look, what does William love so much that he'd be willing to risk his own life? He doesn't need something to heal his body. He needs something to heal his soul. I got it. Thanks, Eddie. Hey, huh, what? wake up, Ooh. you lazy bastard. What's going on, man? What's this? Shit. Oh, shit. Hey. Hey, how you doing, little guy? Hey, oh, easy, easy. <laughs> hey, hey, hold on, hold on, huh? Where'd you come from? Don't look at me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, you look a little thirsty. Let's, uh, let's get you some water. How's that sound?
Deke, are you there? I need you to meet me. I'm here, Schizo. What do you want? I'm busy. Look, I know you're trying to help the camp. And I'm trying to help you help the camp. Meet me Looks at the like back rain. of the lodge. Schizo out. Damn it, Schizo. This better be good. All right, I'm here. What do you want? Hold on. Come on, in here. Excuse me, what's going on? Well, if you go inside, I'll show you. Hey, I've been thinking about your idea. You know the one where you want to seal the cave north of the camp to cut down on the hordes passing through our farm area? Okay. Problem is... Mike hasn't been able to find any deck cord for this, has he? No. But I know where you can get some. Right here. No. <laughs> I know what you're no. thinking. I get it. No, that's okay. in the middle of Ripper territory. Last time I went through there, You got didn't... meds that saved your boy's no. life. We get the deck cord, we blow the cave, boom, goodbye oh. horde. Uh -huh. It was your goddamn idea! Look, they have sealed the goddamn border. They sealed the tunnel. If I go through there, I'm starting a war. I Excuse got me. a plan. Besides, I'm going with you. Keep your ass out of trouble. Just grab as much gear as you can. Hopefully we won't need it, but you never know. And then meet me here. Because there's a trail that goes over Iron Ridge. What? Right there. What are you talking about? Just trust me. Jesus. You in? I'll see you there. Hey, drifters, you guys murdered today, huh? Yeah, I can tell by looking at you. They're down! I got him! I got him! Son of a bitch! Someone's down! Addy, you there? Yeah, Deacon, what's up? I, uh, got the boozer, the dog, and, and it works, just like you said. <laughs> well, I'm glad. You know, you're a good friend. Lucky to have. Dink, this is Lost Lake. You out there? 
Uh, hey, Ricky. I've been looking for you. Finally got power back on to most of the camp, including my cabin. Great. Hey, I'm a... I even found an old water heater that works. Guess I'm gonna get my hot shower, yeah? Great. Great. Hey, where are you? Look, uh, Schizo and I, we're, we're gonna get the debt cord for those explosives, you know, we're gonna seal the caves, remember? Yeah, but where? The only place around here with debt cord is... Uh, Ricky, hey, you're cutting out. I can't hear you. I'll talk to you just as soon as we get back. Hey, what are you doing? What we're gonna do is go in through their goddamn back door. On foot? You never told me we were going on foot. Remember what happened the last time you took your noisy ass bike in there? Good point. Hey, they never even see us. So, uh, Iron Mike said that he sent you to parlay with Carlos? Wait, the old man told you that? Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Okay. I guess there's no harm in you being in the know, seeing as how you and your bro are part of the camp now. Oh, it must have gone well, seeing as how we're just going in through what? What'd you call it? Their goddamn back door? The meet and greet? Oh, yeah, it went swell. Like trying to negotiate with a barrel of monkeys all whacked out on PCP. But you know what? Long as we don't get caught tonight, the old man's treaty might just hold after all. Even though Boozer and I just had a run-in with them at Rogue Camp. Hey, Carlos said there was a mistake. Some rogue rippers. Get it? <laughs> anyway, he said it wouldn't happen again. And you believe him? <laughs> what the hell do I know? I'm just one of Mike's flunkies. Same as you. <clears throat> Shit. You hear that? Yeah, wolves. You think they're infected? Guess we're gonna find out. How'd you get through before? Yeah, there used to be a, an old wooden ladder left by miners or spelunkers or some shit. Come on, over here, boost me up. You ready? Yeah. Go. <laughs> Got it. Look around down there. See if the ladder's there somewhere. I'll take a look up here. Okay, hurry it up. We gotta be in and out of Ripper territory before it gets light. Yeah? Tell me something I don't know. <laughs> Wolves! Look out! I got him! Schizo. Schizo, where the hell are you? Hold on, hold on, I got it. Watch your head. Got it. I found a map in Mike's papers, showing some of these old Forest Service trails. I'm sure Iron Mike loves you rifling through his shit. What the old man doesn't know won't hurt him. Sure. Anyways, you can see the trail's in bad shape. It was marked on the map as closed. Ripper bonfire. You ever seen one before? No. 
They call it a gathering. Heard they do all kind of messed up crap. <laughs> Let's go around. I don't want any part of that. How about that? I want to see it. What? You got a death wish? Not anymore. Look, I just, I want to see for myself what these assholes go through, you know, rest in peace, get low, all that shit. Okay, okay, but you stick with me. We get separated, and we're in deep shit. <laughs> Following you. like that. And me either. That's why we gotta keep our heads down. We get caught out here. There ain't enough bullets to take them down. I hear ya. Sure, this is the right way. Yeah? Why? I used to ride through here back in the day. What? My old lady used to work out here. There was a research lab east of Iron Butte Lodge. Anyway, I'd ride out here. I swear the transportation complex is back that way. Let's just keep going. You'll see. It's this way. Air horns to attract freaks. Come on. Give me a second, give me a second. Oh, Jesus. Somebody! Someone, please! Come on. Please, Come help on, we gotta me. go. No, 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 we're not leaving her to the freaks. What? No. This is a we are not leaving This her. is not why we are here. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. 
It's fine. It's okay. It's okay. Just drop it, Schizo. We've all had to do. Drop it. Shit, fucking crazy. You ever seen their leader, Carlos? No. He looks crazier than any of them. Got scars all over his back, arms, legs. And that's what I keep telling Mike. You can't have a treaty with crazy people. I told you, Schizo, I'm not going against Iron Mike. Come on. There's gotta be another way in. Hey, hold up. Let's take a look around. What are you talking about? Well, we have no idea what's in there, so let's look around. See if we can scavenge anything. Yeah, yeah, okay, sure. Why not? Take a look around and uh, see if you can find anything. What do you think? Try this door? Slow down. You don't know what's in there. This time of night, it'll be clear. Don't worry. I never saw it. It was on me so fast. Yeah, that can happen. Yes. Hey, Deke. I owe you one. I mean it. Ah, uh, forget it. Let's just go get the dead cord and get the hell out of here. Here, help me. We can get in through here. Oh, I don't know, man. Come on. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> Are we still going in there? We got a choice. You ready? Pull. You get under, I'll hold it. No, 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 you go. I got it. Go, go, go. go. Okay. Hey, hold it for me! Ah, oh, shit. God damn it! Oh, yeah, it's jammed. Pull! Uh, yes, yeah, jammed! Okay. No, that's all right. All right, uh, go around. I'll find a way to open the side door from here. Here. Deke? Deke! Deke! Some of this! Like that! 
Yeah, not bad. What the hell? I got locked inside a warehouse with a bunch of pissed off newts. What do you think's going on? Got it. Here, here, the door's unlocked. Jesus. You okay? Yeah, just a little newt, right? Come on. Yeah, let's just uh, find the dead cords. What do you think? Foreman's office is up there. That's where they'd keep it. Oh, uh, great. How are we gonna get up there? Ah, uh, come on. I'll give you a boost. <laughs> wait, wait. You just want me to go first in case there's something up there. Oh, you got me. Now, come on. Yeah, okay. All right, you ready? Yeah. Up, okay, up. Oh my God. Okay, I'm up. Give me a sec. Find something I can use to climb up. Here, watch your head. That did it. Hey, this has got to be it. <laughs> Bingo. Here, hold this open while I grab it. Why don't I just grab it while you still won't trust me? As a matter of fact, I do. Come on, let's get the hell out of here. Schizo, I, uh, I just want to say thank you. Nah, nah, man. For coming out here with me, <clears throat> helping out. Jesus, just... Uh... Nah, I mean it. I mean, we weren't exactly welcome at Lost Lake. Just drop it, okay? Because once we get back to camp, why don't you look? What are you doing? Sorry, the only way. Do you know who I am? No. I thought rivers don't have names. We are on the path. My followers. My followers have all given up their names. Except for me. For now. Uh huh. Carlos. I kept my name, and I kept my memories of how you and Boozer and Jersey Jim held me down. What, well, Jack? Took a torch to my back. Jesse, that was a long time ago. We didn't really oh, know. Oh. oh, yeah. I 
I remember screaming, it's okay. I also remember something else I learned that day, something important. Everything about you, everything that makes you who you are. Oh, it can be burned away. <laughs> Until nothing remains but your name. That's what the freaks are, you know. I learned that too. That's why we need to be just like them. Okay. If we're gonna do this, you're gonna talk me to death. Oh. We are gonna do this. Deacon St. John. We are not gonna do this alone, no, are we? No! No, you! Without booze, are we? We gotta finish this together, the three of us. Oh, yeah. One down. And what? About a dozen to go. Maybe more. What are the odds? The three of us, you, me, Boozer, still alive, brought together here at the end of the world. What the fuck have you done to Boozer? Oh, he's not here yet. But he will be, soon enough. <clears throat> you. I saw them bring you in. No. That's not my name. I'm on the path. I don't have a name anymore. None of us do. Everyone I ever cared about is dead. Lisa. Do you know why we want to be like them? Like the freaks? No. It's because they don't remember what they've lost. Who they've lost. Lisa. She's gone. The pain will set you free. Your body. We can raise the sex to you in the real emptiness. Feel the emptiness in the scars. Take on the way from leave you with one mind. Yeah. Find out where they're keeping my shit. That did it. Bonfire, where the hell's a bonfire? It's a bonfire, it can't be hard to miss.
This is it. This has got to be it. Bingo. I'll take that. Got a question for you. What's the deal? Huh? You just drag people in here, fuck with them, steal their shit. And then what, take it all and throw in the bonfire out there? Is that the idea? Jesus Christ. Oh, hello. Yeah. Got another question for you. Where's my cut? What? My cut, my leather jacket, my fucking leather jacket. Who took it? Don't? No. Okay. Wait, 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 he just left. He just took it and left not long ago. Join us, brother. Do me a favor. Take that shit off. We will cut away your soul! Thanks. Get low, asshole. Listen to me. Okay. They know you freed me. It's not safe here. So come on. Come no. on. Fine. Don't come with me, but you can't stay here. You have to run because they will kill you. Do you understand me? Yeah. Go! you can. Stay off the roads. Keep moving no matter what. Go. Boozer, you there? Boozer, if you can hear me. Look, it's Schizo. He sold me out. The Rippers. Boozer, they're coming. Worn Iron Mike.
Gizzo, get the drug out of you. Need that? Should have done more than burn your tad off, Jesse. Should have slit your goddamn throat. Almost there. Boozer. Lost Lake Camp, come in. Skizzo's on his way. With rippers, do you read me? Does anybody read me? Lost Lake. Damn it! There. Ah, Boozer. Are you there? Ricky, Lost Lake Camp. Is anyone there? Yeah, it's me. Wait, hold on. Deacon, Mike sent riders to find you. Ricky, the Rippers are after Boozer. Deke? No, 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 no. Hey, hey, don't shoot. It's Deacon. My Mike sent us to find you. Rippers! The Keep law. going. I'm keeping off you. We need to get back to the camp. Don't worry, I got this. We gotta stop him. Ride to the east gate. You got that? The main bridge. I'm gonna split off here. I'm gonna go in on the footbridge across the marsh. You see Boozer, you tell him the Rippers are there for him. You got it? Copy that. Hey, St. John. Good luck, Deke. You too. And if you see Schizo, you kill that son of a bitch. Now listen, listen, look at me, look at me. I'm looking for Boozer and Schizo. Do you know them? Do you know where they are? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, everything just, just happened so, so fast. They, they, were, they were everywhere. They, the Rippers, they were all over the, the camp and they were huh? torturing us. They, yeah. they took me. They, they took Chad and Eric and Slim. Hey, listen, what's your name? Nicole. Nicole, do you know how to use a gun? Yeah. Good. Yeah. Okay. You see that tower up there? I want you to go up there. I want you to lay down. If any rippers come through here, you blow their goddamn heads off. I'm gonna go find your friends. Okay? Go. Oh.
these assholes kill anymore. Rest in peace. That did it. Right? All right, listen to me. Head west to the footbridge. She's up in the watchtower. You go there, you help her. No, I don't want any more rippers coming in through the marsh. You got it? You're a godsend. I was praying so hard. Good. Then go. Go! All right, Nicole. I did my part. Now you do yours. Let her go. Please, don't. You're all lost. Lost! No, 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 no. Put your weapons down! Cease fire! Cease fire! You can put your weapons I thought we were going to stay inside. I, I heard someone yelling. I just, I just couldn't let him die. Wait, 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 wait. Hold up, hold up. What the hell was that? It's over. Yeah, Iron Mike negotiated a ceasefire. Wait, what? What the hell is going on? Let's go find out. Are you okay? Come on. I'm sorry. About everything. Oh, God, me too. Mike, this is all just a big misunderstanding. They only want- You attacked my camp. Murdered my people. You call that a misunderstanding? You broke our treaty. You come onto our land. You we steal our supplies. You attack you, you attack my son people. Of a bitch. Mike, listen to me. I made a deal. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa! Uh, get down. low, brother. Down. Get low. Hold. Hi, right, Skizzo. I'd like to hear about that deal. God damn it! Just wait. Why don't you tell him? Wait. Tell him how you sold us out to them. Uh, what the hell do you want me to Oh, freaking goddammit, Skizzle. Why don't you tell him or I'm gonna cut your throat? Okay. Okay! I made a deal with Carlos. Okay? Mike? But it wasn't. It wasn't to sell out the camp. I swear. It was just them, the two of them, him and Boozer. That's all that he wants, just them. Yeah, how's that deal working out for you? I did it to save the camp, Mike. I did it to fix shit, to restore the treaty he broke. Mike. Deke, it's good to see you breathing, but let him go. What? Deke. What? <laughs> Okay. Okay, so... Is what he says true? About you making a deal? Only lost ten lies. Yeah. It's true. Okay. So we give you Deke. William. Biker boats, whatever the fuck you want to call them. 
But you leave Lost Lake alone. You will rest in peace. You have my word. And that's something, isn't it? Your word. Grand fucking Poobah, the R.I.P. Hey, hey, we come here under a flag of truce. Truce my ass! This is my camp. My people. You don't come here with some blood-stained flag of truce and demand shit! Right. Not from me! Now, I don't care what you think these boys have done. I don't care why you want them. All I know is you're not getting them. We had a deal. No, this is the deal, Carlos. And it's the only one you're getting. Now you take your people, and you get the hell out of Lost Lake. The hell out of here. Or we all die together. Right here. Right now. Shit, man. Die. Our treaty stands. Always has. From where I'm standing. You son of a bitch! Who's there? All right. Escort them out of my fucking camp. Hey, uh, we ain't through, Carlos. Get low, brother. Deke, <laughs> stand aside. Stand aside! I just want to say... Take him to lockup. Oh, fuck that, we'll take care. Get off him! I keep trying to tell you boys something. And you won't listen. This is not how we do things around here. We do not barter with lives, and we do not murder people in cold blood. Get him out of here. <clears throat> Get off me. We're gonna give him a fair trial. Like civilized people. And he's gonna get what's coming to him. I'm not sorry, Mike. I'm not. God damn it, I tried. I tried to save his camp. The Rippers won't stop. Carlos is not gonna stop. You hear me? They won't stop! You know who that was? Jesse. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess being a cult leader at the end of the world wasn't enough to keep him busy. He was after some payback as well. That motherfucking son of a bitch. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm guessing he's known about us for quite some time. That night at Crazy Willie's, that wasn't some random ripper attack. And just because it was going to sell us out to him? Where'd they take him? I'm going to find him and break his fucking oh, neck. Hold up, please, Schizo, for right now. Get your gear together. Some Molotovs, all the ammunition you can carry. But what are you thinking? And I already know it's a bad idea. Yeah, it's a bad idea. idea, but we're going to do it anyway. I need to go and get the explosives from the lodge and the deck corp from Schizo's cabin. Meet me at the bridge. I'll explain on the way. Hey, you good with this, brother? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Deke, you there? Deacon, come in. Yeah, Ricky, I'm here. Hey, listen, I don't have time. What the hell happened? I just saw them locking Schizo up and I... Yeah? Good. Now I don't have time to talk. And Carlos and all the Rippers just rode out after everything they did. Yeah? Okay, great. Talk to Iron Mike about that bullshit. I will, but I need to talk to you. I don't want you doing anything. Look, Ricky, you are talking to me. Face to face, Deke. It's important. It's always important. Ricky, look, I gotta go. Deacon, wait! <laughs> Sorry, Ricky, we're gonna talk again. Now I just gotta get this back to my cabin with no one seeing me.
wonder about the freaker sometimes, you know? Deke, <laughs> how's my favorite bounty hunter? How's life treating you, Blair? <laughs> yep. I don't know. I hope not. Good one. Hmm, that should work. Okay. Hey, Deke. Um, you be careful out there. I gotta get the debt cord. Schizo's cabin. Let's see what you got, Schizo, old buddy. What's up with you? Schizo graduated with a... How do I ever trust this asshole? Because it won't be needing this. Oh. Mm. I can't do this anymore. It's okay, I'm fine. What's going on? I'm a goddamn veterinarian. I went to school to cure colic and heaves and hoof diseases. Does this look like a fucking hoof to you? Addie, no, Addie. you saw what happened to Boozer. I can't do this. Hey, shh. There's Addie. so many wounded. Addie. And so many die. Addie. Deacon, I am not a doctor. Okay, maybe not. But you're all we've got. So Eddie's not a doctor, huh? Okay, so you're not a doctor and you still saved Boozer's life. That's gotta count for something. Hey, Deke. So I wanna go check on the explosives to make sure, you know, the Rippers didn't steal them and then I went to Schizo's cabin to check on the deck cords, but I should have just come straight here and saved some time. Get the hell out of here, Ricky. Guess we can go blow up that cave, right? I'll come with you. <sighs> when I was a kid, my dad found a rat's nest underneath one of our sheds. You want to know what he did? Can't even guess. Well, I waited till morning. They'd all be asleep. He laid a piece of plywood over the hole and told me to go get the garden hose. And he said to me, I never forget what he said to me. He said the best way to kill a rat's nest is to drown him. You can blow up the reservoir above the camp? Oh, that's an idea. Deacon, you can't. They want to rest in De peace, I'm going to help them out. Deacon, you can't do that. Why is that? Because of Iron Mike? Because of some fucking treaty? You know, I want to cut Schizo's throat, but he's right about one thing. Carlos ain't going to stop. Rippers ain't going to stop. And you know it. Are you sure this isn't personal? Fuck yeah, it's personal. Boozer, I'm heading to the gate. You ready? Way ahead of you, brother. 
Okay, I'm almost there. Nice rifle. Oh, yeah, a little present from Schizo. Remind me to be there when you give it back to him. You'll be there. <laughs> Goddamn schizo. So what are we gonna do with the bastard? I mean, we're not letting Iron Mike put him on trial, are we? No, we're not. All right, so what's the plan? I know the area pretty well. Sarah, uh, she worked out of a lab south of Iron Butte Ranch. I used to ride out there, pick her up for lunch. Taught her to ride on some of those back roads. Jesse... Carlos, whatever the hell he's calling himself. He's taken over the old golf course and resort. Just south of the lodge is the Crescent Lake Reservoir. Now we blow that dam, that lake's gonna flood down into the valley and it's gonna drown them all, like rats. Okay, but isn't the lodge up on a hill? Yeah, yeah, flood probably won't do much to it, but it'll do enough damage to the rest of the river compound to take out most of his men. Uh, and if Jesse survives, you won't see us coming. You got it. Now we just gotta figure out how to get into the Iron Butte Valley without being seen, yeah? I'll get us there. You just hang on. Okay. Uh, I've been better. All right, come on. We gotta finish this. Right behind you. south from here. Following you.
this easy. Nope. Okay. Hey, what are you doing? Figured I'd take this bag of explosives down there and ask them if they didn't mind us, you know, blowing them the fuck up. Boozer. Look, you stay up here with Skizzo's rifle and keep them off me while I set the charges. Oh, hold, hold on. Look, I got this. I'm not much good in a firefight, but I can plant these charges. I've set demo charges before, Boozer, in Afghanistan. I know exactly where to put them. Good. Tell me where to go when I'm down there. We doing this? Yeah. All right. Okay, I'm gonna be up in this tower. Should give me a good view of the entire dam. I'll wait here until you get up there. Stay low, move fast. You got it, brother. Who's it? Oh, never mind. Go, go. What, where do I set the first charge? You see the second set of scaffolding on top of the dam? Okay. Uh, Heading there now. All right. I'm setting the first charge. Nice job, booze man. Keep going. Rippers, coming. Uh, nice job. I thought that was gonna be close. Keep going, boozer. Come on, come on. And I'm setting the second charge. See him. He called it the pen stock, the big pipe, the base of the dam. Ah, got it. I'm heading there now. All right. Third charge. In position. Just uh, move your ass. Okay, you try doing this with one hand and a blade. Hey, come on, man. Sometimes I wish I had a blade hand. See? Easy as hell. Kinda busy here. Got him? Uh, what? Get it done. Fourth charge. Alright, that's the last of them. Run, Boozer! I'm going as fast as I can! Okay? Uh, yeah. 
Yeah, I think so. Unless, wait a minute, was this already? <laughs> <laughs> well, that never gets old, does it? <sighs> Uh, let's go find Josie. Brother, you, uh, you did a hell of a job back there. Yeah? I thought I was done for a couple of times. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. What the hell are you talking about? This is the most alive I've felt since... Ah, uh, shit. You remember when we got trapped by that horde in Tumalo? We ain't done yet. How many do you think we killed? I don't know. They had it coming, right? Yeah, they had it coming. Guess we all did. All right, looks like we go in on foot from here. You want to stay? Keep any stray rippers from ripping off my bike? Yeah, I don't think we need to worry about that. And fuck that. This? This is on Jesse. You wanted some payback? I'll show him some fucking payback. Come on, let's head to the lodge. Like I said, right behind you. Jesus. This must be what it looked like after Noah's flood. Came in. Washed away all the wicked. Yeah, except God had nothing to do with this one. Yeah. You get my point. Ah, oh, shit. More rippers. How the hell did they survive? Oh, they did. They just don't know it yet. Oh, come on, you sons of bitches! Come on! Oh yeah, that's a breaker. Come on! The hell! The hell! Cover me! This will help. You're 
ready to find Jesse. Oh, yeah. It's time to finish what we started. Hey, these guys seem more jacked up than usual. Oh, yeah. They must have snorted up the rest of whatever the hell drug they take. There's no way you're getting out there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Damn it. Here. No. I'll boost you up. Okay, listen. If something happens to me, there's a trail not far from here. No, 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 no. Listen, that is not Carlos up there, okay? Not this founder, rest in peace. It's fucking Jesse Williamson. Fucking low-life piece of shit scumbag who got what was coming to him. All right. Now you fucking go up there and kill that son of a bitch. It was good being out in this shit again, you know. I gotta say, shoveling shit and you know, pulling weeds. I don't know, maybe it isn't such a bad way to spend the day. Yeah. Wow. With Jesse gone, how many do you think are left? People that we knew from before, I mean. No one. Boo, so there's no one left. Shut. Sorry. Uh. Yeah. Me too. Come on, let's get the yeah, fuck out of here. Well, like I said, I... I know we haven't talked in a few years. I... Guess I disfigured with my Elizabeth being there with you and all. It probably wasn't much point in me yammering away at you. Oh, and then, and what with all hell breaking loose, I, I thought maybe you weren't there, or you just didn't give a shit. Pardon my language. I guess that's why I'm here. See, I still don't know. I hope you're there. I hope there's some reason for all this shit we're living through. That's all. We'll, we'll, we'll talk again some other time. Oh, um, amen.
Deke? Uh, <clears throat> yeah, Ricky told me that I could find you here. Oh! Ah, uh, it's just these knees of mine, you know. It's reason I haven't been praying all these years. Yeah, I'm not a... I'm not a church-going type. Even after living through that shitstorm in Sherman's camp. But now, after all this, I just thought, hell, I... Maybe it, now it's the time. I, uh... I didn't have a choice, Mike. Oh, everybody's got a choice, Deke. Until they're dead. It's either us or them. It's always us or them. Always. You know the reason we're going to hell? Is we can't figure out that us is every goddamn soul that ain't walking around in shit-stained pants trying to eat us! All right, you know what? You may not like it, but the world is what it is. Yeah, it is. Praying ain't gonna change that. Wishing that it was something else ain't gonna make it that way, Mike. Wish it ain't got anything to do with it. We make the world what it is by what we do. All of us. I let him go. Schizo. Ain't no way he was getting a fair trial. You let him go. Told him to ride out, not come back. <sighs> Jesus Christ, Mike, do you have any idea what the fuck you've done? Yeah. I stopped another killing. And you know what? I guess I'm good with that. Can I help you? No, this is your clutch. I know where the clutch is. Right, do you want me to show you how to do this or not? Yes, but I know where the clutch is. Okay, fine. All right, you do it yourself, okay? Fine. Hey, hey, hey! What are you doing? You can't park here. Uh, I'm just here to pick it's up private Sarah property. We're... Now turn around, get the hell out of here. Come on. Okay. Move it. Yep. Uh, uh, okay, uh, you know what, though? I think I'm just gonna wait right here. You can go back to doing your guard the cornfields thing. This is Officer Moore at the gate. We got an issue here. <laughs> hey, listen, asshole, this is a restricted area. I told you, get the hell out of here. Okay. Hey, hey, you just wait right there. I told you. Move it. It's like I was trying to say, I'm just here you to pick up... Did you not see that sign? Oh, look at that. That's kind of hard to miss. I'm authorized to use deadly force. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Hey, whoa, hey, whoa, 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 what's going on? <laughs> I'm sorry, Miss Whitaker. It's, it's what, fine, I, Jim. Do you know this asshole? Yeah, he's with me. 
He's with me. Sorry, ma'am. I, I on, didn't know go. that. It's fine. Honestly, I apologize. Shh. Oh, and Jim. Deacon. I'm not with her. She's with me. Hold on tight. Why do you always do that? Do what? Act like such a dick. Oh, come on. He started it. What are you, five? Hey, watch the clutch. Remember, you gotta give it enough gas, rev up the RPMs. I got this. Yeah, I can hear. Where are we headed? Over to the dam. That's a nice, quiet road, right? Were you driving? No. Are we still going out tonight? You said something might come up. Oh, uh, crap, yeah. Uh... Boozer and the boys want to drive down to Klamath State, visit Jack. So you're gonna blow me off to go see some guy in prison? Jack's not some guy. I know, I know. I was kidding. Every time I'm on a bike with you, some idiot in a truck tries to run us off the road. Oh, my God. No, no, no. Listen, listen, listen. You did great. You did great. Uh, most people, they would have panicked. They would have oversteered, and that would have gotten us killed. I almost did get us killed. I was... <sighs> no, no. I wasn't paying attention, and I was distracted. Hey, it's okay. It's okay. Just breathe. You're okay. Wait a second. What did, what did you mean, distracted? No, it's just stuff going on at work. It's nothing. I just... Oh. Okay. Oh. I just thought maybe you uh, saw my new patch. Here we no. No, Matt? Wait, you, you quit the club? No, I didn't quit the club. I would never quit the club. Uh, uh, nomad, what it means is, um, well, I'll be less involved from now on. Deke, I didn't ask you to do that. Oh, I know, I know, and if you had, I would have said no. <laughs> you ready to try this again? Yeah, I mean, no, but yeah, I will. Thank you for saving my life. <laughs> well, you know, I do what I can. Hey, hey, the clutch, the clutch. I know what the clutch is. Okay, no, no, the... Deacon. So, uh, do you think your parents are gonna come? To the wedding? I don't know. I mean, you know, I, I thought if I stepped back from the MC that, uh... I don't think it's gonna matter to them, Deacon. But you're gonna, you're gonna at least tell them. Yeah, if you want me to. Look, it's just... I'm not going to change who I am and who you are to make my uptight, middle-class parents happy. Okay. Look out! I see them. Hey, are they, are they headed to your work? Oh, shit. What about the MC? Are any of them coming now that you've gone nomad? Oh, uh, I don't know. Uh... It's probably been a while since any of them set foot in a chapel, uh, and you really want 27 Harleys rolling up in that little church in Marion Forks? Yeah. You know what? As a matter of fact, I do. Uh, okay. What's going on? Uh, I don't know. Miss Whitaker. Yeah. She's been trying to get a hold of you. Says it's urgent. It's always urgent. Let him know I'll be right there. Okay. I gotta go. Hey, hey. <sighs> Sorry. It's fine. It's probably just a fire alarm or something small. Okay. How come dead? <clears throat> Love you. Um, just call me later. Look, 
Addy, I'm sorry. Whatever. Addy. Whatever, Ricky. I'm sorry. God damn. Clearance. Clearance. Uh, O'Brien, this is St. John. Come back. O'Brien, this is St. Just answer your goddamn radio! St. John, didn't think I'd hear from you again. Yeah, neither did I. All right, listen, that night you bugged out. You told me that you didn't take any civilians. You just took uh, Nero personnel, feds, people with clearance. I told you there was Shut up, shut up, do. shut up. Listen to me. Sarah, my wife, she had clearance. She had her ID badge with her the night that I put her on your chopper. I so don't think that just do me a favor, look it up. Sarah Irene Whitaker. She worked at Cloverdale. She had federal clearance. She was doing, uh, I don't know, research pharmaceutical. I don't know what she, the hell she was okay, doing. Just okay. do me. I'll see what I can find. Okay, great. O'Brien, remember, you owe me. Yeah, yeah. O'Brien out. I wonder about the freakers sometimes, you know? Like, do they feel pain? Anything? Hell, I don't know. Oh, Deacon! Hey, I heard. You know? I mean, what you did for us. How you... The Rippers. All of them. I just... I know you had to do it. What else was gonna stop them, you know? Yeah, look, Blair, I'm not proud of what I had to do. You know that, right? I mean, it had... It, we had to... <laughs> look, they were coming. Yeah, yeah, I know. You don't have to explain anything to me. I was here when they attacked, remember? I... I don't know. I guess I'm just tired, you know? Yeah, I know. Okay. Hey, come around more often. We miss you. Good to see you, Deke. This thing is... Buzz, how's a camper's life? You can never go wrong with a tuna. Okay. I'm here if you need me, man. I used to be a cop, believe it or not. That yeah. well? Let me open the gate. St. John, this is O'Brien. O'Brien, what do you got? I need to see you in person. Oh, Jesus, O'Brien. Just, would you tell me what you found? Is, is she... Is she alive or isn't she? I have something to give you. O'Brien? I've transmitted the coordinates. Meet me there. O'Brien out. O'Brien. Oh, God damn it. Deep. Iron Mike's looking for you. He said. Booze man, listen. Just uh, tell him I'll be back. I gotta. You remember what I told you? Um, the night that Sarah died, Nero, they bugged out. They only took their own people, feds and people who had federal clearance levels. Wait, Deep, what the hell are you talking about? Look, it's probably nothing, but there's something I gotta do. Deacon out. Information? What information? What could you possibly have left to say that I would give a damn about that? Yeah, yeah, booze man, what's up? Just wanted to say thanks for the dog. It's no worries, brother. I mean, it, it followed me. You know, it wouldn't leave me alone. What was I supposed to do? Hey, get down. Hey. Yeah, sure. Hey, uh, Jack. <laughs> yeah, Jack would have loved that. Deer crossing, you know, there was a time where that was a bad idea, and you know what? It still is. Deke, this is Tucker. You out there? 
Uh, Tuck, yeah, I'm here, and I'm guessing you got another job for me. So, okay, I'll stop by, peeking out. Ricky, hey, um, okay, yeah, I'll check in, peeking out. So what the hell? I managed to recruit a few guys who I trust to let me aren't happy with what's going on. So why am I here? I wanted to give you this. You were right about your wife. Where did you get this? When Silver Lake evacuated, they took Nero personnel, federal officials, and well, Sarah Irene Whitaker had a class four federal clearance level. Clearance level. Her wife bugged out with a recon unit, east of Fort Roth. Take me there. No. No? Well, you got a ride. We're all friends now. The base is gone. What? A year ago. Local militia group. Militia group? Where's their camp? We don't know. How the hell can you not know? You got a helicopter, you got satellites. Somewhere around Crater Lake, but it's a no-fly zone, okay? They got outposts, rockets, RPGs. Crater Lake. Crater Lake. Oh, I want to tell you about the work we're doing. Studying the infected, the freaks. They're evolving. As bad as things are right now. They're gonna get worse. A lot worse. Boozer! Booze man, come back! Yeah, Dean. Hey, listen, listen to me. Uh, a year ago, we were with Iron Mike. We were thinking about riding south, but the Santium Pass was blocked. There was no way through, and he said that he knew another way. Dean, Iron Mike, he's, he's not too happy with this right now. Just listen to me, just listen to me. Do you remember what he said? Iron Mike? Yeah, he was, he was bragging about knowing every goat trail in 100 miles, said there was a... Uh... Tielsen! Tielsen! Pass it! Tielsen! Pass! Yeah. Why the hell are you... Shit. You've talked to him. She's alive. Sarah's alive? Nick. Hey, listen to me. O'Brien. They, uh... Boozer, he found her ID patch. Yeah. Boozer, uh... I, I think that she's alive. I don't know, uh, but God, if there's even a chance that she's alive, I, I gotta find her. that didn't exist. And global warming? Just a bunch of lying scientists, well in the pockets of those gunning to profit off of all the doom and gloom. When you think about it, all of this, just another way to build unrest in the people. If we're too busy arguing about polar ice caps and 
genetically altered food and jihad, then we're blind to what's really going on behind the curtain. Don't be fooled by all their misdirection, folks. They point one way, you look straight at them. All right, this let's see what the old man's going to say. We were Don't last believe the lies. So your sage advice, Cope, is to assume that everyone's just lying their asses off. Is that about it? So... Yeah, oh, that's, that's, that is about it. That's pretty good advice. It's a little late, but it's good advice. They worship freaks. You believe that? They worship them. Like they've been wrapped. You know a way over the Tielson Pass. You told me once that I... I'd... told you nothing. Go on, oh, I can't on. help you, Deke. Just draw me a goddamn map. After everything you've done! After everything that I've... What about what you've done, old man? Huh? Sherman's you camp, the things that you, you get did... Out of here. You get out here! You leave me! Listen to me! What if? You could take it all back, huh? What if you could fix it? The fact that I put Sarah on a chopper, I felt relieved. How fucked up is that? Uh, I was relieved. Mike, that's what I've been living with. And now you're chasing ghosts. You think finding your old lady, if she's alive, you think that's gonna fix it? Make you whole? I don't know, but I gotta try. <sighs> All right. If I do this, what you want, show you the way over the pass. You don't come back. All right, you promised me you don't come back. I got gotcha. you. <sighs> Shit, now I gotta talk to Boozer. Out in the shit a few months back, we saw a bunch of some freaks. Some kind of damn. Bullshit down there, taking the fight to the goddamn freakers. While well, we're up here pissing our pants about a bunch of rippers. Okay, so what do you want to do? Holy Who's shit! Are right? I. Uh huh. Last winter, we were up on Farewell Ridge. We were watching the freaks. Thousands, thousands of them. I mean, too many to count. Yeah, I remember. All I could think was, every one of us, man, woman, and child, are now homeless. A bunch of goddamn refugees. Yeah. Will belongs to them now. We'll survive. <laughs> yeah, we've been doing that all right. Surviving. Isn't living. <laughs> Something Jack used to say. Doesn't matter when you hit the road where you're heading out to, but you damn well better know where you're coming home to. You know, we never talked about it. While we still wore the colors all this time out in the freak show and shit like this didn't matter anymore. Yeah, yeah but I think. Last two Mongols on Earth, farewell originals. Uh, the biker boys, most badass drifters on the broken road. Damn straight. Yeah, I guess we did become sort of a brand. Yeah. We were a lot of things, but we were never a brand. <laughs> <laughs> when we rode out of farewell without Sarah, without Jack or anyone. I knew that we were leaving everything behind everything that mattered was gone said this you're a nomad again huh yep i guess i am Come 
on, Jack. Inside, let's go. If she's out there, you can find her. Deke, you ready? Yeah, Mike, I'm ready. Meet me at the gate. Don't keep me waiting. Yeah, sure, Mike, whatever you say. Hey. Hey, Big Mike is taking you over the pass? Yep. You really think she's still alive? Billions of people are dead, but somehow she made it. Hey, we made it, didn't we? If I give up now, if I don't... If I don't do this... Now then I'm just gonna end up like, uh... Like us. Right? Like Iron Mike, like Boozer? What'd you call us campers, yeah? You go, and you find your woman. You know where to find me. And you know what? You know what I think, Deacon? I think that you're you're afraid to be here. You're afraid to be a part of something. We need you here, and that scares the hell out of you. I'm sorry. <sighs> yeah, me too. You ready? Yeah, I want to get the hell out of here. Come on, this way. Okay, I'm following you. Jack out fishing once, before, you know. No oh, shit. I got one. Didn't know what the hell to do with it. <laughs> that sounds like Jack. Oh, he ran a pretty tight club. Where you boys raised some hell back in the day. But I don't think you murdered anyone. Not in cold blood. It's not murder if they shoot at you first. How many tourists we used to get through here come summer? A few. Thousands. Too many to count. Highway be bumper to bumper with SUVs and campers chock full of sunburned moms, beer chugging dads, and their snot nosed kids. Goddamn rainbow of floppy hats, Hawaiian shirts, and flippy flops. All summer long they come. A trail of colorful ants from LA to farewell to here, nonstop. I'm glad I avoided road trips out here that time of year.
was the help. I don't have a choice, Mike. Fair enough. Come on, just follow me. <sighs> yeah, okay. This is as far as I go. Keep following the trail. It'll take you down the mountain, on into the diamond-like valley. I wish you luck. Hope you're right about your old lady still being alive. She is. Well, maybe so. But you gotta ask yourself, Deke. What does it matter if everyone else is dead? If you're out there, I'll find you.
Oh. <laughs> you. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. I don't know what we would have done without you, man. Oh, come on. Hey, okay, all right, all right, all right. It's dead. It's cool. Man of the hour. Oh, God. I'm Russell. Glenn Russell. This is Private Mullins. Rick. Hey, Rick. Uh, I'm Deacon St. John. Did, did you say private? Yeah. Yes, sir. The Shoots County Militia. You're not from around here. You come over the pass? Uh, no, no, no. I've just been uh, drifting. I came over the uh, salt flats east of Silver Lake. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the hell are you doing out here, man? How'd you get across the 97? Whoa, 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 whoa. Jesus, man. What? This guy just saved your freaking life. The colonel told us to look out for anybody entering the territory, north or south. <laughs> freaking slow your roll, man. We'll let the captain deal with that, okay? Fine. He just killed a freaking ranger, dude. Come with us. We got a camp just by Diamond Lake. Get you three hots and a cot. Least we can do. Okay, yeah, sounds good. What about Flores? We can't just leave him here. Uh, you stay here. I'll come back with some fuel. No! Listen, stay here. Use his ammo if you gotta. You'll be fine. Okay? Following you. You gotta stick with me, okay? We've been having some trouble with squatters out here the past few weeks. The patrol picks you up, could be trouble. Okay, got it. So, uh, the shoots county militia? Look, man, all I know is they beat me. They want me to salute and yes, sir, I salute and say yes, sir. How big's your outfit? The camp out here? We got a hundred, maybe more. Hard to keep track. Back at HQ, a whole lot more than that. Yeah, okay. Uh, any women? Hell, that what you're about? Well, you can forget it. Colonel's got rules about that. Frat, fratern, fraternity. Fraternizing! <laughs> yeah, that. Look, you pull your weight, follow orders, nobody messes with you. Women, same as the men. Don't matter to the colonel. I'm not... Uh, listen, I, I'm just... I'm looking for some people and a woman that I rode with a year back or so. They would have come over from Silver Lake, and they would have been at one of those Nero refugee camps, I think. Silver Lake? Jesus, man. Silver Lake's been gone a lot longer than that. Yeah, yeah. It's too goddamn easy to lose track of time out of here, you know? Anyway, you guys, uh... Do you pick anyone up? Survivors, I mean, from uh, from the refugee camp? Maybe. Like I said, it's a big freaking army, you know? Ask the captain. He came in across the salt flats, I think. He might know. The captain? Yeah, Corey. He commands the Diamond Lake outpost. We're almost there. This is it. It's Corporal Russell. Open up. Port. Captain, sir, we had him. We did. Found his bike still smoking. I bet you lost him, huh? Uh, no, sir. I mean, yeah, we lost him. We ran into a rager, sir. Where's Mullins? Flores? Flores is dead, sir. I'll have Mullins with a body. That'll be all, Corporal. Go get some fuel. Head back to Mullins. You know what to do. Yeah. Yes, sir. If it wasn't for this man, we'd all be dead, sir. I sort of promised him some food and a safe place to camp tonight, sir. Corporal, get the fuck out of here. And you are? Name's Deacon St. John. Name's Corey. Derek Corey. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm sorry. Um, I'm sorry, I'm a little tired. I've been on the road for a long time. Your man Russell said you were recruiting. Well, are you interested? I've been looking to settle down. Yeah, find a camp. I'm interested. Come on. So. Oh, you Hard, two, Hard to one, say. Two, uh, one, you lose track of time out oh, there, the you know? Yes, Sergeant. So, yes, Sergeant. Yes, Sergeant. Yeah. 
ammo. Well, there was a couple of camps I used to do runs for bounty hunting, mostly. Freaks or men? Both. I had a reputation for being able to track shit down, you know? Oh, which camps? Where are they? You know, past the Farewell Valley. It doesn't matter. They're gone now. They're Let's overrun. Work, uh, Russell said you were there when Silver Lake was overrun. <laughs> oh, yeah. That was a shit show, I can tell you. Uh, any survivors? A few. Here, take this. Militia script, camp credits. Payment for helping my men. Use them at any of the commissaries. Okay. You gonna join up? Stick around. We're getting ready to ride out of here soon. Getting ready to ride out where? You said you had some tracking skills. Yeah, some. This isn't the life of a drifter. We're fighting a war out here. You sure you're up for it? Is that the best you got? I can recruit you, but the colonel is the only one who can swear you in. You stick around. Give us a hand. I'll take you to him myself. I'll be here. Good. Oh, Jesus. Jesus, motherfucker has my ring. He took it from Sarah. He had to take it from Sarah because she wouldn't have given it to him. So that means that she's got to be here. He Come doesn't on. look like militia. You can run faster than that. My dead grandma can run faster than that. Hey, uh, you don't look very militia to me. No, nah, um, man, name's Wade. Wade Taylor. You can call me Wade. Deacon St. John. <laughs> Holy Listen. shit. Deacon St. John? Is your old man a preacher or something? No. Man, that is a hell of a name. All right, listen. You wait. see this, man? This is some crazy shit. Yeah. Whew. So what, you joining up, becoming an army man, uh, playing soldier and shit? I don't know, maybe. <laughs> listen, uh, you look like you just came in from out the shit, right? Yeah, man, yesterday. Okay, yesterday. I've, been, I've been waiting to see the colonel, whatever the hell that is. Traveling with some people, we got separated. You see anyone that looked like this around here? Uh, nah, man. Ooh, she is a looker. I'd hit that, you know. <laughs> Uh, I gotta go, man. They're checking me for lice or some shit. Good luck to you, Deacon St. John. Jesus, what a name. Go, Jesus, go, that dude's go. fucked up. You, you wouldn't ass. remember Sarah if she slapped him in the face. Come on, Sarah. Come on. Where the hell are you? You're here. Somewhere. Maybe in these tents. Maybe in here. No, she wouldn't be in the mechanics area. She never knew a wrench from a screwdriver. Check this one. The infirmary. I mean, with her background, that's where she would be, right? Nope, not here. You feeling any better? It's gotta be the one. Sarah? Sarah, are you in here? Ah, oh, damn it. She's not here either. Cute guys. Oh, God. I'm glad Sarah and I never had kids. Losing them must have. Yeah. Why are you not working hard? What? Here, but right, yeah, yeah, it couldn't be that easy. Not could it? St. John, are you on this channel? Corporal Russell said you had a radio. Yeah, yeah, uh, I'm here. Meet me at the gate. On my way. You're getting ready to ride out. You still coming? Ready when you are. Looks like you put a lot of work into this. Yeah, some. Open it up! Are you any good? Did you ride?
ride? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I can ride. You want to join the militia? You're gonna have to prove it to me. See if you can keep up, St. John. Back there. I mean, it looks like a forest fire, but the stumps are charred. So that means that means that the timber was cut before it was burned. You got a good eye. We call it the dead zone. We use the timber to build our barricades, then burn the slash. From the outpost, we can see a horde coming long before it reaches us. Do what? You're gonna burn all the buildings too, so the newts and the swarmers have nowhere to sleep? And you know your freaks, huh? Like I said, I've been out in the ship for a long time. So that's your plan, huh? The militia, I mean, to burn everything to the ground? We're fighting a war out here, St. John. We'll do whatever it takes to win. A war? That's what it is, isn't it? A war? You've been out in this shit. You've seen the wars. The only thing that's gonna stop them is an army. Our army. It's gonna take way more than an army. We have a plan. The colonel lets you join, we'll fill you in. So, Silver Lake, you asked about survivors. You looking for someone? No. No, not really. I mean, look, there were some folks that I rode with once, and I thought maybe they ended up there. Uh, I thought maybe you were after someone. For a bounty, I mean. Yeah, no. I tracked men over long distances before, but not this far. No bounty's worth that. Captain's here. It's done, sir. Make sure you make a marker. Yes, sir. All right. You two head back to Diamond Lake. Grab, uh, Taylor was his name? Yes, sir. Yeah. Take him to the Colonel. I'll be there in 1800. Sir? Military time, Corporal. You're supposed to know this by now. Oh, yes, sir. Get the fuck out of here. Yes, sir. You find something? Uh, how long is, uh, Vasquez? How long has Vasquez been with you guys? A couple of weeks, maybe more. <laughs> well, he's been busy. What the hell? You guys been having trouble with supply runs, marauder attacks? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna go on foot from here. On foot? Why? <laughs> because Vasquez came out here for a reason. I can't track him from the bike. God. Where do we start? It's been snowing, so uh, there won't be any boot prints. Come on, I want to look inside the cabin. Okay, I'm following you. I can use this. You, uh, <clears throat> you said he stole rations, ammo? Yes. This is an MRE. And so, looks like your men rode up on him when he wasn't expecting it. His bike's still out front, which means that he went out the back. Wait, over here. What would you find? The fence has been cut. And the rust. So it was cut recently? Yeah, come on, this way. Hey, hold on for a second. Look. Over here. Tracks? Uh, yeah. We're in luck. <sighs> this way. Wait, wait, wait. Hold up. Uh, you find something? Yeah. Shell casing. Recently fired. He, uh, well, he stopped to shoot at something. Come on. Down here. Hold up, hold up. Go on. Get out of here. What are you doing? That yelling at a the pit. Look out! Whoa. I see him. That's the last of them. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like I want to take a look at this thing. 
Looks like the MREs weren't enough for your man. Clean gunshot, right through the head. Yeah, the wolves must have heard the shot. Decided they wanted it more than Vasquez. Yeah, the rest of the pack came at us from back that way, from the east. You think they chased off Vasquez, leaving one to guard the carcass? That's my guess. Come on, let's see if you're right. You guys got a lot of wolves out here? The ones that aren't infected, I mean? Yeah, we get reports almost every day. When I was a kid, growing up, there were no wolves in Oregon. I mean, a few coyotes, but no wolves. They've been driven to extinction by ranchers and farmers, timber companies. Well, it looks like they're making a big comeback. Hold up, hold up, hold up. What is it? It's a backpack. It's one of ours. Looks like they almost got to him. And he shrugged off the pack to get away. No, no, no. To buy time. He landed on his ass. Tried to scramble away, but then the wolf lunged. Vasquez dropped him. Two shots. You can tell all that. Yeah. Wait, get down. We'll swarm. Near our gravesite. I don't think this one is marked on our map. They're scattered all over the region. Yeah, maybe that explains why uh, Vasquez came through here. Let's go around. Exactly what I was thinking. Right there with you. I gotta say, I'm getting tired of running and hiding from these sons of bitches. You ever take on a swarm? Yeah, I've done it before. You just gotta keep moving. Well, look, if you're gonna join the militia, you must stay focused on the mission. We're not out here to fight freaks. Being in the shit, killing freaks, it kinda goes hand in hand, doesn't it? Okay, um, put some distance between us and the graves. The cold weather's gonna bring out even more. I think they can smell the cold from about a mile out. Part of our slash and burn strategy is to find these grave sites, dig them up, and burn them along with everything else. Yeah, well, good luck with that. I've seen hundreds of them just in this part of the state alone. You know, we gotta start somewhere. All right, where now? Keep heading east. Hey, there's a road ahead. Hold up a second. What do you think? Is anyone else tracking them? Not that I know of. Huh. Well, then he's either dead, or he's got a lot of friends. You see how his tracks have been overridden by bikes. A lot of bikes. Hmm. Okay. Come on. Let's see where they're heading. You said cold weather brings out the freaks? Yeah, yeah. Cold, snow, rain, hell, even clouds. Well, like I said before, you know your freaks. When we get to command, there's some people who want to talk to you. People? The colonel will fill you in, if he lets you join. Yeah, yeah I think you said that already. Look, he runs a tight outfit. I just don't want you to get your hopes up. Hey, don't worry about me. I don't really give a damn either way. Vasquez is there. What would your strategy be? Well, he's not alone. We know that from the tracks. What's that militia penalty for going AWOL? Hanging by the neck until dead. Why? Well, it means Vasquez isn't coming without a fight. Your man? Yeah. That's him. Oh, looks like you guys need to start doing background checks on your recruits. He seems to be right at home. Well, let's wait here. I'll radio for backup. Get your goddamn hands off me! Oh, oh this one's a fighter, boys! What do you think? Oh, come on, 
Oh, we'll see about that. Oh, hell no. What? Uh, I just got this problem with assholes who hurt unarmed women. I'm giving you an order. Order? You see me wearing a red armband? You don't give me orders yet. You do whatever the hell you want. Shut up tight. Damn it. What the hell's wrong with you? You said you don't Windows are all bored up. Screw you. This is how it goes. Piece of shit. I'm warning you, you asshole. Hey, you're warning me? That's too goddamn funny. More men in front of you. No. I'm not laughing. Got him. Keep it up. We got him! Easy, easy. I'm not gonna. I'm just here to help. I don't need your goddamn help. Okay. I'm just gonna move over here. Stay the hell away from me! Hold on, hold on. Now, we're not with them. You think I give a damn who you are? Okay. Okay. How was that? Just your typical damsel in distress. Vasquez? Done. Way done. Captain Corey? Come in. This is Corey. We're here. Heading up the road to the main gate. Hold your position there. We're coming. What about the enemy? They've been, uh, uh neutralized. Uh, Hold your position. Curry out. Come on. We brought up your bikes, Captain. Thought we'd save you the walk back. That'll be all, Corporal. So how'd I do? Did I pass? Pass? Oh, you've been watching me all day. I figured this was what? Some kind of test. <laughs> no. Nothing quite as formal as all that. As you can see, our pool of recruits isn't what it used to be. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, you passed. 
day in a row. So, you ready to meet the colonel? <laughs> yeah, sure. Why the hell not? So, St. John, where did you serve? Before the ship went down. Then you know what an MRE looks like. You know how to recon an enemy position. You know cover in advance, tactical maneuvers. So, where did you serve? Marines? Army? I try not to talk about it, you know? I mean, first year out here, seemed like anyone who used to wear a uniform had a target on their back. I, uh, I was in the Army, 10th Mountain. I did a full tour in Afghanistan. So how about you? Anyone who's ex-military has a, a certain bearing. None of your soldiers have it, but you do. Like I said, you got a good eye. I was in the Air Force 10 years, part of SAC. There ain't no missile silos in Oregon. I was on vacation, believe it or not. I was lucky. Before SATCOM went down, I got hourly reports from across the country. You think it was bad out here? Everything east of the Mississippi was overrun within two days. Hold up. I want to show you something. So, are you familiar with this area? Yeah, I grew up in a town north from here. Uh, it's called Farewell, you know it? No. no. It sounds like a fitting place to be living at the end of the world. <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. So maybe you have been here before. Yeah, I've been here uh, a few summers back. Me and my old lady, or my wife, we stopped by here on our honeymoon. You got a pic? Oh, of your wife, I mean. <laughs> My name was Carrie. We were married 12 years when... Anyway, it was a long time ago. Hmm. You know, I, I think this might mean keep out. Huh? Oh, no, no, that doesn't apply to us. Why, because we can't read? Because we don't obey the law. <sighs> Speak for yourself. After you. All right. Uh, you know, making me a co-conspirator, not very chivalrous. Chival what? No, it means, um... Right. I never learn. I'm sorry about that. Oh my god, you should have seen the look on your face. Oh, I bet it was funny. Yeah, if I'd owned a cell phone, I'd taken a picture. Well, for just this once, I'm glad that you don't. Oh, come on, don't start on that again. Hey, I didn't say anything. You brought it up. You just did. So, where are we going? Just follow the trail. You'll see that it's not that far. <laughs> what would my mom say if she knew I was out on a midnight stroll in the middle of nowhere with an outlaw biker? Well, I don't know. She'd say, honey, you better wear your sweater. Very funny. No, she wouldn't say anything, you know? You weren't supposed to tell them about us, remember? Oh, come on, Deacon. I said that a long time ago. You know I didn't mean that. Hey, look, I'm not judging. I'm just... I mean, I, just, I haven't told my old man. That's because your father's dead. Well, yeah, I mean, there's that. The question is, have you told anyone in the MC that you're dating a nice girl from Seattle and not some bimbo from whatever strip club you guys live in. Oh, well, okay, wait a second. No, we don't live in a strip club. I mean, we have a lifetime membership there, that's true, but we don't live there. And second, uh, I did tell them. Yeah, matter of fact, I did. Wait, you, you did? <laughs> yeah. Oh, come on, don't sound so surprised. They find your PhDs to be very sexy. I bet. So, 
So, you know this is way past my bed. Oh, I know. Come on, stop. I mean, I really do have to get up early tomorrow. Yeah? Uh, how's that going? I mean, you, uh... Well, you never want to talk about it, so... It's nothing. It's just... Ugh, it's just this project. I mean, we've got these execs flying in from New York to out of our progress, and the suits at our facility are installing a new lab without even showing me the spec, and... Ooh, well, I thought you didn't want to talk about it. <laughs> Sorry, it's just... You know what, like I said, it's nothing. Anyway, thank you for dragging me away from all that. Yeah, no problem. to show me? Say what? Well, these are marijuana plants, and that's an irrigation system, so this here, this is a pot farm. Oh, hey, yeah, look at that, pot farm. You dragged me out in the middle of the night to the middle of nowhere to show me the MC's illegal growing operation. Uh, yeah, I mean, you got me. <laughs> I was hoping that you could give us some tips, you know, cultivation. Put all those PhDs to work on something actually useful. Jesus, TQ, what? <laughs> okay, I get it. This is not actually what you wanted to show me, right? No, of course it's not. Come on, keep following the trail. We're almost there. Ugh, you think I would learn? You think I would learn, but I never learn. Nope. God, God, look at that moonlight. It is, it's so beautiful. Keep going. Uh, we're almost there. You ever wonder what it would be like if just everywhere all at once the lights went out and everyone could just see the world just like this? What, you mean like all dark and shadowy and depressing? I mean the moonlight, the wildflowers, and the fireflies. Oh, I see you were kidding again. Okay, you don't take anything seriously. Oh, I take everything seriously. Oh, yeah, right. I do. You do not. Like when I suggested moving some of my stuff over to your place, you pretended that I was joking. Uh-uh, no, that's not true. I pretended I didn't hear you. There's a big difference. You should have seen the look on your face. And you know, I do have a cell phone and I took a picture. You want me to show you? My God, you're a scientist. Can we be rational about this? Okay, first of all, all I said is that we should think about moving in together. You know, because we get to spend more time together and, you know, take the next step. What's irrational about that? I have a toothbrush at your place. Oh, I'm so sorry. You know what? You're right. That is a huge commitment. Well, I mean, do you know how much a good toothbrush costs? Okay, see, there you go again. Every time I try to talk about our future, you turn it into a joke. Okay, all right. We do need to talk about it, and we will talk about it, but just hold on for a second, because I want to... <laughs> I want to show you something, okay? See? This is why I brought you out here. <sighs> wow, how beautiful. Was it worth it? God, yes. <laughs> hey, there's something I've been meaning to ask you. Yeah? <gasps> Deacon? Will you... Will I? Will you, uh... <laughs> <laughs> so that a yes? On two conditions. Name them. Okay, well the first one is that we don't have one of those biker weddings where you say that you're gonna ride me as much as your bike. Done, I couldn't promise that anyway. Oh, stop. Okay, the second one... The second one is that you never leave me. Done. God, did you just break your biker ring off my finger? Uh, you know what? <laughs> I think I probably Ooh. did. <sighs> <sighs> Look at it. It's so cute with this little bang. It's just like clenching onto the chain. You know, nothing says true love like dog skulls. Dog skulls. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what does it say there? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you knew Latin. Come on. No, it's Morier Invictus. Hmm. It means death before defeat. Wow, I like that. 
Well, you're going to get me like a real ring, though, right? No, that this one's yeah, not absolutely, great. Because, I, I just you know, thought, that's my ring. You can't right. Keep it's your that. ring. Right. Something more simple without things. Okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. No, yeah, it's your ring. It's the lab. I got to get it. Okay. <laughs> Hello? Yeah. No, no, no. It's fine. I'll be right there. Okay, bye. Is everything okay? I don't know. They need me back there. What? I gotta go. Uh, th this minute? Like, th at this time of night? I'm sorry. I have to go, but I promise I'll make it up to you. Okay. Come on. My wife's name was, uh, Beth. No, I don't have a pick. Let's go. Sorry, what's that? To not have any photos of your wife, family. Yeah, why do you say that? Back in the day, everyone used smartphones. That's where we kept all our photos. The phones went away, the cloud went away, our photos went with them. Yeah, I guess I hadn't thought about that. My wife, Carrie. Her father was a photographer. Old school, dark room, chemicals, all that. Too stubborn to embrace the digital age, I think. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have any photos either. Yeah, well, I hated him. Cell phones, I mean. Seemed like everyone walked around with their noses buried in the damn things. I never owned one. Interesting. How'd you manage that? I worked as a mechanic. I, uh, I had my own shop. Probably had the last landline in Farewell. You guys are taking this shit seriously. The Colonel believes with enough motivation and discipline, we can achieve anything. Come on, hurry your ass up. I'm going as fast as I can. Just move it! Is that your idea of motivation? The Colonel has set up a work camp on the south side of the island for those unfit to serve. Some of them require extra encouragement. I'll bet. Come on, follow me. Yes, sir. Stand up there with the others. Good luck, St. John. <laughs> Got your ass too, huh? Whatever. Hey, man. It's good to see you again. St. John, right? Son of a preacher, man? Taylor, what's this son of a preacher, man shit you keep saying? I'm just kidding with you, man. Hey, do you have any luck? What? The, the woman you were looking for, you and your peeps are riding with. No. I need all your jewelry, watches, shit like that. Come on, in the bag. Sure, man, whatever you say. The hell you say? Recruits aren't allowed personal effects. This side shit's just gonna get stolen. Come on, cough it up. Oh, yeah, shit's gonna get stolen. Goddamn bullshit. Tin hot! At ease. Visitors are not welcome here. You are here because you were invited, recruited by my trusted officers. When you answer me, start by giving me your name, last name first. Getting by, same as everybody. Name. Atkins, Crystal, sir. How many men have you killed? Before or after? Answer the question. Fuck you! 
We have all done things that we're not proud of. What? To survive, yeah. to stay alive. The Almighty understands this. Right. The Almighty yeah. forgives Amen. this. Amen. Amen. <laughs> but here, upon this woman's face, are the footprints of Satan. <laughs> Prison tattoos. Proof of what you once were and no doubt still are. It's people like her that are responsible for bringing the wrath of the Almighty down upon us yeah. all. Yeah. <laughs> Take her to the work camp. What? Ah. Fuck you! Get her out of here. Fuck you! Come oh. on, gorgeous! Oh. Goddamn oh. redneck assholes! Get off of me! What about you? Uh, Taylor. Uh, wait. And, um, no, sir. I, uh, never been to jail. Never killed anyone, nothing like that. You've been in the shit for a long time. Yeah, I mean, I, I know I know how to shoot stuff. My, my dad took me hunting when I was a kid. Was at, at a camp near Klamath Falls. It got... And how about you, son? You know how to use a gun? St. John, Deacon. Yeah, I know how to use a gun. You're a drifter. Hold out your right arm. Tenth Mountain. Iraq? Afghanistan. Honorable service, and don't lie to me. I'll know. Served one tour, served with honor. Hated every goddamn minute of it. <laughs> Thou shalt not lie. Good man. Hold up your right hand. Do you solemnly swear to support and defend the new constitution of these United States? Against all enemies, natural and unnatural, to bear witness and support to the same, and to obey all orders without question. So, do you swear? I swear. Dismissed. Walk with me, son. Captain Curry doesn't bring me many recruits these days. He must think highly of your combat skills. Uh, I've been in the shit a long time. You know your way around the freaks? Yes, sir. I, uh, I know as much as anyone, sir. Good, good. In here. We'll have the doc take a look at you. Pulse is strong. Good heart rate. Got a pretty nasty burn there. How'd that happen? Uh, had a run-in with a wood stove. Wood stove, huh? Who dressed this? I did. No está mal. Not bad at all. Thank you. Keep it dressed or you're gonna lose that arm. You hear me, amigo? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I hear you. I want you to check back with me in a few days. Got it. Well, Doc? How is fit to serve? Lo hará bien. You doing runs out in the shit? Mm -hmm. Sorry, Doc. Uh, ya tiene novia. Uh, he's spoken for. Let me guess. The Wizard Island Witch. Vaya con Dios. Good luck, amigo. Let's go, son. I normally don't tolerate insubordination, referring to an officer as a witch. But I make exceptions for some of my more eccentric officers. Yes, sir. I make exceptions. Because every man and woman still living has a role to play. Do you believe in God, St. John? Never gave it much thought, sir. Well, it's high time that you did. He has a plan for us, all of us. And my part is this. Sir? This place, I had a vision. Oh, nothing so grand as those described in the Old Testament. No flaming chariots or burning bushes. I simply woke up one morning before God's plague had rained down upon the world and knew that this 
was the place. Crater Lake, uh, Wizard Island. I call it the Ark. Are you familiar with the story of Noah's Ark? Yeah, I mean, yes, sir. I mean, everyone's everyone's heard of it. Indeed. You'd be surprised how few have read the Bible or the Book of Revelations. You mean Genesis, Noah's story. I mean, um, that... It's, it's the Book of Genesis, sir. Yes, of course. Okay, son, let's get you squared away. Whatever you say. Now, we don't have much in the way of uniforms, I'm sorry to say, but uh, I think that... Uh, oh, here. Try this on. <sighs> Seems to fit. I'll take that. Well, if you don't mind, this is a gift from an old friend. An old friend? <laughs> not many of those left anymore, are there? No, there are not. Okay, soldier. But I don't want to see you wearing it. You're one of us now. And normally we start new recruits in the rank of private. But since Captain Curry has vouched for your experience in the field, we are starting you out at the rank of corporal. Thank Congratulations, you. son. Thank you, sir. Yeah, let's get you some work. Here. All right. Now, what was I saying? Uh, you were telling me about the Ark, sir. Yes, the Ark. What you see here is only a small part of it. Behind us is a whole network of caves and vents that lead from here up to the Cone's Peak. When our work is complete, they will be filled with thousands of seeds, plants, computer files, and books. The world may die, but our achievements in medicine, science, and technology will not die with it. No, sir. But the island is more than just an Ark, Corporal. It is a stronghold, a fortress. Here at the North Gate, we are stockpiling enough munitions to take the fight to the freaks. We have rifles, grenades, heavy machine guns, and RPGs. We have the equipment to make ammunition. Every type, every caliber. This is our mechanical engineering area. If you need your bike repaired, see the officer on duty. And as you can see here, courtesy of the old National Guard, we are building a fleet of trucks and other vehicles. Once the hordes are cleared from the highways, we will begin to rebuild the roads and bridges. Your slash and burn strategy may stop newts and swarmers, but it won't clear the highway. It won't, it won't stop the hordes, sir. We are aware, Corporal. The hordes. The hordes are a different beast entirely, aren't they? But we have a plan. Plan, sir? Benjamin Franklin once said, by failing to prepare, you are preparing to fail. We are not going to fail. The heart of the army lives here, at the gate, ready to move on my command. These tents house hundreds of women and men, just like yourself, who have pledged and sworn their lives to the fight. But I have something else in mind for you. An assignment that requires more than just the ability to survive in the shit or use a gun. You know? Are you up for it, yeah. sir? Uh, yes, sir. Wherever you need me. You asked how we were going to defeat the Horde? Let me show you. You okay, Lieutenant? Oh, hey, Colonel. Sorry about that. Too much acetone in that batch. Lieutenant Weaver is our chemical engineer. He's working on new ways to, to blow shit up. Feet the enemy. Sorry, but yeah. Uh, name's Weaver. James. Saint John, Deacon. All this militia shit's just for show, right, Colonel? 
Corporal St. John is new to Corey's unit. If you need anything from out in the shit, he's your man. Oh, shit, yeah. Yeah, there's a couple of things I need. What are you working on? Oh, just the new gelling agent combining naphthenic and palmitic acid. Mm, you working on napalm? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this dude knows his shit. Uh, just a lucky guess. Uh... <clears throat> Sorry to interrupt. Oh, any time. Oh, Colonel. I'm getting real close, Colonel. Very close. That's good. That's really good. Where are you going next, Colonel? Wizard Island Witch? That'll be all, Lieutenant. <clears throat> Again, let me apologize for my more eccentric officers. No need, sir. We have one final stop. As much as I believe in Lieutenant Weaver's work, what you're about to see could be, I think, our path to victory. In here. All right, what is this? Ma'am, I got everything on the requisition form. Does this look like fabric softener? No, ma'am. Okay, why don't you read it? Active ingredients. Chlor, chlor, chloroform and uh, a terp, turpin. Ter Get out. Shit. Get out! Matt, I can't do this if I have to do my own supply runs. I got it covered. Lieutenant Whitaker, this is Corporal St. John. He's a new member of Corey's unit. He's got some experience out in the shit. Read this. What? Read this. I mean, you can read, can't you? Active ingredients, chloroform, aterpenol, benzo alcohol, halothic acid. Good enough. When can he start? Ah, I'll leave you to it. Carry on, Lieutenant. Leave us. Stand at attention. Sarah, I don't. Oh, you're, you're, you're dead. You're dead. You're supposed to be dead. Hey, hey, hey. hey. You're dead. It's okay. You're dead. I'm right here. Wait, wait a, wait a second. I, I don't understand. I couldn't I, I find you. That you had died, and I. Uh, no, we were overrun. Was it and, we had to go south. We, Nero, they yeah, said Nero, that no one no, made I it out. Ryan and I Farewell was overrun. They said that everybody was mountain, dead. And I didn't think that. I never thought I would, I would see, you again. see you again. Hey, hey, listen. Now we can ride out of here. We'll pick a direction. We won't look back. Come on. No, no, Deacon. I can't. Are they forcing you to stay here? No, you don't understand. We're fighting a war. Don't you see? This is a war that we can win. I didn't come here to fight a war. I can be helpful. I can make a difference, but I... I can't go with you. I have to stay here. Don't you get it? You, you can stay here with me. Help me. Look, afterwards, whatever you say, we, we, we can go wherever you want. <clears throat> Colonel's looking for you. Whatever you say, ma'am. Wait, wait a second. Your requisition form. Thank you, soldier.
Corporal St. John and Lieutenant Weaver. Come back. St. John to HQ. This is Weaver. What can I do for you, Corporal? Uh, your requisition form says you need mercury. Any idea where I can get it? Yeah, sure. I should have written that shit down for you. It comes from, uh, Cinnabar. Corey's unit scouted out of mine north of Diamond Lake. Head there, radio me when you arrive. Yes, sir. Hey, between you and me, if the Colonel isn't around, stop with all the yes sir, no sir bullshit, all right? Makes me feel old. Corporal St. John, is it? Yes, sir. Come in. Just enjoying a cup of tea, herbal, courtesy of uh, Lieutenant Whitaker. Would you like to try some? It's very good for the digestion. Uh, no, sir. Thank you, sir. I'm, I was just looking for the duty roster. I have an assignment for you. Men, Corporal. Not that they deserve to be called that. They've taken one of ours. Lieutenant Justine Norwood. Fine officer. And they have her, so, uh, yes, I will get her back, sir. With the help of men like you, we're going to take back this world. Dismissed. John, come in. This is Captain Curry. I've got a job for you. Captain Curry, um, at the Diamond Lake outpost, I assume? Copy that. Corporal. Hey. So, new guy? Name's Caleb. Caleb Tomlinson. Deacon St. John. Yeah, I, I just rode in. Oh, cool, man. Hey, listen, if you need something for your ride, you come see me. Between us, Lucas, the Canuck over at Diamond Lake, 
He'll rip you off, man. Great. Well, keep that in mind. <sighs> Corporal? Ah, uh, Corporal. Hey, you. I haven't seen you around here before. Name's Jacob D'Angelo. Everybody calls me D. St. John, Deacon. So, uh, you're the guy to come to for hardware? You got it, pal. You need guns, I got guns. If I don't have it, it was never made, you know what I mean? Uh, great. I'll keep that in mind. Come on, dude. Gotta be something. Corporal, see you around. I got him. He's on his way back. Dick, what happened? Well, he ran into some drifters who were... Oh, Jesus. Let's just say that he was on tonight's menu. Got the animals? Well, I honestly didn't stop to ask them. Deacon out. Radio works. What's up? Deacon St. John. Hey, uh, I mean, you know, nothing. It's just, <laughs> just checking in on you. I haven't seen you since the old swearing in thing. That was some shit, am I right? <laughs> Taylor, you know, I'm kind of busy. Well, hey, hey, what, what the, what the hell you, you got? They got you doing? Huh? I'm, I'm in the damn infantry or some shit. Spend all day burning out nests, chopping down trees, hauling wood. So, so sorry. What, are you, what are you doing? Research. They got me going out into the shit, finding supplies for the officers, working on wood. Oh shit! Oh, I heard about that. Yeah, yeah, working on uh, on uh, bio weapons, uh, chemical weapons, shit like that. Burn them freaks to the ground. Am I right? <laughs> yeah. Look, Taylor, I gotta go. All right, all right. Hey, I, um, hey, look, man. It's uh, it's just I'm 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 having second thoughts about all this military shit. You know. Uh, Taylor, what radio are you on? Are you sure that you're not being monitored? Oh, shit! Huh, that's what I thought. Gotta go. St. John out. Hey, he's with Corey's unit. Open the door. Corporal, good. I have a job that requires your unique skills. Uh, sure, yeah, uh, yes, sir. You remember Vasquez? The man that went AWOL. Yeah, we tracked him to the logging camp, I remember. Well, this man, Sergeant Lee Anderson, was his partner. He was about to be arrested when he killed a guard and took off. Oh, your men have quite the coat of honor. Our men? You're one of us now, remember? I've marked the location on where he was last seen on your map. Apparently. Like Vasquez, he wasn't alone. Great. Hang on, I'll open the gate. St. John. Hey, you got your ears on, man? Hey. Taylor, what do you need? 
There you are. Okay. Uh, so I finally figured out how to use this damn thing. Alright, I got a secure channel and everything. So how's it going, man? <sighs> Taylor, I'm kind of busy right now, so... <sighs> Drugs, Taylor. So no, I don't know anything about it. Why? No, 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 no. I don't, I don't either. I'm just. I saw this guy. You know, one of the newer crew acting all suspicious. He writes in and out of camp all the time. So I thought, I thought, follow him, right? <laughs> Let's see what the hell he's about. Ah, God damn it, Taylor. Listen to me. You just go to Corey. Let him handle it. Got Captain Corey. I'm at the site where Sergeant Anderson was last seen. All right, Anderson. Let's go take care of business. No. He's gotta be here somewhere. Where the hell is he? All right, where? Oh shit, the wolves. This is it. Okay, let's see. What's going on here? Oh, God, is that Anderson of the Dragon? Well, how the hell am I going to get my bounty? Okay. Dead coyote lava cave. That vagrant camp. Bastards have been ambushing all the supply runs around here, haven't you? <laughs> St. John. <laughs> hey, you got your ears on, man? Hey. Taylor, what do you need? There you are. Okay. Uh, so I finally figured out how to use this damn thing. All right, I got a secure channel and everything. So how's it going, man? Taylor, I'm kind of busy right now, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry, man. Sorry. Uh, hey, so, words out of the camp, the trucks are making their way in. Right under the colonel's nose. That's good stuff, too. You guys. Do you know about that? You know. I don't do drugs, Taylor, so no, I don't know anything about it. Why? No, 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 I don't, I don't either, I'm just, I saw this guy, you know, one of the newer crews acting all suspicious, you right, Dan? And out of camp all the time, and so I thought, I thought I'd follow him, right? Let's see what the hell he's about. Ah, oh, goddamn. Taylor, listen to me, you just go to Corey, let him handle it, got that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Contact with good call, yeah. Okay, Mr. Blood. St. John, I'll, uh, I'll talk to you later. Yeah, out. Primarily infect men. Let's see if it's still working. Do you know how many men A lot. Yes. A lot. 5,000 or more exact, depending on who you ask. All of which have rabbits, dogs, horses, skunks, possums, horses, and monkey and brown hogs, and yet wolves can be infected and can spread the virus. I gotta get into that game somehow. For us, I mean. Look at the musculature on this subject. Swollen and distended superglenoid tubercles. Run 31 to 37 miles per hour. This guy, he can top out at 60. Yeah. And he can shoot the tire off this a motorcycle. This is radio free orbit. Orbit. The truth shall what set you free. For us, Let me tell you. Is that before the shit, that most men would know extinct. We were dumb. Better them than us. We're blindly taking in opiates of all kinds. Get out of here. Keeping us sedated like fat, happy cows. Yeah, Candy. better them than us. Television, booze. 
use heroin, and it worked. But now, well, we're feeling the pain. All of it. Cut. We are watching. You see the truth of what I've been saying from the beginning. No one can get anything past us. We're the ones running the show now. And we're doing it a damn sight better than the feds ever did. Take a deep breath. And hold it in. Squeeze through here. A free man. No one can take that. Free Oregon. Don't. You still got your militia armband? Yeah. <laughs> Damn it, sniper ambush. God damn it, not now! Engine crapped out. Should work. Captain, I found your man, Anderson, and you were right. He still had his militia insignia. You dead? Well, let's just say that he had a run-in with a pack of wolves long before I got to him. It's a fitting end for a murderer and a thief. Yes, sir. Thank you, Corporal. Dismissed. St. John. So, uh, where are you from, Lucas? Was it? Uh, I, I can't place your accent. <laughs> that obvious. Y yeah, from, from Canada, originally. Yeah, I was down here on holiday with the family. Yeah, doing a bit of camping out, you know, w west of Crater Lake. A wife and kids, uh, my boys, would have been eight and nine this year. Canada, huh? You're a long way from home. Oh, tell me about it. 
Yeah, I, I was a teacher, uh, engine repair in Calgary at the Technical Institute. Oh, do you ever been? No, no, I guess not. Uh, anyways, the colonel, he, uh, he, he gave me this job, so now this is home, yeah? Yeah. Yep. Why are you not working hard? Why are you still in my obstacle course? Why are you not in my obstacle course? Oh, good, good, good choice, gotta say. A uh, good piece of equipment right there. Sergeant! Oh, okay, yep. Oh, yes, sir, that, that that's a good one. Yep. Need some petrol, yeah? You can run faster than that. My dead grandma can run faster than that. My dead crippled grandmother who was in a goddamn wheelchair. C Corporal St. John. I'll see you around. Yes, Sergeant. Yes, Sergeant. Uh, hang on, I'll open the gate. Why are you not working? St. John! <laughs> uh, we tailored at Deacon St. John. <laughs> Taylor, I hear a bike. Tell me you're not out in the shit tracking down that drug trafficker. Okay, okay. <laughs> I won't tell you that. But I am. <laughs> God damn it, Taylor, you're gonna get yourself killed. No, man, no, no. Hey, I followed a bunch of them up the highway. I'm an Andy 7. Hey, hey, it was, no, it was, it was daylight, the weather was clear, I didn't see a single freak. Um, but there is this, this group of, of men ended up at this ski lodge. Did you know there was a ski lodge out here? I didn't know that. Taylor. It's a sweet ass setup, too. If I ever decide to bug out, that is where I'm going. <laughs> oh, shit, I gotta run. They're, they're stopping at another camp. Taylor, out. <laughs> Taylor. Taylor, down. Damn it! This stupid kid's gonna get himself killed. Visitor Center. That's gotta be it. No, I just gotta find some yeast. Kitchen, yeah. Well, that's gotta be in the kitchen. Ah, shit. Breakers. <laughs> Had to be breakers. That couldn't be fucking easy, could it?
Okay. Now where the hell is the yeast? St. John to Lieutenant Whitaker, reporting in. Deacon, uh, <clears throat> Corporal St. John, yes. I, uh, got the item on your requisition form, the yeast. There wasn't much. I I'm sure that whatever you have is going to be fine. So, uh, just curious, uh, why do you need... Sorry, I'm right in the middle of something. I gotta go. I'll talk to you when you bring it in. Whitaker, out. Okay. Damn it. Ma'am? Would you stop doing that, please? I'm sorry? I know that things are strange, but I can't help that right now. Well, I live in a barracks with a dozen militia assholes. Well, my wife lives in a private tent up on an officer's ridge. Nothing strange about that. Deacon. And the only time that I see her is when I'm done running one of her errands. Nothing strange about that either, ma'am. My yeast, thank you. Uh, are, are you baking something? I mean, if you need an oven, I know no, where to find no, one. No, no, I'm using it to create <clears throat> viral proteins that they, they trigger these antibodies. <laughs> but of course, you are being sarcastic. Bread, viral proteins, it's all the same to me. Hey, wait a second. Here. Thank you. You already said that. I meant for staying. Yes, ma'am. No, no. Set them over there. Thank you. Corporal St. John, this is Dr. Jimenez. St. John? Hey, Doc. This is Deacon. Hey, what can I do for you? St. John, good. I need you to stop by the infirmary. Uh, is something wrong? You need something? No, no. Nothing like that. I want to check on that arm. My arm? My, my arm's fine, Doc. <laughs> I'll burn like that? 
from a wood stove. It's nothing to play around with. You want La Infección? You come see me. That's an order. All right, Doc. All right, fine. Whatever you say. St. John out. Eh, hey, what can I do you for? Hey, now that's some hardware, huh? Just saying. Now that's a gun. Huh? Ah, oh, okay. Hey, Corporal, you stay out of trouble, you hear me? Ah, Corporal, man of the hour. Sir, St. John out. Lieutenant Weaver, you there? I'm at the mine. Good, good. Okay, man. You take a look around. The report I saw listed ore testing kit. You're gonna need one. An ore testing kit. Copy that. Cinnabar is kind of red, but not shiny. It'll have a dull luster to it. It's gonna be hard to miss. Test the ore. It's gotta be at least 60% pure, or I can't use it. All right, got it. Testing kit, testing kit. Where the hell am I gonna find an ore testing kit? Maybe one of these uh, shacks? Here we go. Ore testing kit. Yeah. Say red rock, dull luster, cinnabar, yeah. Okay, good.
Not enough. I need more ore. Come on. Oh, yeah, you'll go. Yeah, almost enough. Yeah, that's it. Water's going down. I gotta finish collecting this ore, and then I gotta get the hell out of here. Cinnabar. Okay, let's test you out. Yes, you'll work. One or two more samples is all I need. Here's some more. Testing. Yep, just pure enough. Just one more. Here we go, Cinnabar. Nice, this'll work. All right, let's see how pure this is. Elevator shaft. Oh, God damn it. Wonder where this goes. Only one way to find out. And what's up here? Another tunnel? Looks like this one was abandoned a long time ago. Beacon in here. Another narrow injector. Good. <sighs> An apple a day. Another narrow micro recorder. Jesus, that's a big guy. Sure yes. Yes, it is. Field note 2072. We are at Site 69. The... Where are we? The Lost Cabin Mine. Thank you. The Lost Cabin Mine. We have euthanized a specimen of Homo Lieutenant sapiens Weaver, in Tam's Tam's St. John. Morosis. We got the Cinnabar you asked 10, for. 10,000 milligrams of ketamine. St. John. Good, good. Note I'm almost ready. Oh, hold on a second. Where 6,000 milligrams was with barely that? enough to subdue the Homo out of sapiens in Tam's albino. We tracked this subject yeah, from its primary habitat and structures on the northern rim of Crater Lake. Jesus, you never used to be the visitor's center. Don't be such a strange this mine. Fuck Currently, off. we have no working theory as to the subject's yeah, migratory habits. Anyway, yeah, Things had her absorbed. How about why it's so goddamn big? Got any theories about that? Yeah, as a matter of fact, we do. Really? Yeah. But has shown that the Homo sapiens mutants corporosis of extremely elevated amounts of anabolic steroids. Wait, so what? Before they became infected, they were voided out? Basically, yeah. Not that they were all bodybuilders or athletes taking illegal synthetic androgens. Some probably had naturally high levels. The results the same. Yeah? What's that? Yeah, they can literally tear you in half. Come on, shit. Let's get these samples graded up. Get out of here. Captain Curry, come in. Yeah, Captain, I'm here. Well, I just. 
just wanted to let you know that the Colonel gives an informal talk every day at dusk at the staging area where you were sworn in. Uh, yes, sir. Now, while these talks are informal, enlisted men and women are expected to attend. <clears throat> uh, copy that, sir. Hurry up. Lieutenant. <laughs> nah, man. Leave that shit by the door. No, 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 no. I mean all that army shit. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> I think that's what you were looking for. All right. Yeah. yeah. This is great. Hey, just wait a second. Here. Polystyrene. Yeah, you know, like white foam coffee cups, packing peanuts, shit like that. Yeah, got it. Hey, man. By the way, how did it go with the Wizard Island Witch? You mean Lieutenant Whitaker? <sighs> man, I thought you were going to leave all that shit by the door. That'll be all, Copa. That'll be all. Hey, Doc. Uh, Come in. Jenderson. Have a seat. Have a seat. Mm -hmm. oh, let's look here. So, who did you ride with back in the day? Uh, <laughs> I don't know what you're uh, getting at. No me mientas. Look, Corporal. I spent 20 years in East L.A. patching up bandas de motoristas and every other kind of pandillero. I know the look. And this? No kind of wood stove did this. All right. Keep it clean. It'll heal on its own. Leave a nasty scar. But I want you to come back and see me in a couple of days. You got it. Funny thing. When the city burned and the hordes came in, neighborhoods at war for decades all came together. Fought together. Latinos, Gueros, Chinos, Bloods, Crips. Didn't matter. Crazy what it takes to bring people together sometimes, no? Thanks, Doc. Say, John, come in. Taylor, you can say, John. Taylor, haven't heard from you in a while. I was afraid that maybe you got too close to that man you were tracking. Oh, I'm close, all right. I'm right in their friggin' backyard. Hey, I need your help, man. I I'm at, the, at a small camp south of Crater Lake, just off the South Rim Drive. Taylor, listen to me. I have no idea what you're doing, but you got... Oh, shit! No, no, no! Let me go! Hey! No! Taylor? Taylor? Damn it. St. John to Lieutenant Whitaker. Come back. Switching to a private channel. Hold on. Deacon, are you there? Yeah. Uh, hey, so I, I looked at that requisition form. It says that you want silicate? Yeah, silicate. I use it as a distilling medium in the column chromatographer. Oh, uh, column chrom... what? <sighs> Sorry, it's just 
that's the one part of my research that's actually going well. So, silicate, where do I get it? Oh shit, I thought I marked it on the rack. Hold on. Okay, there's this little general store southwest of us near Mazama Village. You should be able to find it there. Okay, got it. Thank you. Sorry, never mind. <clears throat> Carry on, Corporal. Yes, ma'am. Uh, Lieutenant. Sarah, out. Silicate. What the fuck is silicate anyway? Tell us where your camp is. Maybe we'll let you live. Fuck you. <laughs> Bring him down! I don't think he can hear us. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see if we can do something about that. I'm not telling you shit. Come on! Cut up! Hey. Ah! Ah! Can you hear that? Ah! 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 Get him the fuck out of here! Come on! What do you think? Maybe we could turn this in at that army camp. Get some credits. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm coming, Taylor. Hang in there. How's it going? Like this, you son of a bitch. Damn. Fuck with my friend. Fuck with my friends. You can torture, do you? What about this? How do you like this, you son of a bitch? Someone's shooting. That did it. Kill him. Kill him. 
How you doing, Taylor? Um, you know, I've had better days, I'll be honest with you. Okay. Uh, Jesus. Okay, listen to me, pal. Take this, hold it against your head like that. Good. No, I want you to wait here. I'm gonna go radio Captain Curry. He's gonna send someone to pick you up, all right? All right, man. Yeah, hell yeah. Captain Corey, this is Corporal St. John. Come back. This is Corey. I'm here with Lieutenant Whitaker checking on your progress. Corporal, I've told Captain Curry that you're an immense help. I don't know what I would do without you. Oh, well, thank you, dude. That's great. I, it's not why I'm checking in, Captain. Uh, there's a Marauder camp just off of South Rim Drive. Marauders? Is close to the island? Uh, no, listen, no, no, no. no. Um, I dealt with these bastards, but we have an injured man. Private Taylor, they fucking slice his ear off. Jesus, is he all right? Private Taylor? What's he doing out there? Yeah, he's gonna live. But no, no idea what he was doing out here. I need you to send Doc, uh, Captain Jimenez and some men to come out and get him. I'll send you the coordinates. I'll head up there now and let him know. Hurry out. Taylor, how you doing, buddy? Like I said, man. I've had better days. Uh, uh, hey, I think the bleeding stopped. No, no, no it hasn't. Uh, help is on the way. You hang tight. Uh, you want me to come back? Wait with you? No, oh, oh, hell no, no, no. I mean, I, I already feel like a little bitch, you know. I, I'm fine, I'm fine, really. I'll stop by the infirmary later and see how you feel with it. Hey, I've seen that thing. It's pretty cushy. We better be out here, let me tell you. Uh, don't give the doc too much trouble. Huh? You got that? Take it out. Should be able to.
go. Oh, so what he didn't know. Come on, you bitch. Yes. Yes. Okay. I'll just park this anywhere. Sarah, are you there? I've, um, got the silicate you requested. Corporal St. John, yes, I'm here. I'm in a meeting with Lieutenant Weaver. Corporal St. John? What are you doing another run for me? Uh, I don't know. Um... Weaver! Corporal, report in to me when you get back to the island. Lieutenant Whitaker out. The fucking Weaver now? What the fuck is he doing? Hey, Doc. You there? This is Corporal St. John, Doc Jimenez. Come back. Uh, St. John, how's the arm? Good. Good. Uh, that ointment, or whatever it was that you gave me, it's some. Um, yeah, it's working great. I'll be the judge of that. Hey, so I'm actually just checking in to see, uh, well, to see how well you know Lieutenant Weaver. Lieutenant Weaver? Uh, I know him as well as I know any of the officers. I don't know. I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm doing some runs for them, for him and Lieutenant Whitaker, and it just, it seems like he's, um, I don't know, he's, he's in her face all the time, and, uh, I don't fucking like it. <laughs> Lieutenant Whitaker can take care of herself. Listen to me, St. John. The Colonel tolerates a certain amount of razzing amongst the officers. If I were you, I'd stay out of it. All right, Doc. And don't worry about Lieutenant Weaver. He's no saint, but I've met worse. Give me his help. Weaver, I swear to God. What, are you afraid of a little competition? I get out! Hey, is there a problem? Ma'am. Just a friendly discussion, Corporal. Lieutenant. What was that all about? <sighs> Nothing. It's just... Weaver, he thinks that the answer to everything is just to burn it all to the ground. God, fuck him. Yeah, fuck him. Here. <sighs> thank you. No, don't. <sighs> what now, Deacon? Thank me. Don't thank me. Every time you thank me, I end up outside with another one of your bullshit requisition forms. My bullshit? I, That's what you think this is? I, I, Everything I that I'm doing is just that. bullshit? No! Of course you didn't mean it. You know, I don't understand why you're still here. Well, then let me enlighten you. I spent the last two years killing freaks. One by one, up close, so close that I could smell the flesh rotting between their teeth. So if you're working on something here that's gonna take them all out at once, fuck it, I'm in. But if you don't want me here, you know what? Just give the order, ma'am. Deacon, wait. I'm sorry, okay? Look, I, I do need... I just... <sighs> Thank... I appreciate your help. St. John, you there? Yeah, I'm here. This is Lieutenant Weaver. Have you even looked at my requisition form yet? I see you doing runs for the witch almost every day. I'm starting to feel left out. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, yes, sir. Polystyrene, you need polystyrene, right? Yeah, that's right, polystyrene. If you're having trouble finding it, there's a wreck truck down on Highway 97, south of Chamot, beneath the water tower. Think you can find it? I'm not. Look, I'll find it, the wrecked truck, okay? I'll get you your, uh, polystyrene. See that you do. Keep out.
Corporal St. Joe. This is Colonel yeah. Garrett. Report. Yes, sir. Corporal. Yes. This is of the utmost urgency. A soldier, an officer, has gone in. Ah, uh, an officer. A traitor of the worst kind. He murdered two enlisted men and stole a bike from the motor pool. He's been spotted on the South Rim Drive. The stolen bike has a blue tank. Find him, Corporal. Yes, sir. I'll, I'll chase him down. Corporal, bring him back. Alive. Alive, sir. We're going to hang him, Corporal. An example for anyone who thinks they are above militia regulations. Who thinks they are above the laws of God. Ah, uh, yes, sir. Dismiss, Corporal. Colonel, I'm at the location where she was last spotted. You found her? Not yet, but uh, I see an abandoned militia. Very good, Corporal. Carry out your orders. Garrett out. Okay, what happened? Uh, the bike broke down. And you weren't too happy about that. I don't blame you. Uh, small boot prints, that's gotta be hers. And they're heading this way. What was that? She must have dropped something. What did you drop, Crystal? Because whatever it was, you wanted it back real bad, didn't you? What is this? A ring? What's this? Oh, yellow snow. I mean, shit, if you gotta go, you gotta go. You ain't concerned about anything out here, are you, Crystal? More boot prints than this way. St. John to Whitaker, I, uh... Uh, Corporal St. John, yes. Matt, the Colonel is here. I was just telling him how helpful you've been. Corporal St. John? Yes. Lieutenant Whitaker has been singing your praises. Just doing my job, Colonel. Uh, sir? I'm glad. Lieutenant Whitaker's work is well behind schedule. Perhaps with your help. Matt, I told you. Biology, the work that I'm doing... Okay, what were you saying? Matt, I've told you. Look, biology, the work that I'm doing, is far more complicated than just building a bomb. Weaver is... Lieutenant Weaver is ahead of schedule. 
If you don't make similar progress, I'm going to have to pull resources from you and give them to him. Is that clear, Lieutenant? Yes, sir. Not Colonel. Carry on. Uh, is everything okay? It sounds a lot like... Sorry, I have to go. Moving back! I need cover and fire! You gotta stop moving. Oh, yeah, that's all. Now, one of those shacks. In here. Gotta be in here. Got it. Oh, man, you keep picking the wrong friends. Screw you! Hey, hey, you, you don't remember me? Oh, I remember you. Standing up on the stage, kissing the colonel's ass like a good little soldier. Well, Jesus Christ, do you know why I'm here? <laughs> I figure the son of a bitch colonel put a bounty on my head. So do it already! I don't give a shit! What the hell are you doing? I'm not gonna kill you, I just... I need the rings. Those are my goddamn rings. This son of a bitch has stolen from me. They're mine! Yeah, yeah, they are. But it's either the rings or your life. So what's it gonna be? You can go to hell! You're welcome! Got it. in Seattle, down by the wharf. Colonel, sir, reporting in. I'm, uh, returning the stolen property. Corporal? Yes, the worker. Common thief and murderer. Did she put up a fight? Yes, sir. Yes, yes, she did. Uh, she put up a hell of a fight, but it was nothing that I couldn't handle. You fight on the side of righteousness, Corporal. Don't give it another thought. It is those like her 
Liars, thieves, murderers, drug addicts, criminals all, who brought this scourge down upon us. I will not weep to see them gone, every one. Dismissed, Corporal. Yes, sir. I'll, I'll get back to work. Corporal. Hey, Sarge. Repairs. Okay. Corporal, see you, man. Hey, Corporal. How's life? You don't like what you see, just ask. There you go. Ho! And it goes for the upgrade. Nice. Hey, Corp, you stay out of trouble, you hear me? Just gotta find Weaver's shit. Polystyrene. <laughs> oh, here's some. Uh, gonna need more. 
Uh, almost enough. Just a few more. Okay, one more piece. This ought to do it. I'll mark the rest on my map. Have Corey send some men out here to get the rest. Hey, I uh, got the shit you were asking for. Oh, good, good. Set it down over there. Let me get a piece. Okay. It's good. So how are things going with Lieutenant Whitaker? How do you mean? <laughs> I see you coming and going, man. You're doing a lot of runs for her. Yeah, I'm just doing my job. <laughs> okay, man. Yeah, I tried to hit that once. 
when I first got here. Is that right? Oh, yeah, dude. I mean, that lady's got a fine ass. I'm an ass man. Can't help myself. Yeah, yeah. How'd that work out for you? Not too good. I mean, she threw me down on the ground, tried to break my goddamn arm. Listen up. You need to watch yourself with her. That lady's intense. Yeah, I'm gonna keep that in mind. Uh, you anything else? Uh, no, but grab these and follow me. You see, polystyrene is an aromatic hydrocarbon, while gasoline is made up of simple aliphatic hydrocarbons. You try saying that. Anyway, mix the two together, all those molecular chains break up into single covalent bonds. Yeah, everybody knows that. friend is a napalm molotov <laughs> and that is how we're gonna win this war once i fine-tune the formula that shit's gonna burn hotter than an acetylene torch <sighs> know how that is yeah i got a pretty good idea i worked in an auto shop you need anything else nah man i'm good I'm so goddamn close <laughs> kaboom <laughs> gonna blow up and burn son taking it to the ass Corporal in command. Come on, this shit? This is some primo shit, let me tell you. Just exercising your Second Amendment rights, am I right? Credit burning a hole in your man purse, or what? There you go. Huh? Ah, okay. Hey, Corporal St. John. I'll catch you later. Deacon, uh, Corporal St. John. Good to see you, man. Hey, Sergeant. Repairs. Okay. Corporal St. John, uh, Deke. See you around.
John, come in. This is Captain Curry. I've got a job for you. Captain Curry, um, hit the Diamond Lake outpost, I assume? Copy that. What the hell? Going AWOL is one thing, but you didn't have to murder two men to do it. Uh, Michael, please, just let me go. I'll, I'll tell you where I, I stashed you, I swear. Sorry, pal. Talk to the Colonel. Colonel, Freaks. I've got him. Freaks. Alive. Transmitting coordinates now. Freaks. Corporal, good. I'm sending oh. a patrol now. Back to me. Tear it out. Sarah. Yeah, just um, put it on the counter, will you? Okay. I'm I'm sorry. It's this is just really frustrating for me sometimes. I wouldn't know. Uh, I I just need another requisition form. No, you know what? I'm I, I'm not going to give this one to you. Why? Why not? So I'm gonna go with you this time. Let's go. Come on, soldier. See if you can keep up with me. Yeah, right. When's the last time you went on a run? I mean, you know, out in the shit. Hey, I've done supply runs like anyone else. I gotta admit, it's been a while.
Do you even have a bike? Yeah, but uh, <clears throat> I think I'm gonna ride with you on this run. No chance of us getting separated that way. Yes, ma'am. Stop what? Hey, you uh, you been inside the ark yet? Uh, the cave's here. Yeah, I got the grand tour when I arrived. From the colonel himself. Come on, even you gotta give the man some credit. For the vision, it's stockpiling, preparing, saving what we can. Yeah, well, I'll give him this. This island is a goddamn fortress. Nothing's gonna get in here without a hell of a fight. Exactly. Here, this is my tent. Wow, nice place. It's got that woman's touch. Oh, right. I'm hardly ever here, and most nights I usually spend it on a cot in the lab. Look at this. This will get the job done. It was a gift from Matt when I first joined up. Matt? The Colonel. Oh, Jesus, come on, Deacon. It's just a gun. Come on. Let's go this way. I want to show you something. Following you. When I got here, the militia had cut down almost every tree on the island. I asked Matt, the colonel, to save the last one. Oh, yeah? Well, why did you, uh, do that? Do you remember the weekend we rode up here? To Crater Lake, I mean, after we got married. Uh, yeah, I, I, I remember. I remember thinking. God, when Mount Mazama blew up, I mean, how long did it take for the lava to cool and the soil to form? All these trees to grow. When all this is over, when we leave this fucking island, I want there to be at least one tree left. Uh, listen, these guys don't give a shit about any of that. I've, I've been through their dead zone. Look, the Colonel's focused on winning the war. The sooner I do my part, the sooner he'll stop burning everything to the ground. It seemed like the rations were smaller today. Everyone's starving. <clears throat> What's wrong? No, nothing. It's just. Never mind. <clears throat> hold on, uh. Hold on tight. College east of here, off the highway. You know the one? Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's take the south bridge. It'll be faster. I'm with you. Hey, so I gotta ask, uh, all this stuff, the, the yeast, the silicon... Why do I need it? The weapon I'm working on is a viricide. If I can isolate the virus that causes the cells to mutate, I can kill it. Okay. We almost didn't. After the feds pulled out, anyone still alive started putting up roadblocks of their own and they started shooting people on sight. We somehow made it to that refugee camp where we were, we thought that you were going to be waiting, but like I said, it was gone. So we tried a few others, same story, no survivors, everything overrun. So within a week, the whole damn valley was a war zone. People were Killing each other over scraps of food, sometimes killing each other for no reason at all. If Boozer and I hadn't stuck together, I don't think we would have made it. Wait, Boozer? He's alive? Where is he? What happened to him? Yes, he's alive, but he's he's at a camp up north. He can't ride anymore because because he lost his arm. But uh but he is alive. I'm so glad he's alive. I, I'm really sorry. I, I should have asked you about him sooner. Don't worry about it. Okay, uh, my turn. Look, it's gonna sound stupid, but, um, but that night in Farewell, my mongrel's ring, do you still have it? Deacon, I'm sorry. It's the Colonel's policy. They, 
They confiscate all jewelry when you come into the camp. They melt down the gold and silver to use in Weaver's project or whatever the hell. I forgot all about it. I'm I'm really sorry. Uh, no, don't worry about it. I don't know. I was just thinking out loud. It doesn't matter. Here, I think this is it. been here before? Once. Before, you know, career day. They invited me to give a presentation on exciting careers in biochemistry. God. What? Nothing, just looking back, it should have been a talk on how to survive the end of the world. Come on. How are we gonna get through this? Should we find a way around? No, uh, hold on. I can boost you up there. You ready? Yeah. Uh, you got it? <clears throat> got it. Here, watch your head. Got it. Jesus, what the hell happened here? This is one of the earliest survivor camps, set up before they figured out that hordes like to run along the main highways. It was dead long before I got here. This entire place is gonna be crawling. Yeah. Do you know where we're going? Like I said, I've only been here once, but I think the science building is back there. Wait, 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 wait a second. What's wrong? Well, I mean, I don't want to bring the whole place down in this. We don't even know what's in there. Well, we know what's in there. A bunch of goddamn nukes. Now, come on, let's just go around. We're not getting through here. No. Uh, whoever was living here jammed the place up pretty good. How about through here? The door's locked, but it doesn't look barricaded. Can you jimmy it? Here, let me try. Through here, looks clear. Coming. Here, uh, help me move this. Hold on, okay. You ready? There. We're just gonna pull them down on top of each other, so... Wait a second, what if... You come up on top of here. You lay down covering fire. <laughs> you take out the strikers, I'll take out the rest. Are you sure about this? Yeah, 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 I do this all the time. Just keep up a steady stream of fire, all right? Deacon. Once I'm through... Just close this up to me. Come on down. It's clear. You okay? God, Jesus, that was a little too close. No, we had it all the way. Gunfire's gonna bring in more. Yeah, we'll be long gone by then. Where now? Uh, I don't know. Uh, they got the place barricaded up pretty good. 
Uh, see if there's a hole in any of these walls. A place where we can climb up. All right, I'll look over here. Anything? No. Hey, over here, there's an open window. Coming. You got it? Yeah, yeah, I got it. Hold on, let me find something. Ah, uh, Sarah? Hold on, I gotta find something I can throw down. Oh, shit! Deacon! Oh, shit, shit, shit! Damn it! Uh, just find something for me to climb on! I'm on it! Deacon, here! Laughing. I don't know. <sighs> you know, I, I remember you were always trying to talk me into going back to school. Oh, yeah, well. And now you finally got your way. <laughs> well, better late than never. Oh, okay. Thanks. <sighs> you ready? Mm hmm. Let's go. All right. Here, let me go first this time. Yes, ma'am. Whatever you say. It's like a bomb went off in here. Yeah. Maybe one did. Come on. I think we can get through here. The door's jammed. Here. Mm -hmm. I got this. I got it. See? I told you. See? Like I said, I got this. Good job. Thanks. So, uh, how badly do you need this piece of equipment? All right, we're almost there. Look, we're not giving up now. <laughs> Just asking. Wow, now we know how the freaks were getting in. Someone needed to learn how to park. It looks clear. More barricades, and they're everywhere. Huh. Uh, check the buildings. I can see the science building. It's over there. Just gotta get through these barriers. Hey! Another open window. Got it. Here, let me boost you up again. Uh, only this time you... Don't take so long finding something for you to climb. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Okay, hold on. Hey, and try not to attract any more swarmers this time, all right? Sure, yeah, I'll see what I can do. Damn it, Sarah! 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 No, damn it. No. Sarah! Sarah! Sarah? Sarah! There were so many of them. I just kept coming. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You're okay. Come on. I'm fine. Come on, we're almost there.
This is the science building. Yeah, it looks like this place has been shut up tight from the inside. Come on, there's got to be a way in. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah. I've killed Freeze before. No, I know, I know. It's just... Deacon, I'm fine. Let's go. Let's check this door. Can you open it? No, it's jammed from the inside. Let's go around the building. There has to be a way in. I'm telling you, someone sealed it tight from the inside. Well, we gotta check, right? It's okay. jammed like all the rest. Another way. Oh, shit. Wait, what the Hold fuck? on, hold on for a second. Those are... Those are newts. They're inside. Those are newts in there, which means... There's gotta be a way up on the roof. Come on. Come on, the roof's low over here. Yep, we just have to find a way up. Sarah, here, uh, help me push this. We can use it to climb up. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Okay, push. Yeah, hold up. You got it? Yeah. Okay, be ready. Newts can get pretty nasty when you trespass on their territory. I just really wish we didn't have to kill the little shits. What? What do you mean? Remind me of that little girl. the last of them. You enjoyed that? What, killing newts? No, but... I mean, you gotta admit, they're pretty goddamn annoying. You're right about that. Here, give me your hand. Okay. <clears throat> Careful. Steady. Yeah, well, you try living like them. See how you smell after two years. No, thanks. Where, where, where are we going? Try these doors. Uh, one of these is gonna be a lab or a lecture room. Centrifuge has to be here somewhere. No sign of a violence or attack. Hemlock. Jesus. Over here. Is that the uh, centrifuge you were looking for? Yep, this is it. Come on. Job of hiding the bike. All right, let's do this. Freaks. Freaks. 
Stay put. Keep your head down. Yeah, good idea. Freaks! We don't want to fight you, freaks! Kill him! Kill him! as it's gonna get. Let's move. Okay. Okay. All right, I got it. Let's go. Deacon, stay down. Yeah, got it. Newts. <laughs> Damn it. Who was that? How are you doing on ammo? Got him, Centrifuge. Okay. 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 All right, I got it. Let's go. Oh, Jesus, that was a really big gun. Yeah, sort of noticed that. A lot more. We're gonna have to clear them out before we can get to the bike. You got any more of those smoke grenades? Yeah. We're up here, you can see the entire parking lot. Watch where I'm going, and then you throw the grenades ahead of me. You got it? Got it. Okay, let's do this. Okay, hold on. I'm coming to you. You all right? Am I all right? What's wrong with you? Oh, I don't know. It's just that I remember the day that I met you. You fired my gun in the air to scare off those rednecks, and you're so scared you couldn't stop shaking. Yeah, well, a lot's changed since then. Come on, let's get the hell out of here. What, uh, happened to you, Sarah? What's that supposed to mean? 
Hey, look, I get it. A lot's changed. Everyone we knew is gone, but it doesn't explain. Explain what, Deacon? Why everyone in the good old boys club calls me the Wizard Island Witch? Look, I don't give a shit about any of that. I... Nothing's happened to me that hasn't happened to every other fucking person on this planet. Yeah. Okay. If you say so. Come on, over here. I'm coming. Can I say thank you? No. <laughs> okay. You know, I just wanted to let you know how much I needed this. Up with you. Hey, you're not supposed to be here. Ugh, my back is killing me. Ugh, you know things are bad. Taylor. What's going on? Man, can you believe this shit? Fucking Captain Curry's got me on guard duty. Don't like, something's gonna happen to the dock around. in the middle yeah, of all this. Yeah, it's a tough job, but I'm sure you got it covered. All right? Yeah, yeah. Hey, what's going on with you, man? You got some, uh, some saddle sores or something? Need a doc to lube you all up? How's the ear? What? I can't hear you. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you, man. I'm feeling no pain, brother. Doc's got me on some oxy. Shit, it's tight. I'm fine, man. I'm fine. Oh, hey, uh, I saw the lieutenant earlier. She was trying to get something from the dock. Yeah? Yeah, I thought you'd want to know. All right, well, thanks. See you around, Taylor. Yeah, man. Estarás bien. You'll be fine. Just don't start any bar fights. <laughs> no promises, Doc. <laughs> you know, me parece... It's... I was thinking it's been a while since I've been in the shit. I'm getting soft. Estoy hablando. <laughs> Are you kidding? Oh, you're serious. You want to go on a run with me? I used to ride myself before the world went to hell, you know. All right, well, let's go. Corporal? Doc? Going someplace? Coronel, it's been a while since I've been on a run. I was going to go oh, in no, Corporal No, no, no. I don't think so. Cor Coronel? No entiendo. I don't know what I'd do if I lost you. If anything were to happen to you, you can't be replaced. This Sir, I can look out for him. You Dismissed, Corporal. <laughs> Matt, I've been out in this shit before. I understand. But again, if anything were to happen to you, I... I don't know what I'd do if I... I don't know what I'd do if I lost you.
Well, that's it. That's as far as I can go. How can I help? You can't, unless you have a DNA synthesizer somewhere. <sighs> no, but uh, there's an auto parts store near Fort Klamath. Dude, I could you check can't out. get what I need there. You. <laughs> How do you think I would learn? I actually think I know where you can get one. Really? Yeah, your old lab, Cloverdale. Okay, yeah, that's great. All we have to do is find a way over the mountains. Yeah, you're right. That would be impossible. Oh my God, you know a way over, don't you? Good, you can take me. Is that an order, Lieutenant? Yes. No, I'm just, I mean, no, it's not an well, order. Which is it? Well, I don't know. Are you going to take me or not? Dress warm, pack light. Hey, Deke. Oh, my God. If you say thank you one more time, I... Let me know when you're ready to go. Going somewhere, Lieutenant? Colonel? Captain? Yes, we're heading out to retrieve a piece of equipment that I need. I see. How's your work progressing? Good. Good. With D Corporal St. John's help, I've been able to make some good progress. Thank you for assigning him to my project. Well, Lieutenant Weaver's also been making progress. He says he'll be ready to test his chemical weapon by the end of the week. I heard. Mine will be ready soon. You realize you are more valuable than any piece of equipment. Equipment can be replaced. You cannot. I've been in a ship before, Matt. You know that I can handle myself. Carry on, Lieutenant. Corporal. I'd like to see Weaver's equipment right now. I'd like to see what he's doing. I'd like to step on his status. that all about anyway what all the yes sirs and no sirs and the saluting and the ranks and the uniforms just seems kind of pointless you know considering hey you were in the army once you should know that was different how well there were more people in the world i don't know i mean having a military made more sense i think it makes more sense now why it's utter fucking chaos out here we need the order and discipline or we're not gonna make it you know, I've been at plenty of camps that are doing just fine without having a colonel breathing down their necks. You know what's funny? About uniforms and ranks seeming pointless, I mean? No, oh, what? I used to think the same thing about the MC. I mean, you guys had ranks like road captain and president. I mean, you wore badges and patches and, and tats like uniforms. I mean, when you guys used to all ride together, you looked like an army. Well, except for beards and bikes. Now that you mention it, I, I can see your point. You know, I'm actually surprised you weren't wearing the cut when you came into the camp. I didn't think anything would make you give that up. Even the end of the world. Okay, so my cut, huh? We're gonna have to see if the colonel will let me switch uniforms. You know, there is that. Where are we heading? Diamond Lake. There's an old forest service road that winds around the western base of Mount Tielsen. Okay. Is that here when you came over the pass? Yeah, but the soldiers stationed there were having uh, bear problems. Bear problems? Hey! Hey! Shut it off! You're gonna have to turn around, buddy. We got orders to keep anyone from- To keep anyone from what, Corporal? I'm sorry, ma'am, I didn't see it was you. It's, it's the Colonel, ma'am. He's given us orders to keep an eye out for anyone going AWOL. Are you accusing me of going AWOL? No, ma'am. Then get out of my way. <laughs> Corporal, what are you still doing there? Get the hell out of my way! Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry, ma'am. Jesus. I'll have to report this. Yeah, you do that. Well, that sounds serious! What do you mean? Well, he said he's gonna report you. I mean, how's Matt gonna take that? The Colonel will tell him to mind his own fucking business and to never question an officer. Oh my god! What's wrong? Nothing, it's just... 
I mean, the view up here, it, it's incredible. Uh, yeah. I guess I just don't see it anymore. Uh, pay attention to it, I mean. How can you not? It's, it's breathtaking. Yeah, the world wakes up, grateful for another dawn. Hey, if you spent all day staring into a microscope, you might appreciate it more. Oh, I appreciate it. You know, being around when the morning comes up is a hell of a lot better than the alternative. I gotta be honest. You know, there were times when I didn't believe that. About, you know, hoping to see another day. Yeah, I know the feeling. What kept you going? I mean, back then. Uh, I, I don't know. Just, uh, too goddamn stubborn to give up, I think. I don't believe you. I did give up, Sarah. I did. And then, I, I don't know. Loser's arm got fucked up, and I had to, I, I, I mean, I wasn't gonna let him die, you know, so watching him struggle to keep going when he had no reason, no fucking reason at all, I guess I didn't want to, I didn't want to let him down, so I, I didn't want to go out that way, and then I found out that, that you were still alive in that, that's, that's when I really wanted to. That's when I really wanted to kill myself. Yeah, right. No, seriously. But uh, then I remembered you still have my mongrel's ring. And that's, that's what kept me going. Figured I'd look you up, get it back. You know how that turned out. Shit. Exactly. Things are gonna get better, you know that, right? Yeah. Yeah. We can win this thing, Deacon. We can. Are you trying to convince me or you? Must be getting close, right? Yeah, we're coming up on the Tielsen Tunnel. to move that out of the way. My god, what the hell is that? That is a sigil. It's a warning sign from the Rippers. What's a Ripper? Rippers. Rest in peace. They were a cult. They cut themselves. They worshipped the freaks. They wanted to be like them. And, um, <laughs> you could see what happened if you didn't want to be like them. How do we deal with them if we run into them? We ain't gonna run into them. You can help move this or what? Yeah, sure. Okay, hang on. This is gonna be a tight squeeze. Jesus. No wonder everyone gave up their cars. This is nothing. There's a tunnel up in the old Belknap Road that Boozer and I rode through all the time. Traffic had been backed up at a narrow checkpoint for about a mile when everything got overrun. Sounds horrible. I've seen worse, but yeah. Hey, this looks familiar. Yeah, yeah, it's right up here. Wow. I never thought I'd see this place again. Okay, all right, the power's still on. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. There's a solar array on the main rooftop. I think I also heard rumors about a nuclear-powered generator, but I never saw it. Okay, well, how the hell are we gonna get in? Here, I'll show you. Like you said, power's still on, right? Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Iron Butte facility. It has been 751 days. 
Well, you guys are a little more high tech than I remember. <laughs> it's not really that impressive. Aerie's not intelligent. She's like a souped up smartphone app. Aerie? Artificial intelligence response interface. <clears throat> oh my god! What is it? Nothing. It's. There's so much food here. Sarah, this should be. It, it, it's the irrigation system. It's all self automated. So as long as the power's on, this is self sustaining. Oh, wow. Well, shit. This place has everything. It's got food, it's got water, it's got power, it's got a big fucking fence. I'm surprised no one is uh, camped out here. Well, it's like you said, the power is still on. That's 8,000 volts telling everyone to keep the fuck out. <gasps> See? Come on. made them so hyper-aggressive. Makes them a pain in my ass. I think we should be okay as long as we're quiet. Okay. Come on. Right. What the hell happened here? I don't know. What? Sarah, these, uh, these people all worked here, right? Did you know them? Yeah. Yeah, I knew them. Let's go, come on. So someone shot them all as they were what? Trying to leave? I mean, yeah, it looks like it. And then they just locked the place up tight and they left. Why would they do that? I don't know, Deacon. I don't know, I wasn't here. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Shit. This one's not working. Come on, there's another one over here. So, okay, so why is, um, what'd you call it, Aerie? Why is Aerie working at the front gate and not the front door? Honestly, I'm surprised she's working at all. I remember the guys in the IT department constantly complaining about the system going down, and th that was with weekly maintenance. And <laughs> now it's been, what, two years? Damn it, I, I don't understand why these aren't working. Hey, sir, what? you know how you said that no one could get in here? Yeah? Why? Maybe they're already here. <gasps> Motherfucker. My god, you're right. They've locked me out. Hey! Hey, let us in! We're not here to hurt you, and we're not here to stay! Oh, 
Let us in! Well, is there another way in? Yeah. Yeah, I've got an idea. Come on. There's a fire escape in the back of the maintenance building. But why won't they have that locked out, too? We don't know that they've locked out anything. I mean, it's probably just a glitch. The emergency exits can't be locked out. They're part of Cloverdale's safety protocols. Here, this is it. I just have to figure out how to get up there. Hold on, hold on. Uh, I can shoot the latch. Good shot. You done that before? Yeah, once or twice. Yeah, I don't know about this. Why don't you let me go in first? I don't know what happened back there in the parking lot, but I'm telling you, there's no way anyone could have gotten in past this fence. I know these people, and if Jim's in there, he's gonna let Jim, us in. Jim? Jim, the rent -a cop Jim? <sighs> Jim, who almost shot me when I tried to pick you Deacon, up. That was so long ago, and a lot's changed since then. <sighs> yeah, not for the better. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Good afternoon, Sarah Irene Whitaker. Welcome back to Cloverdale Research Iron Butte Facility. It has been seven minutes since your last login. Please wait. See, I told you. Those other doors must have been bugged or something. Ready? Open fire! Come on. Down. Mother is fucking. You were saying? Yeah. Not this world is stopping anything. Trust no one, expect the worst. I'm beginning to see your point on that. Alert. Stay up here and give me cover. Do whatever you can. Got it. I'll send you when it's clear. Hey, you need to get a Hey, if you get a clear shot, will you shoot those goddamn speakers? Your voice is driving me fucking crazy. I'm with you there. Warning. Deadly force is authorized for use against all it's trespassers. Clear. Warning. Deadly Coming. force is authorized. Alert. Alert. There we go. 911 has been called. Police are on their way. Stand down and you will not be harmed. Clear. Coming. Come on. Look out. Alert. Alert. We gotta get through stairs and through the sky. Thank you. Security personnel to the maintenance building. Get in there. It's clear. Coming. Warning. Deadly force is authorized for use against all trespassers. Warning. Deadly force is authorized. Alert. Alert. 911 has been called. Police are on their way. Stand down and you will not be called. It's locked. Alert. Hold on. Alert. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Police are on their Sarah way. Sarah Irene Whitaker, security has, has been hard. breached. The Cloverdale facility is in lockdown. Repeat. Override. ID 2007659. Override. Alert. Security this protocol is a Alpha Seven Six One has Multiple been overridden. Have been fired. Oh, security the personnel to the maintenance building. They must not have locked out under security. You ready? Yeah. This time, let me go in first. Hey, this time, we go in together. Warning: We're Deadly doing. force is for use against all trespassers. Warning: Shit. Deadly Snipers. force is authorized. I see him. Alert. 911 has been called. Police are on their way. Stand down and you will not be harmed. One more time. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659, security Alert. override and disable the fucking voice response. Alarm. Multiple <laughs> shots have been fired. Security <laughs> personnel to the maintenance building. Yeah. Jim, wait! That son of a bitch! 
Edge. Well, like you said, a lot's changed. Warning. Deadly force is authorized for use against all trespassers. Warning. Deadly force yeah, is authorized. Yeah. Clear in here. Nothing here. Alert. Alert. 911 has been called. Police are on their way. Stand down and you will not be harmed. It's clear. Same here. Alert. Alert. This is a level four alarm. Multiple shots have been fired. Security personnel to the maintenance building. Okay, it's clear. They're waiting for us in the atrium. Warning. Deadly force is authorized for use Come on, against let's try the door. all trespassers. Sarah Warning. Irene Whitaker, Deadly ID 2007659. Security override and disable the fucking voice response. Access denied. Sarah Irene Whitaker, your security clearance has been revoked. Alert. Please see an Alert. IT administrator for assistance. Has been called. Police are on Fucking their way. bitch! Stand down and you hey, will hey. not be harmed. Going in that way would have been a death trap anyway. Every gun on the other side of that door is aimed right here. We need a better plan. Oh yeah, Alert. you got one? Alert. This well, is maybe? a level four alarm. Uh, like, Multiple is there a way to that rooftop fire. from here? Security personnel to Over the maintenance here. building. Okay, there's a ledge out here. You should be able to climb up to the roof from that AC unit. You mean you should be able to climb Warning. up from there? Listen, I want you to go up there, lay down suppressing fire, keep their attention. Warning. When they're all Deadly looking up, I'm gonna authorized. go in from here, I'm gonna take them by surprise. Okay, yeah, that's a really good plan. But uh, there's, uh, there's one problem with it. What's that? The door's locked out, remember? Alert. Huh. Alert. Shit. Come on, Come on I have an idea. Called. Police what? are on their way. Stand down and you will not be harmed. Alert. Alert. This is a level four alarm. Multiple shots have been fired. Security personnel to the maintenance building. Wait, what are you doing? Yes, I'm in. Okay, they locked out security, but they forgot the admin codes. From this station, I can get you a temporary access code. All right, here's your ID code. Ready? Warning. Deadly uh, yeah. Is authorized for use your full name and ID 5429009. You got that? Is authorized. Uh, 5429009. Uh, is that right? Yeah, let's go. Alert. Alert. 911 has been called. Police are on their way. Stand down and you will not be harmed. Alert. Alert. This is a level four alarm. Multiple shots have been fired. Security personnel to the maintenance building. Here, I'm gonna need you to help me up. Okay, hold on. Ready? Warning. Yep. Deadly force is <clears throat> you got it? For use against all trespassers. Yeah. Warning. Deadly force Wait until I get their attention, then you go in. Hey, don't take any chances. Are you kidding me? These days. Okay. Go. Alert. Alert. 911 has been called. Police are on their way. Stand down and you will not be harmed. Get more! I know you're in there! Thank you. Answer me, goddammit! Deacon Lee St. John. ID 5429009. Good morning, you're Deacon Lee St. John. Welcome to Cloverdale Research Iron Beach Facility. This is your Damn first project. Like Please this. disable voice responses. Come on, get her! <laughs> Damn it, okay, you listen to me! Oh, the hell with you! You should have left when you had the chance! I'm blind! I'm blind! has been called. Police are on their way. Stand down and you will not be harmed. Uh. 
That's the last of them. Alert. Alert. This is a level <sighs> four right alarm. Here. Multiple bring shots it to have you. been fired. Security personnel to the maintenance building. Hands! Don't shoot! Hands! Don't shoot! I give up! Get I give up. up! Don't shoot him! We need him alive! Oh God damn it! I said hands! All right, all right. Just, just tell me what you want. Okay. All right. He's clean. We were just defending ourselves. Get down there. All the dead people outside, Jim. You know, the ones you shot in the head? I don't know what you're talking about. I mean, what was it, huh? What were they trying to do? Get home to their families, maybe bring them back here? But you didn't want that, did you? We just couldn't take the risk. Get up. Wait, wait, wait. I can't. Don't make me. Jim, I'm gonna count to three. No, 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 no. One. You don't understand. Two. Look, don't do this. Three. Open the goddamn door. All right, all right. I hope you know what you're doing. Thank you, Jim. Yes, we know what we're doing. You don't have to do this. Let me go. I'm sorry. We just can't take the risk. <laughs> Come on. I want to get the hell out of here. It's all true. I didn't want to believe it. What are you talking about? This is my fault. I, I don't understand. Your I should fault. have seen it when it first went in. I mean, we used to grow wild ginger and, and grape root here. And then all of this changed. They sealed everything off. They took away my clearance. God, David kept telling me. He kept telling me that something was wrong. Okay, okay. Who's, who's David? So David Gorman. He was this research intern. You know what I said? I told him that we're a farm and we're, we're high tech and all that shit and that there are billions of dollars at stake and to just leave it alone. Then he didn't listen. He hacked the system, he got behind the firewall, he told me that this was some sort of classified project or something. Classified I don't know. Classified project, just he slow wanted, down and... He wanted to be the next Edward Snowden. You see, he wanted to blow the lid off of this entire thing. David Gorman... He exposes the evil empire and saves the world and all that shit, and I didn't listen to him, Deacon. I told him that he was being paranoid. And he must have broken in here and then gotten some sample of whatever the hell they were cooking in here. Well, I don't understand. What do you mean? I pieced it together myself a little while later. The night that I was stabbed, I, I went to the Cloverdale office in farewell, and I went to, to go try and find David, but he was already gone. He'd been gone for two weeks. There was this big green expo in Portland. He must have gone to see a reporter. He was probably infected and he didn't even know it yet. Oh my God. And two days later, two days later, everybody at that conference was infected and then they all got on planes and they went home. 
And a week later, two and a half billion people were dead. Sarah, this isn't, this couldn't be your fault. I mean, you couldn't have stopped them. You How don't could you understand. have stopped them? It's, it's the research. My research was a part of this. Deacon, I was a part of this. They, they used me. <laughs> Hey, uh, hold on for a second. Uh, the electric fences, how would I turn them off? Uh, the power relays are in a building by the greenhouse is why. Okay, um, it's just that there's a lot of food here, and I was thinking about radioing Boozer, letting him and Ricky know, letting Lost Lake Camp know. Do you think you could load that up? Yeah, sure. Okay, um, I'm gonna be right there. Okay. That does it. Burn, you little bastards. This will work. Now I just gotta jimmy that door. Got it. Boozer, it's, it's Deacon. Come back. Lost Lake Camp, is anyone there? Deke? Deke, is that you? Yeah, Boozer, it's me. Hey, it is good to hear from you, brother. Good to hear from you, too. Listen, I don't, I got a lot of time. Uh, the, the research facility that Sarah used to work at, the one near Iron Butte, the one near the Ripper, you know the one that I'm talking about, right? So listen, there's food here. Lots of food, corn, so tell Ricky, tell Iron Mike, tell him to send someone. Wait, you found her? What, you found Sarah? Yeah, I found her. It was man, I found her. That is <laughs> awesome, Dick! When are you bringing her back? What, to Lost Lake? No, I'm not gonna get into that right now. Dick? Yeah. Tell her. Tell her. Be safe, okay? Be safe. Boozer. Boozer, Boozer. Lost Lake Camp, come in. Ah, damn it. Uh, Lost Lake, come in. Ricky. Okay, good, listen up. Uh, D? Yeah, yeah, it's me. Uh, listen, there's a- I don't think we hear from you again. Iron Mike said you weren't coming back. Uh, look, I don't have a lot of time. Listen, there's this... Did you find her? Yeah, yeah, I found her. Ricky? I'm glad, Deke. You were right. We made it. I'm glad she did, too. Deke? Yeah, okay, listen, there's this farm, okay? Uh, there's a uh, power. It's got electrical fences. Electric fences, okay. And if you come here, it, ask Boozer. It's where Sarah used to work. Uh, by Iron Butte, he's gonna know the place. You come over here, you're gonna find food. You're gonna find lots of food. <laughs> okay. Oh, how's he doing? Oh, um, good, good. You'll never believe who Iron Mike made head of security. Are you kidding? <laughs> wow, that's great. Um, 
Could you tell... You know what? Listen, I, I gotta go, Ricky. But, you know what? Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Ah, uh, that thing you said about, uh, lighting a candle? I think maybe you were right. I know. Ricky out. Bye, Ricky. St. John, this is Curry. Where are you? One of my men reported that you went through his checkpoint at the Tielsen Pass. Yeah, Captain. Uh, there's a research facility in Iron Butte. It's, um, it's like Sarah, uh, Lieutenant Whitaker said, there's an important piece of equipment that she needed. And this was where... And this was the only place that she could get it. She's not answering her radio. The Colonel wants to know why you're not back yet. Tell him, uh, tell him we're on our way. The Colonel wants to speak to you. Sorry, Captain, you're breaking up. Uh, heading out right now. St. John out. Did, uh, you talk to him? To Boozer? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I told him that you're fine and we're fine and that uh, I had to get moving because we have to try to make it over the pass before the weather turns. What do you think? I don't know. It doesn't look good. But it's worth a try, so uh, let's get moving. <laughs> It's clear. Are you gonna come out and eat something? Soaking wet. Excuse me. I never thought I'd get warm again. Do you want to eat something or? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. God, I'm not even hungry. Yeah, neither am I. You call me? Come here. Come here.
What's up with you? St. John, come in. This is Corporal St. John. Uh, what's up, Captain? I need you to head back to command. Stat. Meet me at the infirmary. The infirmary? What's wrong? There's been an incident. I'm on my way. Okay, what the hell? Uh, Lieutenant Whitaker, uh, are you there? Sarah? Come in. Sarah? Oh, God damn it. Huh? Ah, okay. See ya, Corporal. Go. Go. Hey, what's going on? Captain? Dr. Jimenez has been murdered. The son of a bitch. Jesus Christ. Slit his throat from here to Where's here. Where's Taylor? Did, did Taylor see anything? All the narcotics in the camp are gone. <coughs> Taylor. This one's on me. I assigned him to the infirmary. Mm, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying Taylor was a junkie. You knew? It doesn't matter. Anymore. This day, as the sun sets on this island, it also sets on the life of a great man. Captain Arturo Jimenez. Doc, to many of you, is gone. Taken from us on the eve of our great victory. Captain Jimenez was murdered. Slaughtered. His life ripped from him. His blood, even now, soaks the tent where he toiled, hour after hour, tending our sick, our injured, our wounded. The great tragedy here is not that a good man needlessly lost his life, though for that I am indeed very sorry. The great tragedy here is that he could not be replaced. Dr. Jimenez was the only trained physician in our ranks, perhaps in all the world. My eyes have been opened. I see now the great mistake we have made. We have filled our ark with books and seeds and discs. Medical journals, medical books and encyclopedia we have in spades. But who now, when this terrible war is over? will teach us how to use them. Journals can be replaced. Books and encyclopedia can be replaced. Dr. Jimenez, our only doctor, cannot be replaced. Sure has. Yeah. 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 I go now to grieve in private. I suggest you do the same. Company dismissed. St. John and Captain Curry. This is Curry. Hey, uh, I'm gonna go after Taylor. Yeah. Several patrols have already been set out. Yeah. Curry's furious. 
Yeah, I'll bet. That was a good guy. Captain Jimenez was the only doctor we had. Look, Taylor mentioned something about heading up to the ski lodge. I'm gonna go there and see if I can find it. Radio me if you do. The corporal. The colonel wants Taylor alive. Yeah. Copy that. St. John out. Captain Corey, um, at the Diamond Lake outpost, I assume? Copy that. <clears throat> Let's see. It should work. Corporal St. John, are you there? I need you to report to me in command at your convenience. Colonel! Of course, sir! St. John out! This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. Before the shit went down, you talked about global conspiracy. Most would have laughed you out of the room. South America? What we didn't know is that the Trilateral Commission had a hand in it. You know about those guys. An NGO that wants North America, Western Europe, and Japan to, quote, foster cooperation, unquote. <laughs> yeah, they fostered something. You know they picked the places that got hit first. But someone betrayed America. And don't think I'm giving the United Nations a walk here either. They've been giving terrorist nations a seat at the table for years. Could be. The UN is out there running just fine without us. And one of our former friends has a seat on the Security Council. Think about it. Nero's got a clear hand in this. But they need a lot of help to start this war. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. Who knows, Cope, maybe you're right for a change. If you had any idea what they were cooking up inside Cloverdale, in your goddamn backyard, you'd have a heart attack. I hope this is high enough. Boozer, it's Deacon, come back. Lost Lake Camp, is anyone there? Deek? Deek, is that you? I can barely hear you, you're, you're cutting out. Where the hell are you? Crater Lake, uh, believe it or not. Hey, uh, I, I... It's good to hear from you again, brother. I uh, thought maybe, uh, thought maybe you were heading back. Uh, no, Boozer, not yet. It's, uh, it, it's complicated. Look, uh, I'm just... I'm just sort of checking in. To see how, you know, how everything's going. Good, good, Deke. Things are going good. You'll never guess who the old man put in charge of security. Wait, you? Yeah, you got it. I guess he figured, you know, with only one arm, I can only cause half as much trouble. Okay. Yeah, like I said, I just I just wanted to check in. Yeah, it was good to hear from you, brother. <laughs> yeah, you too.
St. John, you there? Yeah, Weaver. I'm here. Uh, hey, call me Jim, man. Listen, I never said thank you for helping me out. And look, I'm just following orders. Well, thank you. You can change it, not the shit. It's gonna be for me. This napalm shit's almost good to go. We're gonna need you to help test it pretty soon. Let's take a look around. All right, where? Gotcha. I gotta find a way inside. Hey, what's going on? What's up? What's up? What's up? Could make something out of this. I saw someone. Taylor. Is Dickens say John? How are we doing, Taylor? <laughs> that fucked up, man. They didn't mean to kill him, man. He wasn't supposed to be there. I... <laughs> Doc was a good guy, man. He fucking, he fucking helped me. He helped me. Come on, get up. No. I don't want to hang, man. <laughs> I don't want to hang. I don't want to hang. I, I don't want to hang. Hey, listen to me, Taylor. <laughs> Taylor. You kick and you kick Wade. and you shit yourself, all those fucks standing at attention. And they're laughing at you. They're laughing at you. I don't wanna I don't wanna Please don't let them hang me.
St. John. In here. Overdose. God damn it. Bring the body outside. I don't care what a man's done. We never leave him for the freaks. I can tell you right now, the Colonel's not going to be happy about this. Well, when we found him, he was already dead. Overdosed. We recovered most of the drugs, not all. As if the world hasn't seen enough corruption and decay. As if the world isn't already filled to overflowing with mindless, soulless creatures. Take these to the infirmary. And this time, assign someone who isn't a goddamn junkie. Yes, sir. I'm here. You sound kind of cheerful. I've had a breakthrough. Look, all I needed was that DNA sequencer. I'm ready to test it. Deacon, I'm ready to test my serum. Wow. Okay. Um, what do you need from me? I'll tell you when you get here. Sarah, out. Why are we burning all this crap? <clears throat> Isn't the world screwed up enough as it is? That is adding <clears throat> pollution on top of it. <coughs> Shit, we... Wait, hold up. You want one alive? Oh, kind of hard to run tests on something dead. Here. What, what, what is that? It's a special tranquilizer. It'll help you knock it out long enough so you can bring it back here. I am so close, Deacon. This could be it. Yes, ma'am. Hey, I was just heading out to find you a nude. Great. Okay, there's a specific one that I need, all right? Oh, wait, hold on for a second. A specific newt? South of here, just off Rim Drive, is an old resort cabin. It's now home to an entire colony of infected kids. Newts. Okay. Okay, so radio me when you get there. Sarah, out. <laughs> colony of newts. Oh, my God, this I gotta see. St. John, report. Hey, Captain. I'm on a run for Lieutenant Whitaker, so I'm kind of busy at the moment. Understood. Report to me when you're finished. We're ready to test Beaver's weapon. Hurry up. Shit. Well, so much for Sarah beating Weaver to the finish line. Sarah, I'm here. wearing a red shirt. One of those kids' shirts that says, like, Teensy Tabby or something. I'm surprised the Colonel hasn't burned this place out yet. I told Matt the site was hands-off. I've been running blood tests with several of the youngest ones for months. I need them for the serum. Okay, uh, how am I supposed to get the one that you want without killing the rest? I don't know, just, just do what you have to do, okay? I need the female wearing the red shirt. Yeah, not bad.
Got you, you little shit. Oh, Jesus. You wanted a live one? You get a live one. Oh, fucking Jesus Christ. Uh, hey, Captain, uh, pistol over my bike. Uh, yeah, the Colonel doesn't allow for pets on the island, I'm afraid. <laughs> uh, Lieutenant needed a live test subject. Uh, you two seem to be getting along well. You and Lieutenant Whitaker? Just doing my job, sir. You know, keep it professional, Corporal. The Colonel doesn't allow for fraternization between enlisted men and officers. Oh, no, no, no. It can't have any of that, sir. Right. Carry on. Yes, sir. Okay. Come on, help me! Come on! Come on! So much for your tranquilizer. Yeah, well, the biology's kind of fucked right now. What do you want me to do? I can't get the right dosage. Here, hold on, hold on. This is what I've been working on. How long? Hold on, just a few seconds. Oh, shit. Holy shit. God damn. <laughs> well, whew. I don't know what you put in that. That shit went down fast. Damn it! <laughs> but you're, you're... You're not making a bioweapon, you're... Oh my god, are you, are you... Are you trying to cure it? I thought... Once I got the original cell line from Cloverdale that I could create antibodies for the virus, and I could reverse engineer it. Jesus. And now all of that work, everything that I have worked on is for nothing. I can't save them. Nothing's gonna be able to change them back. So get up, dust yourself off. Try again. Were you not seeing what just happened? Every cell in that kid's body just exploded. That's exactly why you can't quit. What? Because you called it a kid. Do you have any idea how many of these things that I've killed? And it never once occurred to me, you know what, that used to be someone's kid. You know, I met this girl once. And she used to talk about the freakers the same way you do. She used to call them sick people. I thought that was crazy, but she looks at them the same way that you do. So you think I'm crazy? No, no. I think you're the first sane person I've seen in two years. You know, I still remember the night that I lost you, but I'm starting to realize it wasn't the night that I had left you on that chopper. It was the next night. Me and Boozer, we rode into that refugee camp that you were supposed to be waiting at, right? Except there's freakers everywhere. The choppers are on fire. There's people screaming, so many people. 
And so we fought, and we won, and what did we get? Bodies. Bodies everywhere. And I checked every corpse, every face. There must have been a thousand of them, maybe more. I checked every single one. That was the night that I lost you. And Boozer. Boozer, you know, he's... <laughs> He just, he was just trying to keep me together for the next two years. But I didn't give a shit about any of it. And then I see this Nero chopper flying around in the sky and I start to feel something. I'm thinking, you know what? Fuck you. Fuck you. Because even if she is alive, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna find her, we're gonna ride away, we're never gonna look back. Because I don't wanna be part of some militia. I don't wanna fight in a war and I don't wanna live in some camp. So why are you still here? Because of you. All of this, seeing how hard you work. Seeing how dedicated you are. Most people out there are just trying to survive, and here you are. Trying to save the goddamn world. Yeah, well. I'm not doing a very good job. So you get up. You dust yourself off. And you try again. We're going back to Cloverdale. They got better equipment. We're gonna dig into their research deeper. You would do that. You would help me. Yeah, I would. I would because you believe in this. Don't give up. We'll ride north. Yeah, we'll ride north. We'll, we'll tell them that we're going on a supply run. Yeah, but we're not coming back. No, we're gonna go AWOL. You know, if they catch us, they will hang us. Then we hang together. Ma'am? <clears throat> yeah? Deke, Colonel wants to see you. Be right there. Pack up what you need, I'll be back. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Corporal St. John. Colonel, sir. Come with me, please. Are we ready? Colonel, sir. Yes, sir. That shit is locked and loaded. Uh, bike's already loaded, sir. I'm not sure if I understand. Lieutenant Weaver's weapon is finished. We're ready to test it. Hell yeah. Are you ready to burn down a horde? Oh. Something wrong, Corporal? No, sir. No, no, no. Um, hell yeah. Let's get this done. All right. Now you're talking, man. Gentlemen, this is the start of a new era. Carry on. Lieutenant Weaver, with me. Yes, sir. I figured that I think we should... you should stay up here and let me do this alone. What the fuck? You got a death wish? No. That's why I think I should go in alone. Look, even with Weaver's jacked up Molotovs, we can't take an entire horde all at once. No. So, uh... Right, I figure I go down there. I get their attention. I pull off a few at a time and then I run like hell. And I gotta find some way to... Slow them down, maybe set a few traps. And then I blow them to hell. Look, two of us running around down there. It's gonna be chaos. We'll just pull the horde down on each other. No, you stay up here. You keep an eye on me. Shit goes south. You ride in there, you get me the hell out. Hmm? Unless you got a better plan. I got nothing. <laughs> I've got more Molotovs, ammo, in my saddlebags. Good, good. Uh, shit's gonna come in handy. What did you drive? Tell me your plan again. 
Like I said, find a way to slow them down. The sons of bitches like to clump up, climb all over each other. I can find a narrow space between the trucks and buildings. Whatever. It'll take them a while to get through. Once I get some space between me and them, you'll blow them the hell up. You got it. Rinse, repeat. Uh, a few times. No more horde. That's your plan. Oh, that's my plan. Good luck, St. John. Ox oh, got nothing to do with it. All right, I'm heading in. I see you. Let me know if you need my help. <laughs> Copy that. Should do the trick.
for a Molotov. Hurry, please. Please, just open it. No problem. No problem. More bounties. Sarah, are you there? Uh, Lieutenant Whitaker, this is Corporal St. John reporting in. Come back. Oh, where the hell are you? Captain, uh, I just tried to check in with Lieutenant Whitaker and she's not answering. Couldn't wait to tell her the good news? Yeah, she'll be thrilled. I bet. We'll see her soon enough. Don't radio Lieutenant Weaver. I want to tell him the news in person. Okay, you earned that. <laughs> Copy that. St. John out. <sighs> we did it. You did it. Uh, Weaver did it. Oh. I've never seen anything like this. With the way you were one step ahead of them? Ever had a horde breathing down your neck? It really keeps the adrenaline flowing. <sighs> the Colonel's right. Maybe we can win this war. Hey! How'd it go? Oh, I'm sorry, Lieutenant. Oh, shit. It didn't work? Oh, I'm sorry, Lieutenant. But you're out of a job. Hell yeah, it worked. Oh, yeah! <laughs> you should have been there, man. We really lit him up. Oh, man! We're gonna celebrate tonight. The officer's mess. <laughs> All right, looks like somebody's getting a promotion. Hey, man, you coming? Uh, you know what, let me, I'm gonna catch up with you. I gotta, I gotta take care of something first. All right, you handle that. That's the last of it. Be careful not to break anything. Some of these things are irreplaceable. What's going on? Uh. Where is the lieutenant? Corporal St. John. I'm sorry, sir. It's all right, son. All essential personnel doing R&D have been moved. Moved? Where? Uh, because I need to deliver these supplies that she asked for. I understand. There's... been a... Walk with me, son. Please. Colonel's orders. Matt, you can't do this. You can't keep me locked in here. That is, Captain. And then the Lord said to Noah, Enter the ark, you and all your household. For you alone I have seen to be righteous before me in this time. Matt, what are you talking about? I'm sorry, you Lieutenant. You can't... Colonel, wait! Hey! It's fine. It's fine. Man, I got the, uh, supplies that you asked for. Come on in. Follow me. I've been working on a new assignment. Poison this time. Listen. When you pick this, you have to do it carefully. If you don't, it could kill you. Understood. I'm gonna get you out of here. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. St. John, this is Captain Curry. Come in. I'm here. Kevin. The Colonel has asked to see you. You'll find him in his chambers inside the Ark. His chambers? If you go in from the main camp, past the first storage area, there's a passage off to the left. Okay, uh, any idea what he wants? Something about a duty roster. Don't keep him waiting, Corporal. No, sir. Your name has been mentioned for an important project coming up. Keep your nose clean. 
There might be a promotion in your future. Yes, sir. Korea. Important project. What project? Hey, sir, you there? Come in. Corporal St. John, I won't tolerate insubordination. Private, I'm trying to work. Get out. Sorry, ma'am. Colonel's orders. You gotta keep eyes on you 24 7. Uh, Lieutenant. Sorry. Yeah, just reporting in. Um, I got a question about your requisition form. Yes, Corporal. Uh, it says that you need me to collect water hemlock. Yes. It grows along the edges of wetlands. Look along the north edge of the Klamath Marsh. You should be able to find it there. Klamath Marsh. Got it. Remember, Corporal. It's highly poisonous. The most toxic plant that grows in North America. O okay, I'll be careful. And the last report said that there were infected crows in the area, so you might want to take something to burn out their nests. Burn out their nests. Got it. Uh, one more thing. Uh, that other project that I'm working on? I'm gonna have more information on that soon. Thank you, Corporal. Lieutenant Whitaker, out. I gotta need some shotgun ammo. Burn out the nests. Uh, sir, I was... You know when I was young? We used to explore caves like these. Looking for petroglyphs, carvings by the Modoc, other tribes. Thousands of years old. You know, they never lived in these caves, the heathens. In the cold and the dark. But look at us. Look how far we have fallen. Colonel, Colonel, I, I was... The soldier who used to be assigned to Lieutenants Whitaker and Weaver, the soldier you replaced, has gone AWOL. He broke into my private chambers and took my personal copy of the Holy Bible. I want it returned. Yes, sir. I've marked his last known location on your map. Dismiss, Corporal. Deacon, uh, Corporal St. John. Good to see you, man. Sarge. Corporal St. John. O'Brien, I know you're in this chip. Drifter! I didn't think I'd ever hear from you again. The radio's been dead. I turned it off. Yeah, I turned it off. Look, I need your help. I'm listening. My wife. The woman you helped me track. Oh, Wife, the woman you helped me track down. I remember. I found her, O'Brien. She 
she's alive. That's incredible. The odds of her making it out. No, I, look, I don't have time. Look, I found her. She's alive. But she's being held by uh, the militia. The guys that you told me about. I'm sorry. <clears throat> okay, look, I don't need your goddamn sympathy. I need your help. She's being held in a place I can't get to her. I need you to help me to break her out. You know I can't do that. Wait a second. Okay, but there's something you have to do for us first. You name it, I will do anything. Keep your radio on this time. I'll be in touch. Okay, O'Brien. O'Brien! Oh, damn it! Brian! Okay, where the hell have you been? Meet me at the coordinates I've just transmitted. O'Brien out. O'Brien. Oh, O'Brien! Oh, oh, Jesus, he's... Goddammit. Corporal St. John, this is Colonel Garrett. Report. Yes, sir. Corporal, good, yes. Another traitor was discovered in our midst. A spy looking for the anarchists. Anarchists, again. Yes, you remember. He escaped before he could be abandoned. He was chased north, but our patrol lost him. I've marked the position he was last seen on our map. We need him alive, Corporal. We need to find out what he was doing here, how much he knows, and what his group wants. Yes. Dear Croc, okay, this pretty much looks like a marsh. Let's go look. Yeah. Hemlock, yeah. Well, here's some. And here's some more. More hemlock, more hemlock. Need more hemlock. Oh, God damn it. She was right. Criers. Oh, damn infected crows. Never gonna leave me alone if I don't burn out their nests. I need more. Okay, just a few more. I gotta find more. <sighs> that should do it. St. John, this is Colonel Garrett. Report. Yes, sir. Corporal, good, yes. Another traitor was discovered in our midst. A spy working for the anarchists. Anarchists? Yes, you remember. He escaped before he could be apprehended. He was chased north, but our patrol lost him. I've marked the position he was last seen on the map. We need him alive, Corporal. We need to find out what he was doing here. What she knows and what his group wants. Yes, sir. I'll do my best. As to me, as to me, dismissed. This is Ricky to Lost Lake. Come back. Yeah, Ricky, what's up? Ricky? Boozer! Can you hear me? Deacon to Lost Lake Camp. Come back. Just, uh, checking in to see what else Addie needed. She... God damn it. 
damn it, Ricky, I don't know. Oh, Iron Mike said... Boozman! Ricky! Well, give him hell, Boozman. Give him hell. <laughs> Good. Purple St. John, I need to see you. I'll be at the Diamond Lake Outpost. Copy that. I'll be there as soon as I can. A short while ago, I stood here before you and grieved for the loss of Captain Jimenez, our only doctor and my very dear friend. And for what great purpose did Captain Jimenez perish? So that a drug addict, a worthless excuse of a human being, could get high. Jimenez died because he stood between a junkie and a bag full of narcotics. I have taken steps to see that this never happens again. For their own safety, I have moved Lieutenants Whitaker and Weaver into the Ark where they will be under protective watch 24 hours a day. The call is going out. Any person who has highly trained knowledge and skills, skills that cannot be replaced, mechanics, engineers, scientists, medical personnel, are to be taken from active duty and removed to the Ark until this war is over. From now on, no one is allowed entrance into the Ark unless they are on special assignment and unless they are personally vetted by myself. There will be no exceptions. I am beginning to see, I'm afraid, that our enemy has never been the freaks. They know not what they do. Mankind, in all his state of degradation and transgression, is our true enemy. Keep a watchful eye on your neighbors. Evil surrounds us. Company dismissed.
Well, would you like to taste it? Go right ahead. Thank you, Corporal. I hope you were careful. This is very toxic. Yeah. Yeah, sure thing, ma'am. Uh, listen, I got a plan. I don't have time to explain, but the next time I get here, get ready to get the hell out of here, okay? Corporal. I didn't thank you this time. As you were. Hey, Weaver. Oh, Corporal St. John. Come on in, man. Check out my home sweet home. Yeah, I love what you've done with the place. Man, ain't I... this some shit? Wonder what they would have done with me if I failed. No. Oh, colder cave down that way. Yeah. I heard about that. You know, she didn't take it any better than I did. No, she did not. Do you need anything? Nah, man, I'm good. Oh, wait, you know what? There is something you can get from me. You hear that? Hear what? That's right. Nothing. Colonel ain't exactly big on tunes, in case you hadn't heard. I think it's Mennonite or some shit. Oh, it's dancing. Wait, what's dancing? Dude, Mennonites, they love music. They just have a problem with dancing. Forget it. Oh, it's... no shit. Yeah, whatever, dude. I don't care. I need an MP3 player. Earbuds. Anything. Sounds. Are you kidding me? Do I look like I'm kidding? Okay. Thank you. hear you, though. You're breaking up. This is damn pain. I'm surprised this didn't get tired at all. Hey, I know where you can find an MP3 player. Okay. Yeah. Where's that? I was at a refugee camp at a community college when it got overrun. Community college? Uh, the one east of here off Highway 97? Yeah, that's the one. With the fighting platypus or some shit. Yo, anyway, when I bugged out, I left everything behind, including my tomb. Oh, shit, I gotta go. Wait a minute when you get there. We've out. Uh, sure, Weaver, whatever you say.
So, uh, what do you want from me, O'Brien? I'm glad she's alive, your wife. Okay, what, what do you want? I told you the infected, the freaks, are mutating. Some faster than others. Uh-huh. We placed a tracking bracelet on one of them so that we could track it and stop it periodically and draw blood samples and check the progress of the virus. Okay, so why do you need me? Well, it's wandered into militia territory. Oh, right. We can't get close to it. Yeah, no fly zone, outpost with RPGs. Exactly. What's this? Once you've tracked it down, I'm gonna need you to do something for me. This pack holds everything you need to do a field biopsy. We need blood and tissue samples. Can you handle that? Yeah, I can figure it out. By the way, nice uniform, Corporal. Suits you. Suck it. <laughs> the tracking signal is coming from somewhere around Mount Scott. There's a cave. The subject you're tracking has a super elevated metabolism. We think it might be headed there. If there's something else we'd like you to check, we did send a team in on foot. They never came back. Just let me know if you find them. We got people here looking for some closure. So, uh, what else can you tell me about this freak you're tracking? We don't have all the answers. All we know is that the infected are mutating. We're talking about leaping past millions of years of evolution. We think they're communicating with each other the way ants and bees and other... You know... To me, sounds like a whole lot of mumbo-jumbo. Believe what you want. Once you see our test subject, you'll change your mind. O'Brien out. <sighs> O'Brien, well, I'm at the cave and I'm heading in. You guys gonna be ready? Yes, we're standing by. Oh, Jesus. Eh, freaker shit. Freaker shit everywhere. Hey, O'Brien, uh, you got any idea what took out your men? Am I walking into a horde here? No idea. We never heard back from them. Remember, if you find them, we got people here who'd be grateful. Grateful? Grateful, yeah, that changes everything. Yeah, I got it. Good. I'll take care of it. Out. O'Brien. How many men are in here? Uh, how many did you, did you lose? Four. Four men. A researcher and three soldiers. Jesus, O'Brien, what am I doing in here? The researcher, Coop, is a personal friend of mine. You do this and I'll do whatever I can to help you get your wife, O'Brien, out. O'Brien, so while I'm tracking down your pet freak, give me some more mumbo jumbo. Uh, tell me about the virus. I mean, something that I don't know. For those exposed, the virus infection rate is close to 100%. In the first weeks, almost everyone under the age of 12 was killed. Something to do with how puberty, or the lack of it, affected the body's immune response. Everyone over the age of 60 mostly were also killed. Their bodies just couldn't handle the rapid genetic mutations on a cellular level. Everyone else who is exposed becomes transformed as the genes mutate. The thing is, the virus is mutating at an exponential rate. I know you keep saying that. What does that mean? It means that the infected subject, the freaker you're tracking down, isn't like any you've seen before. We've tracked and identified over 12 mutations. 12? Yeah, and that's just the beginning. You wouldn't believe some of the shit we've seen. Probably would. That doesn't look good. Oh shit. What the hell happened? Oh, Brian. I found your last man. ID reads Cooper. Copy that. No, no! Oh, no, no! Hold up, he's still alive. Hold on. Hey, <laughs> Cooper, Cooper. Hey, 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 hey. Right here, right here. We're gonna get you out of here, right? Now. Cooper! Cooper, come in! Sorry, shoot. Where's that? 
Come on. Oh, Jesus. What's going on, Deacon? Cooper! His legs are broken. Hold on, stay with him. I'm sending in another team. No, no, no. Well, he's compromised. I'm not gonna make it. Let me talk to Jen. Get Jen in here, now! Cooper, what the hell did this to you? What happened? It was so fast. I just didn't see it coming. Are you telling me that a freak did all of this? Reacher. Reacher. Cooper! Cooper! Are you there? Jen? I'm here. I can't hear you. I can't believe it. I thought I'd never hear you more. We're gonna get you out of here. Do you hear me? Go! 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 So what the hell am I dealing with here, O'Brien? Fuck. The guys in the lab nicknamed it the Reacher. The Reacher. What is it? It's got long arms, claws, and... No, it's just... The Reacher should have a tracking device. Take it. To take it, we can use it to guide you out. What? How? How, O'Brien? We have infrared. We can track the horde's movements. Take it! Oh, Jesus. Oh. I hope this was worth it, O'Brien. O'Brien, I got your samples. Hey, John! Get out of there! What? Get out of there now! There's a horde coming! You've got to be kidding me! Jesus, O'Brien. You made it out. Yeah, I made it out, no thanks to you. Transmitting coordinates. O'Brien out. Boozer, you there? Lost Lake Camp, I'm in. Deke! That's good to hear from you, brother. How's it going? Yeah, it's, uh, everything's fine. Booze, man, it's, uh, I'm okay. Yeah? Bullshit. How long did we ride together? What's going on, brother? Uh, I, look, Sarah, it's a long story, but she's she's part of the militia down here. She wants to come back with me, but now they, uh, 
They're forcing her to stay, Boozman. They're not gonna let us leave. What the hell? Forcing you to stay? Oh, Jesus, Dean. Where are you? Okay, I'm gonna grab Iron Mike, uh, uh, Ricky, some men. Look, we'll find a way down there. We'll... we'll... Boozer, no. No, you don't understand. They got hundreds of men, and they are armed. Shit, they stole from the National Guard, the military, and the... the... I don't give a shit what they've got. We're gonna... Oh, God damn it! listen to me. You, we cannot let the Colonel, their leader, find out about Lost Lake. He's crazy, Boozer. Bad shit fucking crazy. The militia, they're attacking every camp that they come across. Drifters, squatters, campers, makes no difference to them. Oh, Jesus, Dean. Look, I got this. I got this figured out. Just to, if anything happens to me, if, if you don't hear from me again, then... Deke, I'm... I think you're gonna figure this out, like you said. Okay, you, you get Sarah, and you get her the hell out of there, you hear me? Yeah, booze man, I hear you. Alright, that's more like it. Now uh, uh, you're cutting out, I, I can't... Deke? Deke? I hear you, brother. I hear you, Deacon out. Brian, four men died from this shit. Hope it was worth it. Jesus, listen to you. Those are my men. I don't need you or anyone else telling me. You fly around in your helo well above the shit, and you crawl back into what? Cozy underground bunker, or whatever the fuck. You have no idea what it's like out here. I don't have to what a shit. Survive. Oh, you know, those men, Cooper, the others, they had no idea what they were walking into, but you did. Didn't you? Huh? Didn't you? Radio me when you and your old lady are ready to be lifted out. Maybe this time you'll get on the chopper with her. Renegade Patrol, goddammit! St. John out. Gotta take a closer look. All right, what have we got? Back on track. Colonel, have spotted him. Oh, come on! You're not gonna make this easy on me, are you? I'm going to run you down! Just making this harder! How you doing, buddy, huh? 
Looks like you're having a chaotic day, yeah? Just the way you like it? Oh, you won't take me alive. Well, I think I already did. Ah, don't matter much to me one way or the other. Goddamn anarchists. Colonel, I've don't got him. Transmitting here. the coordinates now. Good work, Corp. Wait! Wait, you can't leave me! The freaks! Weaver, I'm here. St. John! All right, man. Uh, hey, I was housed in some kind of tent. It was like right in the middle of camp. Okay. Uh, can you tell me anything else to make them on? They all kind of look the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. good old stars and stripes. Very patriotic. All right, well, I'll have a look. St. John... Here they are. It's gotta be it. There's the flag. <laughs> Still flying. Here, here it is. I hope it's worth all this trouble, Weaver. Reporting in. Did the uh, patrol get the prisoner? Corporal, I'm afraid not. I went to retrieve him, he's dead. Poison killed himself. We're not sure how. I'm sorry, sir. Don't be. Whatever knowledge he had about us died with him. Yes, sir. St. John out.
Hey. Hey, man, how'd you do? Uh, this is all I could find. Oh, oh man, what do we have here? Oh! Brother! You're a lifesaver, dude! Right on. Thank you. Uh, do you need anything else, Weaver? Weaver, do you need... Totally. Mm, mm. Hey, Corporal St. John! You one of the good ones, man! Brother from another mother. Corporal. Hey. Hey, Sarge. Okay. Got it. Corporal St. John, at Deke. See you around. Corporal Deacon St. John. <laughs> they get the best shit on Wizard Island. Cheap and buying a new one, right? Come on, am I right? Well, yeah, makes sense. I'd do that if I had enough credits, you know? Oh, big spender. Credit burning a hole in your man purse, or what? There you go. Okay, now that's more like it. Yeah, gonna make me a quadrillionaire, right? <laughs> huh? Ah, okay. Hey, Corporal St. John. I'll catch you later. I have had a revelation. Last night, a new group of recruits joined our ranks and have already been sworn in. They have traveled far, from the east, west, south, and north. They're coming to this place. At this time, is no accident. They bring word of more camps, like the one to the south, which we have purged. Camps filled with degenerates, thieves, drug addicts, and murderers. We are threatened, all of us. Every day, we live in the shadow of death. But that shadow is not cast by rabid freaks that surround us. They are part of God's plan. They are part of God's punishment. Yeah. Colonel. Yeah. Yeah. No! Yeah. No. It is not the freaks who threaten to destroy us. It is our fellow man. Right on. Yes, sir. Like Noah before us. We have built an ark to save mankind. Yes, we have. To save all the knowledge. Yeah. So when the, the flood waters recede, mm -hmm. we may rebuild. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. we built some. But in this no. age, here at the end of the world, mm -hmm. God is not sending the oceans from their beds to rise up and sweep away the damned. No. There will be no baptism of water. No, there won't. Yes. No. In this last age, we are the flood. Yeah. We are sent forth yeah. to baptize the world right. with fire! Yeah. Today, we begin a holy war against all those who have brought down the wrath of God. We will move north, seek out the depraved, and cleanse... Brian, this is St. John, come in. I'm here. From the Okay, I hope you're ready because we're doing this. We're doing this right now. Give me your coordinates. Find the enclaves of the degenerate Done. and destroy them. Hell yeah. Wait, where are you? Uncovered Center of Crater Lake, Wizard I'm Island, and militia camp. You disabled the RPGs? Ah, oh, shit, not yet. I'll get right on that. Radio me when you're ready. I'll Brian out. 
Gotta get to the RPGs. Where would they be? Oh, the towers. It's gotta be the towers. That's right. Hey, Keep moving. Speech? Move it against other camps? Jesus, that's harsh. Find me some Come on, you out. son of a bitch. Yeah, right. That'll do it. I gotta get to Sarah. Sarah, uh, Lieutenant Whitaker, come in. Damn it. Hang on, I'm coming. Can't you stand guard or do whatever it is you're doing out there? Colonel's orders. Gotta keep eyes on you at all times. Yeah, well, fuck the Colonel's orders. Hey, you watch your mouth. Things are changing around here. And if you don't follow the orders... <laughs> Make sure we're clear. Good. You're clear. Okay. What's the plan? I need you to pack your stuff. We're leaving. How are we gonna get out of here? There are guards everywhere. Do you trust me? O'Brien. I'm here. We're heading up to the cone. We got one shot at this. Copy that. O'Brien out. Who's O'Brien? Where are we going? Look, I don't have time to explain. You got everything? We're not coming back. Yeah, I'm ready. Let's go. Right, stay close. And if we see anyone... Hey. In case yeah. you didn't read my note. Wait, so who's O'Brien? How's he getting us out of here? I told you, O'Brien is how I found you. He was the Nero soldier who was there that night, the night that I put you on that chopper. Nero? No, come on! Oh, I need shit, to Weaver! Out of the way. No, 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 that one. The canister. Right. Private! Are you paying attention? Eyes on your work, man! That canister, right there! Go, go. Oh! I don't want to see that can of fault. Holy shit, he let us go. Weaver let us go. Oh shit, more guards. Okay, hold here. Hey, come on. Let's go around them. Okay. So, Brian, the guy in the Nero chopper, he's coming here? Yeah, look, it's a long story. I'll tell you all about it once we get clear. I mean, God, Deacon, they must have resources, labs, equipment. Well, yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure they do. But look, you can ask O'Brien when you see him. Another guard. Hold on. I'll distract him. Yeah, I'll be careful. Soldier, what are you doing? I I'm sorry, ma'am. This area is off limits. How dare you talk back to an officer? Wait, what? Let's... <laughs> Ah! <laughs> Gotta work. Another guard. I'll see if I can get them to move. Yeah, I'll be careful. <laughs> well done. Come on. We're almost there. Boozer again. You, uh, you want to go with me? To Lost Lake, I mean? I mean, I, I thought we were going to Cloverdale. No, we are. I mean, I just want to see him. He's like my big brother. God, it's not like we have much family left these days, you know? Soldier, over here, please. Ma'am, this is restricted. Are you questioning me, soldier? Do you see this ring? Huh? <laughs> what? Couldn't have done it without you. I can see daylight. Come on, we're almost out. Yeah, okay, this is it. We're at the cone.
Okay. We made it. Where's it? Where is he? Where's oh, Brian? He'll be here. He'll be here. We just, uh, oh, need to... Gentlemen, this is the top of the cone where you can see we get an amazing view here. Oh, Lieutenant. I've just been giving this group of new recruits a tour of the island. Oh, we're just about to go down into the ark. You should join us. Uh, well, uh, gentlemen, Colonel... this is Lieutenant Whitaker. She heads up part of the research team that's exploring ways to use poison to defeat our enemies. Traitor! What the, what the oh, fuck wait, 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 stay back! Stop her! Stop her! I was just Freeze. trying to tell you Don't that we were going on a spy He's a murderer ride. and a spy. Why would you, you listen to him over me? You, you know me I am not. like the leader of that camp, <sighs> Lost Lake, oh, sent him here. Full of shit. I'm telling I'm, you. I've never even met this motherfucker. Colonel, you've got to believe me. Enough! All right. I'm listening. I am telling you. He is a spy. Matt, this guy's mm -hmm. crazy. You've never seen him before. Yeah. Lieutenant, he comes out of nowhere. Lying. You're gonna believe Where, what's him? What's that you camp you're saying I'm from? You think Lost I'm lying? What the is that it? I'm not lying. Have him show us your back. Yeah. Huh? Show us enough, your back. Enough, enough! That's my last warning. Now we will get to the truth of this matter. Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. Captain Khoury, I forget, is that the 8th or the 9th command? I don't rightly recall, sir. Tell me what you saw, and don't lie to me, son. I'll know. At Lost Lake Camp, he attacked a woman. What the fuck are Corporal! you talking? He wasn't wearing a shirt. Son of a bitch has a tattoo covering his back. It's some satanic shit. It's some kind of dog, a dead dog chewing through a chain or something, like it was nothing. I, I pulled him off her. He was drunk and we fought like hell, but who knows what wouldn't have happened if I hadn't have been there. You make him show us his back, and you will see who's lying. I'm sorry, Colonel, this shit is just so crazy. <clears throat> Turn him. <laughs> You wear the image of Cerberus, the Hound of Hades. How fitting that you were discovered ascending from the underworld. But you are not Cerberus, are you, Deacon St. John? He's lying. You here. hide behind angelic names the truth and throw yourself in lies! He got kicked out you of the You are Judas! Of it. <laughs> and what about you, Lieutenant? How convenient that you were with the yeah. Drifter when the Nero helicopter came by. Colonel, I do not know what you're talking about. You were in a Nero camp that was overrun. How long have you been spying on us? How long? Matt, I promise, I haven't been- More lies! <laughs> I expect this from drifters. I expect men like him to betray me! But an officer- Colonel! It was me! Ugh. It was me! Colonel, I lied. If you look in my pocket, you're gonna find a radio. Because I called them. I called them and I lied. I lied to the lieutenant. I told her that uh, I needed her to help me check a shipment, but the truth is I just needed a hostage. Deacon St. John, Drifter. Are you there? This is Nero. This is O'Brien, Drifter. I'm sorry. Corporal St. John is unavailable right now. Wait. Who is this? Sometimes, in the search for truth, the blood of innocence is spilled. Sorry, my dear. Release Private uh, Sarkovsky, was it? Yeah. And Kuri. 
Take this drifter to lock up. Tomorrow at 0700, he will stand trial. And he will hang. <laughs> Lieutenant, enough of this. We have work to do. Come. Tell me more about this Lost Lake camp. Yes, sir. Anything you want to know. Lieutenant! Come on. Get up. Uh, uh. <laughs> 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 Good. I thought I heard you breathing. Uh, fuck you. That's what I want to hear. It means the shit hadn't broken you yet. Why? Tied on your back. A dead dog chewing through its chains? It's not something you see every day. I did some digging before we freed you. I was, um, I don't know, trying to make sense out of it. This was taken from the lieutenant when she came into the camp. My guess is, it's yours. Yeah, it's mine. And your wife's name? It ain't Beth. No, it ain't. And you've been out here all this time? Trying to find her? Uh, yeah. You just asked me why. <laughs> Pretty simple, really? The way I figure it, any man who goes through God knows what to find his old lady does not deserve to die at the end of a rope. Wait, wait, wait a second. You're, you're, you're helping me? Well, that, that just means you're all gonna hang. We're not going back. The colonel is batshit crazy. <laughs> Holy war, genocide, I mean, what the fuck is that? Yeah, well then, what's the plan? What are you gonna do? We're going east. Yeah. Hopefully we can make it to Reno. You should come with us. Nope. You can't go back. The militia will shoot no, you on I'm sight. No, I'm not leaving without her. Uh, and I gotta ride north. I gotta warn Iron Mike. It's way too late for that now. Why? Well, they spent all night clearing the Santiam Pass. What? A convoy rode out early this morning heading north. Oh, shit. Are you sure you don't want to come with us? Yeah, I'm sure. Good luck to you. Deacon St. John. Hey, uh, uh, Corey. When I told the Colonel about my military service, I told him I hated every goddamn minute of it, but, uh, maybe it wouldn't have been so bad if... if I'd served under someone like you. You know, maybe it's not too late. Gotta get back to Lost Lake. I gotta head north. I gotta save Boozer. Ricky and Iron Mike. And I, I, can't, I can't save Sarah. I can't save Sarah, but I can save them. I'm sorry, Sarah. I'm sorry. But I am not giving up. I'm gonna find a way and come back for you, I swear to God. I am coming back for you. I gotta head north. Take the uh, uh, Sanium Highway. It's clear now. Yeah, that's fast as well. Santium. This way, <laughs> head north. Checkpoint. Shit. This was up here before. Oh, no way around it.
Is that all of them, huh? Where'd you all go? Yeah, that's what I thought. Come on, you sons of bitches. Are you there? Come back. Booze man, come back. Deke, is that you? Yeah, move in here, goddammit! Addy, get wounded inside. Boozer! Deke, I dare you. We sure can use you about now. Get him inside! Move, damn it, move! Look out! I'm coming, Boozer, I'm almost there. Uh, Schizo! 
Schizo, he's there, Boozer. He's coming for you. They're, they're coming in through the gate. Go, go. Let him come, teacher. Let him come. Boozer. Damn it. Ricky, lost leg camp. Come in. Ricky, I hear Mike. Come in. They're pulling out. They're on the run. We got him. We got him. Where's Schizo? Has anyone seen Schizo? We did it, Right man. on, yeah. dude. Go after him. Don't let him get away. Kill every goddamn one of them. Where the hell is Schizo? Bunch of us have been looking for him. No one's seen him. Hey, come on. We gotta go. Hey, don't worry. We're gonna find that asshole. <sighs> Deke, thank God. Come on. Ricky, what's going on? It's Iron Mike. He got shot. Hey, you lazy son of a bitch, I wanted to see if you wanted to go fishing. We got a camp to feed. <coughs> you found her? Found her? Your own lady? Yeah, Mike, she's right outside. She's here? Yeah. Yeah, look, I uh, couldn't have done this without your help. I want to meet her. It's gotta be it. Hell of a gal to go through all that trouble. God, I got no idea what it looks like. That. Okay, okay. Here, Mike. Here. Mike, I want you to take this. I don't want it. I don't want it. I got wrong, Deke. <laughs> no, no, no. We can keep this together, Mike. We just, you get back on your feet, you'll <laughs> oh, burn him. I was, I was wrong. No easy way to say this. Iron Mike's dead. He stopped. He tried to stop Schizo when the militia were pulling out. Iron Mike being Iron Mike. I tried to reason with him and. Okay. Yeah, I... shut up! Shut up! This ain't no eulogy. Iron Mike wouldn't want that. We don't have time for this because. Because the men that we killed today. Well, there's more where that came from. A lot more. I've been to their camp. I've seen their army. And when they come back here, they're gonna slaughter each and every one of them. Is it gonna try? Unless we hit them first. Hey! Hey, shut up! Shut up! Listen to him. Iron Mike trusted him, so you have to trust him! No, 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 I'm sorry. You know what? I can't do this. I'm not Iron Mike. I'm not goddamn drunk. You're right. There's a road. No, I'm not fucking leaving. Look at me. Listen. 
All right, find Boozer. Tell him to meet me like Kevin. Okay, so I found this in a survivalist bunker. Wait, this is... Yeah, yeah, we're gonna need a truck. Something big, something like a dub truck. And we're gonna fill it full of uh, fertilizer. nitrate? Yep. We're gonna mix it with 100 gallons of creosote. A fertilizer truck bomb. That's your plan. Oh, my God. The militia have turned this entire island into a fortress. And I got civilians in the caves. You got the labor force and those considered unfit to serve in this survivor camp. And you got the armory and the garrison right by the main gate. We hit that. We tear out the heart of the colonel's militia. What about Sarah? Well, she's in the caves. That's what the colonel calls the Ark. But how, how do you know that they're not just going to kill everybody? Sarah, Sarah and everyone else. I, I don't. I don't. But I figure that the explosion will cause so much confusion and chaos that they're, I can go in. I can find her. I can get her out before they know what hit her. Look, this isn't about just Sarah anymore. The colonel has declared war on all of us, and he's got an army to back him up. Just the first casualties in that war. <laughs> it's gonna be a short one unless we hit them first. <sighs> I didn't say it was a good plan. No, it's a really shitty one, You Nick. with me, brother? Oh, I wouldn't miss it. Okay. Well, we're not gonna be able to do it alone. If anyone wants to join in, you hit him. You hit him at the south gate. Mm -hmm. Because when the explosion happens, all the militia, they're going to rush up toward the main gate. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to need some supplies. Crazy asses. How's it coming? Back up. Hey, Deke. <sighs> hey. Uh, what's this? Oh, ask him. Well, truck's as big as a tank, right? Uh-huh. I figured. Might as well turn her into one. Holy shit. <laughs> uh, is this ready? Well, let's see, Deke. Fill her up. I know where to find some fertilizer. I'll radio when I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> Deke, Deke, Deke. <laughs> What's been keeping you away so long? Blair, how you doing? Hmm, that should work. Yep. Hey, Deke, be safe. Got good shit in stock today. Buzz, how's a camper's life? Sure, all right. See you later, Deke. Thinking we can find all the fertilizer we need over at the Iron Butte Ranch. Iron Butte Ranch? Yeah, it is. Not like 
Jesse and his rippers are gonna need it anymore. I mean, this place used to be a golf resort, yeah? They've gotta have maintenance area, you know, lawnmowers and the... Fertilizer. God damn right. Yeah, I'm gonna head over there right now. When it's clear, I'm gonna radio you and Ricky to bring the truck in. You got it, brother. All right, these are out. Someone's trapped. I gotta help him. Please help me, somebody! Help me! There you go! Bounty. DQ there? Yeah, yeah, Ricky, I'm here. I just wanna... I got this. Hang on. You wanna die out here? Look, there's a camp... Camp? I'll go, I'll go. Where? Show me, show me! Head to Lost Lake. Ask for Ricky Patel. She'll take you in. Thank you so much for stopping. I was so dead. I was never getting out of there. Thank you. Name's Deacon. They know who I am. Okay, keep running. Stay out of what? sight. What the? Marauder Patrol. Shit. I'm coming. You're gonna die out here. I know of a camp where it's safe. Camp? Bunch of murderers and vagrants. Where? where? We'd just as soon Show shoot me. you I'll as look go. at you. Head to Lost Lake. Ask for Ricky Patel. She'll take you in. I, 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 was, I was done for. Holy shit! You know? Thank you so much. Thank you so much! Oh, man! Tell them it was Deacon. They'll know. Don't stop. Just keep out of sight. Dink, you there? Schizo. Oh, you got some nerve calling me. Bro, there you are. You gotta listen. Look, I tried to stop. I did. From shooting Iron Mike. I did not want it to go down like that, bro. Gotcha. The Colonel wants to see you right away. Yeah, yeah, look, I'll tell him I'll be right there. Captain, didn't take you long to lie your way into a promotion. This army crap is all bullshit and you know it. Bro, you gotta listen to me. I'm not your bro, Schizo. Fair enough. I just wanted you to know. Look, when Corey busted you out, the Colonel, you went crazy. Thought she was in on it. He went after Lieutenant Whitaker. He was gonna kill her. Dick! Yeah, I'm listening. But I stopped him, Dick. I did. I told him that all that poison shit she's cooking up, maybe we use it to kill the freaks, but maybe we don't. Maybe there's an enemy camp. Maybe they got one water supply. Maybe dumping a gallon of hemlock into that. Maybe that solves a lot of problems. Anyway, the Colonel, he likes that idea. So he puts me in charge of the Ark. Wants me to keep it safe. She reports to me now, Deke. To me. What do you want, Schizo? Bro, I just wanted to warn you. Uh, I can fix They're this. coming. I can't stop them. They're coming, uh, and this time, go. this time the Colonel's bringing the whole damn house. Uh, well, let him. We're not going anywhere. And when he comes this time, we'll be ready for him. Hey, Dake. Captain, the Colonel's waiting. I'll be there, goddammit. Now get out. Hey, Dake. Look, I gotta go, but, uh, I'll tell Lieutenant Whitaker, and you send your best wishes. Captain Sarkozy signing off. God damn you, Schizo.
Oh, uh, shit. No. It's a horde. It's a horde. I'm gonna have to clear this before Ricky can get in, or she's gonna pull them all down on us. Hey, Boozer, uh, tell Ricky it's, uh, it's gonna be a while, because there's a horde feeding ground right in our way. Horde? You want me and Ricky to head out there? Come and help? No, no, no! I've already learned the hard way. It's better to take them on alone. That way we don't pull them down on each other. Yeah, yeah, okay. Besides, I mean, Ricky says that, uh, you're head of security now, right? So, don't you gotta, I don't know, like, stick around camp, polish your badge, order people around, shit like that. Yeah, right. I forgot to ask Mike for a badge. I, well, anyway, now that Mike's gone, I don't know, maybe they'll vote someone else in. Let me go back to pulling weeds. <laughs> Dude, not likely. Yeah, wouldn't be no skin off of my nose. Well, let me know when you're ready. Ricky wants to get the show on the road. Who's her out? There's all of them. Jesus. Uh, booze man. You there? It's clear. You can uh, have Ricky bring the truck over. Copy that. Hey, Deke. We got a surprise for you, brother. 
Oh, oh, great. That's great. Can't wait. Deacon out. What the hell is that? A little gift from Ricky. Still can't ride a bike, but I can shift the hell out of these gears. Wow. I uh, pull it over there. All right. Okay. Cool. That ought to be enough. All right. What's next? <sighs> Creosote, how I'll ready you with you when I'm ready. Where the hell are we gonna get a hundred gallons of creosote? You don't wanna know. Deke, I need to talk to you. Ricky, what's wrong? Uh, militia. Where? Boozer thinks they might be planning another attack, so he asked me to send you to take a look. Goddamn militia. Yeah, I got this. <sighs> Thank God. I'll let Boozer know. Ricky out. Deke, this is Copeland. How's it going? I've got a job for you. Go, hey, uh... Yeah, yeah, I'll see if I can, uh, make time. Deacon out. crossing the road two years ago you would have gone splat Do this. Come 
come on, you sons of bitches. Hey, Deacon. Buzz, how's a camper's life? I got you covered. I'm okay. Stop by anytime. Hold on. Okay. Okay.
Come on, get him inside. What happened? Got hit again. Squatters off the highway. We've got to get some men together, go after them. Don't look at me, it ain't my problem. They've got Manny. You sent Manny on a supply run. I just run the camp, Deke. I don't tell folks how to live their lives. Go to hell, Cope! See if I can track him down. My men said they'd set up an ambush on the Sanium. Yeah, I already found it. Deacon out.
I wasn't gonna let him kill you. Besides, who the hell is around here knows how to rebuild a carburetor? Just back up. Nice and slow. Don't make a sound. Jesus, Deke. You did it. Oh, Jesus. It's clear. I've been camping too long. Never saw nothing like that before. Yeah, okay. Let's get the hell out of here. You don't gotta twist my arm on that one. Yeah, so what the hell happened? What were you doing out here? I don't know. I hadn't been on a run in months. It felt like maybe I wasn't... I don't know, doing my share, you know? A lot of assholes with guns out here, Manny. Not many know how to fix the shit that they ride around on. Yeah, yeah, that's what Cope said. Yeah, for once I agree with the son of a bitch. So what do you think? Why's it gotta be this way? Be what way? Everyone out here trying to kill everyone else. <sighs> Manny, you know how many folks were locked up in prisons before the shit went down? I mean, here in the States, Huh, no idea. Two and a half million. You count the ones that are out on parole and probation, that's almost seven million. So, one in 35 was someone who didn't give a shit about the law. And those are just the ones that got caught. Shit. So the question isn't, why is it like this now? The question is, why wasn't it always like this? Guess I'll be sticking to the camp from now on. It's probably a good idea. You good from here? Yeah, yeah. Hey, Deke, I owe you, man. I'd be dead right now if you hadn't... Manny, nose down. Nose down. They feed you. Now get the hell out of here.
good. Cope, I found him. Thank God and country. He's alive? He's a little banged up, but he'll live. I'm guessing a few drifters were trying to find out about your camp, how many men you have, how many guns. I hope he told him. We have all the damn guns we need, and we mean to keep them. Fitz don't got no more to say about that now, do they? No, I guess they don't. Mandy gets back. Tell him to keep his nose down. St. John out. Is that all you got? Sawmill. They got a couple of storage tanks there. They should have over the so we need. The old sawmill. Last I checked, there was a horde there. Big goddamn horde. Yeah. I'm, uh, pretty sure I knew that. What, you still got a death wish? I mean, even after finding your old lady. Deke? We're gonna get her back. Who's man? No. No, I don't. Look. Just be ready. I'll radio when it's clear to bring your rig in. Beacon out. This ought to be easy, right? I just gotta make sure I have enough uh, traps, ammo, molotovs, and anything else I can carry. Deke? Yeah, Ricky. Boozer just told me you're heading to the old sawmill. Yeah, and Boozer has a big mouth. 
He is head of security. He has to tell me. You remember when I took you to the sawmill, right? You remember me showing you the horde that lives there? Oh, uh, yeah, I remember. The really big horde that lives, sleeps, and eats there. Uh, yeah, like I said, I remember. Uh, look, Ricky, when I was with the militia, they, uh, we, <laughs> we created a sort of souped-up Molotov. A souped-up Molotov? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's like napalm. Anyway, trust me, I got this. We need you, Deke, alive. Ricky, just be fine. You don't gotta worry about me no more, okay? I know what I'm doing. Ricky? Yeah, Deke. I'm, uh, just lighting some candles. Okay. And in, in this case, some big goddamn Molotovs, but, you know, you get the idea. Get out.
Come on! That's all you got! Holy shit, dude. Looks like I missed all the fun. Yeah. Next time, I drive the truck. You fight the freakers. Yeah, brother. Okay, just pull it over there. All right, you got it. <laughs> all right, that's it. Head back to camp. I'll meet you there. <clears throat> all right. And, uh, booze man. Drive carefully. <laughs> what do you think? That I'm gonna blow myself up? truck uh i'll radio you when it's ready <clears throat> thank you thank you uh, i'm ready when you are dick you sure you want to do this they're coming ricky unless we take him out first you're right okay ricky out Looks like everything's set. Yeah. Ricky rigged this up for the steering wheel. We drive right up to the front door, jump, goodbye militia. Okay, well, you sure you want to do this? I mean, it's a long way to drive with only one arm. Asshole. Look, Boozer, you and I both know it's probably a one-way trip. Yeah. Then I won't have to drive back. Fuck yeah, I want this. 
But there's just one thing. Only a couple of bikers will pull a dumbass stone like this. Just us. Yep. We're gonna do this or what? Goddamn stream. Looks like Ricky's coming after all. What's up, Deke? Nice jacket. Looks good on you. Ricky, Addy, I appreciate it, but Boozer and I really got, got to take care of some stuff. Word gets around. Your speech touched more people than you thought, Deke. I told you, you can't do this alone. Man, this, this is crazy. Oh, don't worry. They're not doing it for you. They're doing it for him. For Iron Mike! Iron Mike! Iron Mike! Iron Mike! Iron Mike! Oh, and I hope you don't mind. I sent word to some of your friends up north. <laughs> Once word got around that we were fighting back, couldn't keep him away. Go! <laughs> Got word you were planning a little road trip to stop these malicious sons of bitches from coming in here telling us what to do. Since you've done so much for us, thought we'd come along. We'll be glad to have you. Manny, hey, a deke? Nose down? Nose down, work hard, they feed you. Take your damn fool errands, get your ass shot up. Man, you listen up. This no is way, a... no way. I'm staying out of this. <laughs> kidding me? The hot springs? Yep. I sent word to Alki. Oh, Alki. Tucker sends word that uh, she couldn't make it to the fight, but wishes she could be here. <laughs> yeah, I'll bet. But we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for your help. We're here to return the favor. All right. Okay, well, you guys ready to kick some militia ass? Yeah! We're ready to ride. <laughs> All right, listen up. The plan is simple. Boozer and I are gonna hit the north gate. We're gonna blow it to hell. Now that's gonna pull everyone at the south gate. Now what you gotta do is just follow Ricky. Yeah? Are we ready? Yeah. Well, I need to. Are you ready? Listen, I'm gonna radio when we hit the bridge. Don't go in until that. Okay. All right! Let's do this!
Why didn't you jump? God damn it, Boozer! Oh, God damn it! Please, I am going to kill every goddamn one of you! Get to the upper cave! Move it! Move. Go! Get up there and start setting charges! I said go, goddammit, go! You got that? Now go! Move, move, move! Move it, move! Schizo! Son of a bitch, Schizo! I'm coming, Schizo! Oh, well, now we gotta do it the hard way! Time of the code! Gotta get to the time! Shit, shit, shit. Oh, I gotta find a way past these guys. Gotta get past these guys. Keep going.
Dickie, can you hear me? Dick? We got him! We, 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 we got him! Dick! Dick! Ricky! Ricky! Oh, give him hell, Ricky. Burn him to the ground! Made it. Hang on, Sarah. Already. Fuck you, you want me to blow us both to hell? God damn it, you hear that? Uh, hurry up! There, it's good to go. How many is that? Enough. Let's get back to the Colonel, come on. You want me to blow us both? Captain Sarkozy, reporting in. We... How many explosives did you say? Captain, we didn't have time to set them all... What? God damn it! How many? Uh, it's, it's, it's three! Three, sir! Okay, okay. I'm going down to get the detonator from Weaver. Hold the cave entrance. You got that? No one gets down here! Here's yes, sir. One. Understood, sir. No one we gets down. Disarm it. And stay off this goddamn channel! You might have been okay, compromised. God damn it. Where's the others? I'm coming, Schizo. Wait for me.
come on, Lieutenant. Where's that goddamn detonator? Fuck you, man. I ain't getting strapped in here. Weaver, come on. You know we follow orders. That's how it has to be. Where the fuck is it? Weaver, where's the goddamn Skizzle, detonator? Skizzle, you better Get let him go. Me. Yes, you son of a bitch. Uh, no! Fuck. Hey, hey! Show you with my bare hands. You got that? No, no, damn it. Die, God damn it. Something schizo. There was a time when I would have uh, dragged you out into the shit. And I would have left you to the freaks. But hey, 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 hey. I'm not gonna do that. You wanna know why? Because they would tear you limb from limb. But you know what? They wouldn't enjoy it. Shut up! All 
of you. I know what's happening out there. Out there. Outside the Ark. But it's out there. We are safe in here. Nothing can touch us. Do you hear me? God has ordained this place. This is consecrated ground. We are safe in this place. We are safe in this place. I don't know when or why, but I, uh, I, I saw something a, a month ago, maybe. I, I felt something, something I, I hadn't felt in a long time. And, um, and I know that a lot of you might have, might have felt the same way. And I, I think that if we just can, Deacon? I'll have your side on. Sit. Let him go, Colonel. It's all over. Your militia is done. Would you like some tea? I'm sure you would. Sarah, would you pour the drifter a cup of tea? The Ark was our only hope. You realize that, of course. When the world was cleansed, it was the only thing that would allow us to rebuild. Everything was here, protected, saved by the grace of God. <laughs> we never did find someone to play the piano, though, did we? <laughs> ah, it doesn't matter now. When all this is gone, there'll be nobody left to hear the music. You've destroyed us. You destroyed everything we worked for. No, Colonel, you did when you started this holy war. You know, given the choice between you and the freaks, I'm gonna have to go with them, because at least when they kill, they're just looking for a meal, and they don't kill unarmed women. No! <laughs> Uh, could you set up a triage tent over there? Hey! Hey, there's a cave entrance over there. You'll find supplies and bad. Just get some men. Go. You, you, let's go. Ricky! Patty. Does anyone hear me? I can help. I'm a doctor. <laughs> it's over. Everyone that wasn't. Killed or wounded by the blast, pretty much just gave up. Where is Boozer? Move it. Move it. Ricky, I need attack. some help over here. The north gate. The south gate. Boo. Ricky. My legs. My legs. Yeah. Oh, I'm Does anyone hear me? What do you need help with? Hey. Hope you save some for me. Boozer. Yeah. Sorry, I'm late. No. Yeah. 
<laughs> no, no, no. I jumped. <laughs> no, what the fuck? Just were... before I ran out of bridge. I saw yeah. the truck. No, no, no. I felt the blast wave. Even under 10 feet of water. Now, that was a ride. <laughs> <laughs> what? You didn't think I'd blow myself up, did you? Then who'd be around to bust your balls? I would. <laughs> hey! Oh! Hey. Little sister. Oh. Yeah, yeah, long story. <laughs> so, um, I hear someone's been looking for you. <laughs> what? Well, kind of wouldn't shut up about it. Yeah, don't listen to him. It was really <laughs> more his idea oh, than... Ricky! Eddie! Which one of you is driving me out of this shithole? <laughs> It's all yours, brother. So I hear that you're staying on to rebuild. Not all the colonel's ideas were bad. Just the batch of crazy. You're the second person to tell me that. Who else? Corey? You know what? Fuck that dude. Hey. He left us here to rot. If it wasn't for him, we'd all be dead. Whatever, man. And I think we'll try this again without all the army man bullshit. <laughs> hey. You're gonna miss my speech. Nah, I wouldn't say I'm gonna miss it. Deke, hell of a fight. Yeah, that it was. Manny, oh shit, look who's still breathing. Nose down. Nose down. You put on your face that way. <laughs> Not bad for a drifter. Brother, we did it. You did it. Ah, man, you know, I gotta uh, admit for a second there, I thought that you were, um, you gonna blow myself up? I told you I got shit to do. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, give him hell, brother. Yeah, here goes. Jack would be proud. We did it. We did it. Come here. <laughs> See? Good things happen when you stop and light a candle. Well, this is sort of more of a bonfire, but yeah. <laughs> Never seen you give a speech before. Oh, God. It ain't gonna be a speech. Okay. Ma'am. <sighs> Shit. That's enough of that. Ah, uh, what does it mean that they're all good and quiet? Oh, yeah, they're waiting for you. God. It's your cue. I know we got a lot of rebuilding to do, so I'm gonna keep this short. Look, I'm not a leader. No, I don't care what you say, I'm not. But, um, you've done something here today. We've done something. We banded together to fight. Uh, not because some asshole told us to, but because it was the right thing yeah. to do. And you know what? Yeah. We won. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yes. Yeah, I've seen you struggle to rebuild. I've seen you fight to save lives, to keep people safe, keep people fed. I've seen you sacrifice everything that you have, everything that you are. Make the world a better place. And see, that's why we're still here. That's why we're still here. Because if we don't have hope for a better life, or for a future that matters, 
the hell are we fighting for? Yeah. You know, Iron Mike, he, um... He once said to me that... that we make the world what it is by what we do. Huh? What did we do? Huh? What are we going to do? See this? This is the first step. I thought you weren't going to give a speech. Yeah, I screwed up. Uh, how the hell was it? You know, it was, it was all right for an outlaw biker. Outlaw biker, huh? <laughs> Are you ready to ride, old lady? I don't know. Depends. Where are we going? Wherever the hell we want. I do, sweetheart.
Hey, Deku. Addie carved it herself. It's beautiful, right? Thanks. Yeah, it was a piece of redwood that Mike kept in his room. He once told me that when things settled down, he was gonna make something out of it, like a <laughs> cribbage board. Wait, a what? A, he doesn't play cribbage. Mm. Iron Mike play cribbage. <laughs> no, no, but that's the point, that there'd come a day when something like that mattered again. Well, oh, what does it say? Yeah, don't look at me, I just carved it. It's a, it's an old Hindu proverb. My mother taught it to me. It reads, rivers do not drink their own water, trees do not eat their own fruit, and clouds do not swallow their own rain. What great ones have is always for the benefit of others. What do you think? Well, coming from you, I think that would have meant a lot to him. Yeah. Yeah, I think if Mike were here, he would probably say something like, what the hell does that even mean? <laughs> huh? Come on. Yeah. No, you're right. <laughs> he would have said, what the hell does that mean? Followed by, what the hell are you doing standing around here? The world ain't going to save itself, God damn it! Get right. to work. You're right again. Come on, guys, let's get to work. <sighs> Oh, did I ever tell you about the time that Iron Mike saw Addie and I for the first time at the lodge in front of the fireplace? Oh, this is funny. <laughs> okay, so we were tangled up. No, 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 no. We were all okay. up in it. What? Addie, uh, uh, why? for the first time, and Iron Mike comes out and he looks at us. You don't have to tell us. me this. You can stop. He had that grin on his face. I'm not gr- You're such a oh, perv, you are perv. I'm tired of you two. Hey, we got a goddamn ripper here. Turn around. I'm not a ripper. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I know her. Uh, put that away. I got this. Okay, take care of her. Not my problem. Is, is this your ride? It's a piece of shit, but it runs. Uh, well... I don't know if you're sticking around, but I could have Ricky take a look at it. I brought some bounties to trade. Okay, then uh, I should probably introduce you to Joe Haslin. He's the bounty collector. He's right up this way. I'm not staying. I'm not staying in a goddamn camp. Yeah, do whatever you want. You know, while you're here, uh, I'd like to introduce you uh, to someone. Her name is Sarah. She had a kid sister that, um, well, her kid sister reminds me of you, so I thought that maybe you would like her. I had a sister. She was older than me. How oh, pain in my ass. Kind of reminds me of my older brother, Boozer. Real pain in my ass. Actually, he's not my brother. Um, we rode together in the MC. And he's the head of security around here, so you should probably meet him too. I told you I'm not staying. And I heard you. Seriously, do whatever you want. So what kind of gun you got there? Are you making sure that you ride out with plenty of ammo? Yeah, I got enough. I'm good. Yeah. I was rather had to work at that. St. John, are you there? Oh, Brian. What? Why are you on this channel? We tried contacting you on our channel. Well, I lost the radio the night that shit went down. Did she make it out? Your wife! Yeah, no thanks to you. I'm glad. There's something that I have to tell you. So talk. In person. Nah, I don't think so. It's important. <sighs> Shit. In the Northern Cascades, there's an old pioneer cemetery. Yeah, okay. I know the one. Meet me there. Please.
Well, I can't say I expected to hear from you again. What is it this time? Believe me or not, I'm glad to see you again. That night at Wizard Island didn't seem to go well. What can I do for you, O'Brien? I'm here to warn you. Warn me? Warn me about what? You remember? I told you the infected were evolving. Right, yeah, freaks are freak. What the hell do I care? <laughs> strain of the virus, its effects on the human nervous and lymphatic systems is accelerating at an exponential rate. <laughs> they knew all along, of course, that it was happening. The men above me, that's why they were so cautious, so secretive. They're coming. I'm sorry. There's nothing you can do to stop them. There's nothing anyone can do.